Hey guys, we are back at it again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 25th of April 2022. It was a Monday, Mound Farm Monday. We had a lot of fun, lots of chit chat, like lots of chatting. It was really, really cool. Also, I have a, a single curl, which is, look, it's fine. Just, it's fine. If you would like to catch us live and join in on all of these ridiculous shenanigans, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. You can add a forward slash schedule to that if you'd like to see what time I'll be going live next, converted automatically to your time zone. And if you'd like to catch some behind the scenes action, some offline stuff, uh, and just, you know, a bit of an inside look at my life and all that kind of stuff, you can do so on social media, particularly on Instagram. All of those links are down in the description box. Uh, underneath the video. I hope you enjoy the VOD and hopefully we will see you live in chat next time. Um, my mic's not working. My mic's not coming up in the, um, list of what's it. Give me a minute. I've had some issues today with a few things. Um. Yeah, I've had a few tech issues. Give me a second. Come on. Stay a while and listen. There it is. That should be better. Brilliant. Um, had a, I've had a couple of issues today um, with tech stuff. Uh, my, oh, and now desktop is not coming through. Good. Good. <laughs> there we go. All right. That should, you should be able to hear where I'm using it. You should be able to hear me talking. Awesome. Let's now turn, let's refresh the page for the captions. And now let's see if it can hear me. That, sure. Close enough. Uh, good. Okay. Yeah, I had an issue earlier today when um, I turned these on and WoW decided that I had no sound driver installed, so I couldn't select any sound to go anywhere. Um, and I'm like, hum. So I opened up Spotify and Spotify would not play a single song. Uh, so I had to do some fiddly bits and restart a couple of times, but I got it work. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Something, look, occasionally computers just have a bit of a, a time, but that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Welcome to another fear stream. Would it be a fear stream without a million and one technical difficulties? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Uh, do I have to do any? No, I don't have to do any uh, what's it. Uh, this one. Awesome. Follow the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop your drag and drop, I should say, your units to the battlefield. Um, so makeup today. It kinda all looks the same colour, doesn't it? 
super fun happy times. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's not. There is a gradient there, but it's pastel, so that's probably what's going on. Let's see. Maybe I've got the gain up too high. Let's see if I bump that down. Make me look a little more. Uh, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. It's just not super like... Oh well. So, let me just grab it to you instead. Uh, we've got like a pale orange colour in the middle. And then it fades into a pink. And then it fades into a purple. And it is freaking gorgeous. And I like it very, very much. And the camera is just... I'm grumpy at the camera. Because it's really pretty and I like it a lot and it's just not pastels, man. Bloody pastels. They just, ugh. <laughs> I, look, one, one day, one day in the far off distant future, I will be able to invest in using a DSLR instead of a webcam. And you will all just gasp at disbelief in how clear the picture is. But until then... You'll have to settle for my descriptions. This is a mount that I own. And uh, it flies. Best of luck. Uh, hello, nurse. Well done. Look, I I did drop... I, you did drop a first, but uh, it didn't work because Koalatron was sleeping. So I woke Koalatron up. Um, but I'm doing well. I hope you are too. Um, hello, Seeker. Congratulations, by the way, to Seeker. Uh, we had a, a pretty brief discussion last night, actually, after stream. Uh, Seeker is our newest moderator. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. Uh, but Seeker has joined the mod team. Uh, Seeker does not have access to all of the knowledge that Jas and Rum and, and Sheebs do yet, but I didn't want to drop everything on her head all at once because it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. So baby steps where we're jumping in. Uh, you've still got moderating thing, got access to the mod dashboard. What do you think of that? Uh, and to the moderating channel in Discord and all that kind of stuff. Um, and just sort of letting a, letting a kind of, you know, uh, what, what is the phrase? Something, something ropes. Learning the ropes. That just, that's weird. But anyway. Um, just getting used to all that kind of, those, those sort of bits and pieces and, and, um, if any questions pop up or, or that kind of stuff, just sort of get a feel for it. Um, so be nice. Let her, let her get used to it before you kind of test her patience. Uh, <laughs> but congratulations on your new shiny badge. I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, please try not to be overwhelmed by all of the shit that you will see that you have not seen in previous streams. Because there's gonna- there'll be- mm-hmm. Yeah, good. Uh, well done, Kay on second. Uh, Rel with a hello. Hello, Kay. Good, thanks. Wonderful to hear, nurse. Hello, Zam. Well done on fake first, but it's fine. Nano has attempted a second. Welcome on in. And grabbed a third. Brilliant. Hello, dupe with a thread. Shiba with a Shiba, obviously. Wonderful, as people looking around waiting for a start. They were indeed. They were indeed. That always makes my heart so happy. Like, we're 13 minutes in and we're sitting on 63 viewers. Like, how the hell does that happen? But sure, that's I'm I'm not gonna complain. I'm thankful, grateful, all that. There is a surf with an I, but not with a U. Hello, Kaz. Hello, Jack. All oh, the contributions in before Seeker starts harassing me. <laughs> Love it. Love it, five percent in the first five minutes. Fantastic. Uh, what are these? So Legends Community Stream Girl. I know, it, it's almost like people want to see me suffer through leveling or something. These all my members can't blame them on. Soon, dupe. Soon. Nice new badge. Looks good on you. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. Blaming Seeker because we can. You can indeed. Well done. First blaming of Seeker. How's it feel? <laughs> leveling stream, indeed. A badge looks good on you. Use the free channel points. Indeed, use your free channel points, your embers. Click the little purple fireplace, the campfire, underneath the chat box. Here's the banner. Click it. Chuck in your stream, your, your channel points, if you would like to see me level some more tunes. Because, like, I've definitely not leveled enough, surely. It fair. Hello. Hello, Crumb. 
Do you have updated? I don't think so. I, it could have. It definitely could have, but I don't think it did. That's why I'm so confused. And the first thing I did when things went wrong was I checked Ghub to see if there was an update. But no, firmware was all up to date and everything. I just, look, it's ease. Hey, a toodle. Snug as a bug in the cut you made. I know. Yep. Very happy about it. Very happy about it. Super comfy. Oh, that's issues. Good to see you this afternoon. Good to see you too. Wouldn't be a streamer that tech issues. I know, right? Oh no. One day I'll turn it on and everything will just go and I'll be like, what? I wouldn't know myself. I wouldn't know myself. Life binders handmaiden. Good guess, Ram, but it is incorrect. I fixed it. Yes. I blame Corsair. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Definitely doesn't sound good. Yeah, all the thing's fantastic. Yeah, so what happened, I unplugged and replugged the mic to force it, because it, it had all the different microphones. Like, it had my G, the G733 mic, it had the G435 mic, it had the StreamCam mic, it had default, whatever the hell that is, but it didn't have the Yeti X Wow Edition. It was the only thing that wasn't on the list. So I'm like, that way, and that's what happened with the G733 before as well. It had a bit of a, a hiccup, and then it just went splat. So I unplugged it and replugged it in again. But when I did that, it popped up in the list of microphones, but it also defaulted the headphones because there's a headphone jack in the microphone and it defaulted to that, those speakers. So that's why the wow sound cut out. I had to put that back to the G733. Yep. So I knew what I was doing. I knew what the steps were going to be. It just, that was a little bit of an unexpected hiccup, but it's all good. That's all good. Hey, Josh. Thank you very much. I am very cozy. It's been raining all day today. So yeah, it's nice and warm in a jacket and my cardi. Good afternoon, Jazz. Hello, Lander. Cool jacket. Thank you. How's the day going? Very well. Thank you. I've had some delicious food. You said that's okay. It seems to indicate it is less than okay. Yeah, that is a thing that I do, isn't it? It's definitely, it was not okay. Yeah, uh huh. 13% in 11 minutes. My goodness. 20% in under 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. Look at you go. Little crackly to stuff, but it's good night. Yeah, because I, well, while I was fixing up the Yeti X, because Yeti X wasn't showing up at all, I popped in the headset mic. And as good as the microphone on this headset is, it's still not a studio mic. Like, it's good for a headset mic. It's its quality is pretty top notch, but it's never going to compare to a proper microphone. So that's why it was a little bit funky. It was because I was just so I could tell you, like, so I could let you know I was here while I fixed the, the proper mic. Um, but yes, it's fixed now. <sniffs> Greetings, Toodle. What is any stream that tech issues, right, Cookie? Absolutely. I just couldn't see the oranges. Yeah, it's the orange is not quite. And I did, uh, this is the new lip liner I got from Mellow. This is the jade lip liner with the gloss on top. Um, but I was like, oh, it is like a pale coral color. That works with the orange and pink and stuff. So on it goes. Cryptic Oralid, no. Ivory Cloud Serpent, no. Jellyfish from Goop Farming, no. Ashes of Alar would be my guess. It would be a good guess, but it would be an incorrect guess. Hey, a sec. Yay, Seeker. Everyone is always like, oh, Seeker. Did you get an autocorrect there, Lander? Amazing. Amazing. Sure, they will all play nice. Well, they better because you have a banhammer now. Ah! <laughs> it's a lot, but I'm nosy, so it satisfies me to know. And yeah, it, look, it's not... It's not a bad thing to have, like, we've always kept the moderation team here really, really small. Um, there's, there's something a little bit unsettling about going into a new stream and like 70% of the users or more have the mod sword. It's kind of like, uh, and it always sort of, um, like having people have redemptions is like, you know, mod for a day. And so I just, it cannot begin to imagine the kind of chaos that that would do if you had a troll sit in your stream for long enough to get mod and then just ban. Like, do you know what I mean? It's not, I've had that many trolls that it's not worth that for me. So I've always kept the mod team really small uh, because it just, it allows for better communication. And when you're not trying to broadcast to a whole team of people and, and all this, you know, all the opinions and, and personalities and all that kind of stuff, it's like, sometimes you need that, but I, I haven't had that yet. Um, and we were having a discussion a few nights ago about how, the stream is still growing. Um, we did bring on a few new mods when we started being featured on the launcher because we anticipated a bit of a jump. Um, but we, and we haven't had too many issues, but rather than wait until it becomes an issue, we thought, you know, we can bring 
someone on board, just just maybe one more person, just to give a bit more coverage. Because I mean, um, what with time zones, Sheba tends to leave like a little bit early, like before the end of stream, which is totally okay. Moderators are not employees. They don't have a clock in and clock out time. There's no like necessity for them to be here or anything. And then with Jas, he has raid nights, all that kind of stuff. It it's sort of and then rump with the time zone and his job and whatnot. It's like, you know, and then and Finn, Royal Kiwi with his situation. Like there's just there there are a couple of times where I'm the only one. And it's nice, to, especially when I'm sometimes 10, 15 minutes behind on chat, it's really good to have someone as that kind of backup in case that sort of situation arises where everyone else is, you know, Sheba's in bed, Rom's in bed, Kiwi's in bed, Jazz is raiding, I'm the only one, and I'm 10 minutes behind on chat. I'm going to miss something, and it's going to cause havoc until I catch it. It's just, it's nice to have a bit of backup there. So we thought, let's get someone else on, and uh, Seek was our first choice. Because she's always here. Um, not, okay, not always, but vast majority of the time, Seeker is here. But Seeker has also taken it upon herself to do stuff that I've felt uncomfortable doing. Um, and one of the things I said to her last night when I was asking her if she'd be willing to become a, because it's, of course, we don't just, that, you're a mod now. It's, there's consent involved. Uh, or one of the things was that, like, I've always felt kind of awkward with the whole, oh, I haven't turned these on, have I? Um... I've always felt kind of awkward with the self-promotion and stuff and Seeker's efforts in that area have gotten me more comfortable with promoting myself, which is a really important skill for me to have. Um, and of course, like you all have to an extent, like everyone has kind of done bits and pieces here and there, but Seeker was kind of the, the kind of standout, like campaigning for everything and all that it, it's become a bit of a joke like an in joke in the community that that you know if i need something promoted like seek is the one to go to and so you know now she can do announcements <laughs> yeah you, you yeah you're all in trouble now uh but there you go so um yeah there is a there is a lot that kind of when you get the the mod badge and you get the mod role in discord a lot opens up and it can be quite overwhelming. So we're just going to sit with that for a bit. And who knows, a few months from now, uh, Seeker could decide that this is not what she wants. And she's like, nope, Ez, I'm not cool with this. I want to go back to just being a viewer. Please and thank you. And that'd be fine. Or she might gobble everything up and be like, yes, more please. And we'll see where we go from there. But yeah, we're, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy so far. Let's, uh, yeah. Uh, learn the ropes. Yeah, it just it didn't feel right in my head. I don't know why, but there you go. Get for more power. I did. I did. Show the ropes. Eclipse Dragonhawk is correct, Shiba. What's your number? Okay. Indeed, we should start saying things like you numpty to let her know what happens. Ah, I mean, if you want to try triggering auto mod, you absolutely can. Um, but look. I, I claim no responsibility over what happens if you do. I uh, enjoy all the secret mod discussions about me. Uh, the mainstream took my biddies, didn't change the light color. Wait. No, they went, they went aqua last stream, didn't they? Did they go back? Hang on. Because they were aqua, I remember seeing it and being like, ah! Uh, give me a second. Oh, where's my, oh, you know what it is. It's because I closed Lumia stream overnight. One thing I've noticed that happens is if I leave Lumia stream on overnight and someone follows me at two in the morning, they go purple and then they go back to flashing pretty colors and it wakes me up in the middle of the night and I hate it. So I turned it off and when I turned it off, it's defaulted. Uh, that's what's happened. And the logs are gone from yesterday. Well, it was Aqua, wasn't it? I remember seeing it. There you go. There we go. Da, 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 da. Okay, we look good. Looking good. Suffering, turn on the PC, you turn on yours, you still stream, etc, etc. 
I'm my way out, thank you. <laughs> um, hello, Majesty, how are you? Let me see, because I have the point to do so again. Fantastic. Fantastic. Wonderful. You plenty of embers to make fear. Level up tunes to 60 to donate. All you need to do is click the little fire under and to the left of the chat box. Hit that big old bar that says 50, 60 is leveling. You can donate up to 2k embers or you can donate multiple times up to that point. Embers are a completely free currency to spend and you get your embers back if we do not reach the goal. Indeed. A lot of rain up here too. Uh, up north, been chilling on the patio. It's nice. Out here, got the footy on out here too. Fantastic. Enjoy. Hope your team is being successful or at least playing well. Even if they don't win, I hope they play well. Need to feed a kid. Enjoy. Best of luck. Abandoning mod posts already. We wait time to abuse people. But she. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, Sheba. Never mind. Uh, no. <laughs> this is how you abuse people. Holondris? Yes. Hello, Rump. Mods, we should unionize. I mean, you can try. You can try. No union, only swords. I think it's an awesome choice for mod. I think so too. Thank you for agreeing with me, dupe. I appreciate it. You always, you always have a fear that choices you make are gonna not go down well. So it's good to hear that you guys agree. You should promote yourself. There's lots of like, thank you, Lander. I'm trying. I'm trying. Good for Mel. <laughs> 34 for Shiva. Alrighty. Uh, yes, that's the right spreadsheet. Chose purple today. They didn't change it all. Ah. Oh. I didn't see a message from Lumia Stream either. That's not good at all. Um, all right, I'll switch it to purple then. I'm so sorry. I. That's very strange. There we go. That is very strange. Uh, I think it's under here. Twitch extension. Purple. No, not that long. I want... Permanent default. Give chat the ability to make this command a permanent default anytime it's triggered. Or a dynamic default. Yep, that's... that should... Hmm, that's really odd. I wonder if it's only... because the aqua worked and stuck around yesterday, didn't it? Or did it only hang around for a little while? That's very strange. Um... Hello, Scarlet. Who knows? Oops. Hey, I tried. Um, a better voice than Sylvanish. I imagine you mean Sylvanas. Hello, Bri. I hope you're having a good day. How we have over your lights. You do. You do. Damn, I'm just gonna get a second. You're very fresh. Good. Wonderful. Chit dupe. <laughs> so already, my god. Good lord. So becoming a mod, yay, indeed. So people want to see fear stream, everyone always needs more mounts. Yes, leveling stream. See the sneaky roots. I lived any wow, I don't really grasp how wow works. Never leveled right up before. Had boosts and used them. I played with my friends who've been playing for many years, wanted to do raids and such. Then I'll probably get an understanding how on points with stuff works. Yeah. You're making much sense. No, you are! So I think I'm going to start a new character and try to do it properly. Hang on. That shouldn't have... Did I... Orc it? No, cooldown supposed to be... Oh, it was with bits! Never mind, I just... got him a numpty. Alright. Um, yes, leveling from scratch is a fantastic way to really get the grips on the basics, Majesty. I think you're on the right track there. Um, but let us know if you have any questions as you go, and we can give you an answer to that question without overloading you with information. Mm, leveling guides on WoW had a good two. Um, but yeah, just just take it slow, because there is a lot of information, and overwhelming is is a, is a thing. I don't see at the moment. Classic, apparently. Hey, Reza, thanks so much. They do. One's real quiet. Okay, I can... I can fix that. Um, yeah, when I got the 
the um the Holondra sound effect was really loud when I downloaded it the first time. So I'm not that might be why. So I did turn it down a bit, but if it's real quiet, then I'll I'll bump it up. Unlock your tears, yes. Uh I loved like I had so much fun doing um uh, unlocking all the bits, all, all the, the things. There's Holondra's open. Um, oh, I can't. Wait, I, I can't. See, that's on the website. Why is it so much quieter when you... Grumble and the volume's at 100%. Well, I don't. I'm so confused. Much of the stuff. Listen, it's gonna take a while. Work so much. I'm, I'm on, not on much. Really giving a good. Of course. I mean, look, take your time. The game is built with with casual players in mind these days, so that's definitely a thing. Get that sorted. Living on retail on worse. Actually, relatively quick in comparison. Yeah, definitely. They've they've really streamlined the leveling process. It's great. Okay, so um, first mount for the day. Let me confer with my sources. No. Sinful Gargan. Good job, scared by an ad. Wait, why are you getting ads? <gasps> Shiba, your your sub has run out, that's why. Why do moderators get ads? That is stupid. I'm very confused. Okay, I didn't realize that. I mean, of course, but that's also stupid. That's also very stupid. Okay. How can you moderate something if you can't see it? Although chat, I nah, you can still see chat. By the sun. Um Na, na, na. Oh, Landa! Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Shiva. That is so sweet of you. Oh, you be ah, <laughs> Rel. Oh my God, Morris, do you have to moderate the streamer sometimes? I mean, good luck with that. I'm literally just typing. I get paid in a few days. <laughs> oh dear. Well, there you go. There you go. Um. Okay. Can't mod with only chat. The streamer could find me the comment. You have to judge the reaction. Yeah, but the reaction that you get is a whole lot delayed from the chat message, Cookie. You absolutely have to moderate just with chat. You can always undo a moderation action, but if you wait 10 seconds to see how a moderator, how a streamer responds to somebody saying something very sexually explicit, then you're fucked. So no, you absolutely have to moderate just with chat. And we can always undo mod actions later if we have to. I mean, it may have pissed the person off and they've already left because they're, eh, how dare they fucking turn me out? But like, if they're going to respond like that, then we probably don't want them in the community anyway. So it's fine. Um, a nice Kit Kat ad, then a 60 second. Hello, Daz. Hello. Yeah, we do 90 second ad breaks to turn off the pre-roll ads. Um, but there you go. Sinful Gargan get. Sinful Gargan get. Uh, I bought that a few days ago, actually, with um, with Amina, and but I held on to it to learn it today because I know you'd all crack the shits if I did it on Not a Mount Farm Monday. So there you go. <laughs> We're gonna jump on Lillian, knock over Order of Embers, uh, and a few other bits and pieces on her. Try to get some more attempts on some of the Shadowlands mounts, uh, especially on deep discussions. It could be many minutes behind. Yeah, um, unfortunately, it's uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, like uh, like I said, we can we can always undo a mod action if we have to. Um, ah! Oh my goodness! Thank you so much for the resub, Mr. Moo! Hello, hello! And we're two minutes and 47 seconds away from potentially triggering a hype train. We got- wait, no. We have two minutes and 40 seconds left to trigger a hype train. I need to get that sentence correct. I'm very bad at it. But yeah. It's, uh, it is unfortunate, it's great. We have discussions, oh, absolutely, yeah. And, and I mean, that's the other thing. Every single channel will have a different moderation style. Um, there will be some channels where no one actually does anything except for the streamer. Um, they just kind of sit there to like give guidance and all that kind of thing. 
um, rather than actually moderate. Uh, and then there are some uh, some streams where the streamer is 100% hands off and just lets the moderation team deal with literally everything. Uh, but yeah, where I'm very much a, I'm I'm quite hands on, uh, but I also have the utmost trust um, in my in my moderators. So that's why they're there. You know, they're they're an extension of me as such, as creepy as that might sound. Um, but you know, when when I miss something or when I'm you know busy creating content, uh, they are there to to sort of handle what needs to be handled, which I greatly appreciate. Greatly appreciate. Uh, okay, so Della and Hearthstone, I probably reckon uh, I'm gonna have to steal some people eventually to do some IEs, maybe sometime in May. Yes. It was a bit like that this afternoon, absolutely. Absolutely while I'm at it. Hey you, yes you, are you following Fia on Instagram? I had such a wonderful brunch today. My phone's on charge over there. But um, really long discussion about like what it is I do and and all that kind of stuff and learned lots about my, my ex-colleague and learned lots about all the different bits and pieces. So... Uh, she's going to grab some extra details from my accounts and she's going to put together like some suggestions and what I think she called them content pillars. So like kind of themes, like, you know, uh, the makeup stuff is like a thing and I post the Mount Fun Monday photos, uh, sorry, the, the Mount makeup photos, but some other suggestions as to what I can do to expand on that type of content and then behind the scenes stuff and then what I can do to expand on that and just sort of those sort of recommendations around that. Um, and yeah, I'm up. Oh, what well, I'm on Alliance. Good. <laughs> every time, every time, but no, it was a really great in-depth discussion. Uh, but a lot of the stuff I'm doing, I'm on the right track, Alliance. which is what, well, you know, from, from what she can see, I'm on the right track. Uh, but it's just sort of time to like expand and to like look at specifically stuff that's really good for Instagram particularly and, and kind of go from there. Um, and yeah, so it, it looks like I'm not wasting my time <laughs> scheduling my socials and stuff at this point at least. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we go. I'm really excited. Really excited. Um, so you have access to the slash and now it's come on now you do. You do. Literally the sword of the streamer, indeed. I'll do it that way then. Thanks, Shiva. Just need plenty of embers to make fear level up to to 60. To donate, all you need to do is click the little fire under and to the left of the chat box. Hit that big old bar that says 50, 60 is leveling. Donate up to 2k embers, or you can donate multiple times up to that point. Embers are a completely free currency to spend, and you get your embers back if we do not reach the goal. Can you tell that people are a little bit excited about watching me level again. You are not prepared. Crazy. Hello, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? How was your stream? You say he's left to cheat you anyway? Nah, it's all good. All good. Uh, made it past today's requirement would be awesome if we can double it. Oh my God. Can you imagine if we smash it out in like one day? Thank you for the cast of command, Shiba. Hello, Desia. Because in Raiders, indeed. Indeed. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Good much around leveling tune. Hit up some Mythic Plus, which was much needed. Fantastic. Good to hear it. All right. We are. Oh. Gosh. It's been half an hour bloody blabbing. We've received word that the Milden Hall meter is having trouble with Wendigo. Think you could head up there? What am I doing? B pheromones collected. What am I? Oh. Oh, there we go. I see. 98 amazing people donate 2k embers to get the gold today. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Totally doable. Nice big grade came in. Oh, fantastic, Kraz. Wonderful. Thank you for the cheer. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. 
Uh, what did you make of the new X-Pack reveal? Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. There's just, there's so much information I can't really sum up in 10 seconds, can I? But no, I'm, I'm looking forward to more information and, uh, you know, them doing all the development things that need doing and eventually, a while from now, getting our hands on the new X-Pack. It's very exciting. So we can see your excitement over your goals. Thank you, Landa. I'm, yeah, I am genuinely looking forward to this. Like, this, this could be what I need to, like, elevate me to the next level. You know, like, I'm doing pretty well. Like, I'm, I'm doing pretty well for myself. Uh, great Outdoors, Draz, Kludgy, and Zam, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. I, I'm really happy with where I'm at. Like, I'm, I'm super happy with the progress I've made on Twitch and obviously scoring partner and, and growing my social media and all that kind of stuff. But I think I'm ready to take it to the next level and really push and potentially get it to the point where I, I could go full time at some time, at some point. Um, like gaining that time to do more work on my stuff. Like it just, yeah, I think the whole thing would be really awesome, but we'll see, you know, we just gotta have some patience and, and work hard and, you know, it's taken me six years to get to this point. I reckon I can, I reckon I can give it a few more years. Just keep on keeping on. So go and hang with the kids for a bit. Wife and just a positive now. And I'm nearly crumbling. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. 62k in 42 minutes. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Holy cow. <clears throat> Should I just cancel all the Ludopresa challenges and, and cancel Mount Farm Monday and just do nothing but level for a few months? Maybe that's what I need to do. <laughs> no! <laughs> you need mounts if it sparks joy, sure. Uh. I'll have to adjust my, um, I, I will give myself a deadline. Like once we have a release date for Dragonflight, that'll, that'll kind of act as a deadline. I'm not going to get all of them to 60, I don't think, because I do have three that I'm going to need, that I'm going to delete to make evokers. So it's, um, yeah, yeah, absolutely bloody not. <laughs> oh, can you imagine how bored you'd get? Look, if I had the company, I probably wouldn't, to be honest, because I'd just be on autopilot after a while. Everything would be totally autopilot, and it'd just be like, that's it, you know? Bling is good, but that sounds extreme. You told us about the auction house yesterday. Worked me 30k today. Oh, nice! Well done. Which tip? <laughs> I don't remember anything. Ah, oh, Fialadin. Oh, good lord. Good lord. Mm, I have to go back and listen then. I think I need to get some direction in WoW. There are a lot of things to do. There are a lot of things to do. If you... I know, obviously, with kids it makes it a little bit tricky to sort of have certain times that you can play and stuff like that. But if you can manage to get yourself a couple of windows a week that is like your game time, like you time sort of thing, then you can set... Like, this is what I do on a Monday and this is what I do on a Thursday kind of thing. That can help give you a little bit of direction. And then if you start, if you're doing that and you kind of get there and you're like, oh, I really want to work on that thing, but I'm supposed to be working on this thing on these days, then maybe switch to that thing for a month or two on that particular day and kind of, you know, just follow it through that way. Follow your gut. That's what I used to do. This seems to work. Mount Farm Monday is just stuck for so long. I think if I get rid of it, then you lot would riot. And I'd need a handful more mods to deal with that. The one about using global sale average. Oh, really? Okay, interesting. Interesting. There you are. You were going to say that? The meandering through with ATT. Yeah, even, even like setting... ATT as a goal is just such a huge, broad kind of thing, hey? 
Did you, I think you said you were working on outdoor zones, yeah? That's pretty, that's pretty targeted in terms of like a goal. <clears throat> you could also get yourself my, uh, the AT dart spreadsheet, even if it's not 12 classes, even just focusing on one class and you could even narrow it further down, net focusing on one expansion. Um, unless you wanted to level one of each class and get them up there so that you can start working on a 12 class type thing. Or like, what what is it that you enjoy? Obviously you enjoy ATT, but what parts of it have you enjoyed so far? Um, he says, cause I find the current raid boring and interesting. I just run around collecting mounts. Brilliant, Lexa. Well, I'm so glad that you found something that you enjoy doing. That's wonderful. And I mean, hey, once, if you do eventually get bored of farming mounts, there's so much and so many other collectibles to farm as well. Like, good lord. Good lord. Was for a few weeks then got bored slash lazy. Nah, bored is definitely, it's not about being lazy. If you're finding it difficult to stick to something, then it might be because it's no longer working for you and it's time to look for something slightly different to do. And that's totally reasonable. 100% okay. <clears throat> I was thinking maybe I need to do class hall stuff. Think I got part way, then got distracted. So do you have, do you have twelve tunes at like fifty, like the twelve classes? Fifty, I think, is a really good point to have them at because they can do the majority of content. They can't necessarily do some of the newest stuff, but in terms of collections, they can do quite a bit. Nah. Is that something that interests you? Especially if you're going to do the, um, if you're wanting to eventually work through the class order hall stuff. Oh, it is Storm's Wake. Fantastic. If you're going to eventually work through the class hall stuff, that'll get you a legendary campaign if you've got the 12. Mogget Adam was updated and click current patch, which I didn't expect in the slightest, so I'm very happy she'd be. Yay! Awesome. Because lazy, if it's not something that interests you, that's totally okay. Uh, obviously you've got mount farming. Uh, you've got, uh, you can do battle pet hunting. Pet hunting's another really good one to chase down because there's a bunch of things that come from a variety of sources and there's a ton of achievements along the way, like all the safari achievements and stuff like that, if you don't have those. Um, uh, secret hunting is great fun, going and knocking those out from ATT. The outdoor zones thing is something I haven't even tackled yet because every time I see the capital cities I want to cry. Um, but working on things that aren't capital cities could definitely be a good thing. Almost got my full pro wall up to 50. Yay, Kay, that's awesome. Well done. Love mount farming. Enjoy pet hunting. Maybe one of the goals, one of the things I used to do um, back when I was back in Legion, when I was leveling my first 12 max level tunes for class order hall campaigns for the, for the legendary campaign, um, I would start like on a Sunday. I did mount farm Sunday. I know. Weird, right? I would start off my Sunday farming mounts. Um, and to begin with, it was, it was ashes. Pretty sure I got ashes in Legion. Um, and so I started out, I had three tunes that were max level. And so I went and did three attempts on Ashes each Sunday. And during the week, I was leveling whatever class I was working on at that point, trying to get up there. And so once I got my fourth tune to, to 110, on the Sundays I would then farm, I would do four attempts on Ashes. And then I'd level up a fifth, and then I'd be doing five attempts on Ashes. So what you could do, if you've got a mount farming day, you could pick a raid mount to focus on. And then once you've done your four attempts, however many tunes you have, once you've done the four attempts on that mount, spend the rest of the gaming session leveling your next attempt. And that way you've got a bit of like, you are, you're, you're progressing your account, you're getting, you know, you're racking up more attempts on whatever you're going to be farming, but you're also still getting those mount farm attempts in too. Um, so that way you're also tackling multiple things in a day and it maybe might help with the boredom thing, but you're not spending too much time leveling. So it's not going to get hopefully not going to get so boring there either. Just a thought, obviously not like instructions, but, but that might be something that works. Uh, 
Um, just do that. Plenty to do. Yeah, absolutely. Might go back to Outdoor Zone, bit of Battle Pet Mount Climb. Do you want it? For sure. Hey, Account Zero. So with the announcement of the Dragonflight, does that mean that Shadowlands was all just a bad dream? How does it fit with Shadowlands? It's just the next step in the timeline. Uh, like like anything else, you know, you, you go through your schooling and then you maybe you go and get a job and blah, 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 blah. Just because you change job doesn't mean that the previous jobs didn't exist. It's just the next thing that's going on. So we've we've helped the Shadowlands, we've helped repair it. The the souls are flowing, the anima's flowing. They're pretty much golden now. They 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 can go back. They've got an arbiter that's functional again. They can go back to what they were supposed to do in their day-to-day -day operations. Oh, dragons. And we move on to the next exciting thing. That's all it is. It's just like every other expansion. We've solved the issue, and now we have another issue to face. Um, I have to wait to see. Um, good morning, Kier. Hello, Speed Ashes. I didn't get it just now. Ah, oh, next time. Rel, next time. I decided on a goal item I would like to get. I start working on it, and when I start losing interest focus, I pick a new one. I always have a few goals rotate around. Helps me doing that way. For sure, Rel, absolutely. I'm, I think I'm too stubborn to do that, personally. But I know that it does work for quite a few people to operate that way and cycle through things. Um, and hey, if it works for you, bloody earth. Do the thing, hey. But didn't we all die? No, we were mortals alive in the Shadowlands. That was why all the NPCs were so shocked. Like, a mortal? I haven't seen a mortal since I was alive, which was tens of thousands of years ago. That was why they were all so shocked to see us not dead people in their realm. We were not dead, no. We are, we tore down the veil between, this is not where I'm meant to be. We tore the veil between the two worlds and crossed over where we were not supposed to go. I'm tripping this economy. No, we were crossing between, correct? Ah, living being, exactly, exactly. I uh, had the meeting with marketing manager. Went, yeah, it went really, really well. I learned lots of things. Uh, we've got some next steps to work through, and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward on uh, looking forward to building on the advice that she's given me. I'm very excited. A lot of what we talked about was kind of my background and why I've been doing what I'm doing and how my different platforms interact with each other uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, we do have um, a couple of steps that I can take moving forward. And uh, she's gonna have a look, in, a little bit of a deeper dive into my analytics and then put together some recommendations for me. And then I'm gonna give that a go and, and do my best over you know space of a few months and, and see how it goes. And then have a look at my updated analytics and see if, it, if it's improved engagement, see if I'm you know growing faster, better, whatever. Um, and then kind of touch base again and, and just see if there's anything we can tweak and that kind of thing. And, and also my experiences, like if it's something I can see myself doing sustainably or whether I just had to like put in a ton of effort in, in a bunch of times and yeah. So just yeah, baby steps and see how we go. Very exciting. Very exciting. And the food was delicious when had brunch. All right, um, I've got a couple more up here to hit up. Wait, wait, hang on. Oh my God, I'm doing Storm's Wake. I'm supposed to be doing Order of Embers. Oh, I hate myself. I'm so used to coming up here first. I feel like such a numpty, holy cow. <gasps> oh, I'm an idiot. I'm so used to going up there first. I'm like, I didn't think there was an Order of Embers thing there. That's because it was a Storm's Wake one. And then it, yep. Yeah. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Totally okay. Totally okay. Ah, uh, dear. Our community is using Embers free channel points, a little fireplace next to chat to donate a, to a 50-60s stream. It's a leveling stream. Uh, you can pop in up to 2,000 Embers, as many increments as you like per stream. If we don't hit the goal, you get the points back. It would be lovely if you could help us out. Thank you to those who have already contributed. Much appreciated. We've made 33% so far today. My god. People are keen. People want to see Fear level more. 
And maybe I reckon, I reckon what happened is that I must have gained a handful of like lurker followers and all that kind of, which we love our lurkers through that whole 50 fifties course. And now it's like, why is, why is there no more leveling? And it's like, oh, more leveling. Yeah. Let's do that. It must be right. It must be. <clears throat> God, I feel like such an idiot. All that time doing the wrong bloody content. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. Totally fine. Fridays become permanently 50 Fridays. Yeah, look. Look, is there any way, uh, is there any way any new tunes don't have to do the rep for the world quests? N n no? Wait, what do you mean? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Sorry, Panda. Ah, uh, now we were always here. Fair, fair. Welcome, lurkers. Bloody love the silent contributors. Absolutely. Hello, Aelin. Welcome to chat. Permanent lurker? Look, me too. I have just, like, honestly, me too. I'm such a lurker in, like, anywhere I go. Oh, we just enjoy torturing you. Well, I knew that already. I knew that already. Refer bean boozled. Streamers would be nothing without their lurkers. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, streamers are nothing without their viewers in general. But, like, lurkers in particular, for me, lurkers make up such a high proportion of my viewer base. I, I would be nothing without my lurkers. So he's in 50, 70s. Yeah. I mean, that'd be the logical next step, wouldn't it? Soon. Yep. Like to get exalted to Stormwake, etc. when I'm already exalted on another tune. Nah. Nah. You've got to, you've got to earn it on each character. So because it's a role playing game, you got to imagine it this way. Just because they're your alts doesn't mean that the non-player characters, the NPCs in game recognize that those characters, those people are from the same account. So if you walk up there on Bob and they make best friends with Bob and then Fred comes along, they don't know Fred from Bar of Soap. There are reputation tokens for some factions. When there's like time walking and stuff like that, often they end up having rep tokens that you can buy with time warp badges that are account bound. So I can, you can buy it on Bob and send it to Fred and then Fred can use it to gain reputation with whatever faction it is. And think of that kind of like a, a referral, like Bob saying, hey, you guys, Fred's a good bloke. And so they get like, oh, oh, Fred's a good bloke. They're not best friends yet, but they're a little friendlier. <clears throat> but yeah, that's part of the whole um, role playing game thing. It, yeah, each character is an individual person in the universe, so it's non non transferable. <clears throat> um, hello, fool. How you going? Welcome on in. Wish we're up your account wide, but no. Yeah. What a grind. Yeah, I mean, this is also an Alliance character, though, and I have mostly Horde tunes. So this is a reputation I have never ground up before, ever. So, like, even if it was possible, I'd still be having to grind this one. Uh, new race class, wonder if they'll end up bumping up the character cap. I doubt it. How many, like, think about how many classes and races they've added in the past. And they've never increased the cap, ever. They have increased the number of tunes you can have on one server. Uh, they It used to be 10, I'm pretty sure. And then they bumped it up, and then they bumped it up, and then they removed the cap. Uh, but they've never increased the entire account cap. God, the, the slight lag on the movement of the crab is just enough to annihilate you. So I would, hey, I wouldn't be against it, but given the history, I doubt it, unfortunately. Missed that one. Oops. Another 
Uh, I think it's sort of a mess though because our personal army of people are our own faction elites. That's how I look at it. Yeah, but it's not how they look at it. NPCs, that's not like each individual character is a single person. It's like you seeing a stranger on the street and then 20 meters down the road seeing another stranger on the street. How are you supposed to know that they're related? You know what I mean? Like it's not unless they like unless you're introduced, which we can't do because we can only be in one at a time. It doesn't, yeah. From a from a like logistics perspective, it doesn't make sense. Um, they absolutely need to make a count, rep account wide. No, they don't. They absolutely do not need to do shit. They don't even need to keep the servers up. <laughs> like they can do whatever they like. Um, but no, they don't. They they absolutely don't. Um, and that, that's not how reputation works. Reputation is literally an opinion of a person. Like. Even even if two people are uh, siblings or whatever, like or twins, just because I just because I'm best friends with one of the twins doesn't mean I necessarily like the other one. Like it's none of it. Like they're two two separate people. Why would it? Or why would you automatically be best friends with person X just because you're best friends with person Y? It does not make any logical sense. For a quality of life thing, it'd be nice. But from an RPG perspective, it does not make sense. Um, quality way to explain that. Thank you. I thought it was kind of fun. <laughs> uh, there is some content you can access as long as you've done it on one tune. Correct. There is. There, there, like there are account wide unlocks. It doesn't grant you the reputation account wide, but it unlocks access to the feature account wide, and that's a that's a better way of doing it. I think. Um. I think making rep rewards that you can purchase from the Quartermaster account wide. So you still, like, if you're exalted on your main, you're still neutral on everyone else, but you can buy the thing on the exalted tune and mail it to your tailoring alt or whatever. That works enough. That's perfectly fine for me. Uh, that would be good. And that would still make sense law wise because I'm best friends with this person and I can get their secret muffin recipe and then hand it off to Majesty. I mean, I probably lose some reputation doing that, but <laughs> it do, it is something logistically that would make sense in terms of a of an actual real world situation. Um, usually, I do not get to see live streams due to work time zones, and just put the vods on the background when I play or do stuff. When I get to see someone live, I look out of habit. That's okay, Aylan. Not a worry at all. I'm so glad you watch the vods and stuff, though. I'm, I hope you enjoy them. That's awesome to hear. Uh, if they need to make rep account wide, they should just make everyone have one character who can do any uh, everything. Yeah, um, they're like obviously Final Fantasy does like they you know you can do all jobs on one character, and that's a really lovely way that it works for them. But I mean, I don't know. I quite like having my army and leveling them all up separately and having them all have different kind of. I, I don't know. I really like that. Um, it also means, of course, that I have 50 attempts at a particular thing each and every day and all that kind of stuff. Like, it just, I don't know. Maybe, it, and the other option is, maybe I like it because that's what I've had for 15 years. Maybe if I had started with Final Fantasy, I'd prefer that system. But I, I definitely like this system with having a bunch of alts and all that kind of stuff, personally. And everyone's entitled to their own opinion, of course. Of course. Thanks for designing to chime in today. Absolutely. Always love to meet new people. Notice there's no reason to increase it. Data concern for millions of users with 50 characters each. That's the other thing, yeah. You you think, like... And, I mean, some people have multiple accounts, and so you can have up to 400 characters on one Battle.net account. You've got to, obviously, have eight accounts and, and have them financed with active subs and whatnot. But, yeah, if that's the thing. If you increase it by one, one character... Every single account in the world can now create an additional new character. That adds a lot of, yeah. Yeah. But hey, who knows? Like, I never say never. Um, I don't expect them to, but I would not be upset if they did. Ah, uh, speaking of lurking, time to go spend time with family. Well, I was not a worry, Rel. Enjoy. We'll see you next time or later, whichever whichever comes first. I know that most users have 50 tunes, though. I mean, you might be right. Um, I don't think most users do. 
I think a lot of people have a random, you know, a level one or a level three or a level whatever here and there, like all over the shop. Um, but the, the thing is, it's not about what users actually have. It's about the capacity for users to do that. There could be one day some weird thing that goes viral that declares that everyone needs to create the maximum number of characters for their account. And so, and it catches on and all of a sudden you have millions of accounts that previously had 10 tunes. Now they all have 55 and that it's the capacity. You don't plan, you don't buy food for a restaurant because you think you're going to have 10 patrons. You buy enough food for the restaurant for all 50 seats, just in case that's how many show up sort of thing. Uh, and I think it's the same thing with, uh, like, with their capacity to host tunes. Last thing you want is for everyone to be doing what they can within the bounds of, of their own accounts and have everything go kasplat. <laughs> uh, about 30, 24, which I play regularly, one of each class on each faction. Nice. Good balance. I've been have to consider that they might. Correct. Absolutely right. Uh, there's also people with eight accounts who could up to 52 tunes each, like me, for sure. For sure, those those 400 tunes, like, good lord, can you imagine? 450s, 460s. There are, there are people who are damn close to that. Look at DFA, look at the alt, like, if you have a look at the world rankings for um, alt levels, total alt levels, it's unbelievable. Stimmed, hello! Thank you so much for your prime sub! Much appreciated. Welcome to the Fianati. Hope you're having a lovely day. Only less than 70 minutes in and 70k. Seems it's a popular one. Quality of life over RPG elements? Sure. But that's not always how it works. That's not always how it works. If you keep going with quality of life, quality of life, quality of life over those gameplay elements, you end up with a game that has no challenge and is just crap to play and everyone leaves because it's boring as shit. Because everything is catered to ease. There's no challenge. There's no, no interest. Quality of life is not always the primary concern. Sometimes it is, not always. In this case, there is an actual reason to not go with the quality of life. Whereas sometimes it's like, you know, with the UI, why not let people move things around? Previously, it might've been an engineering problem. They might not have been able to code it in properly or, or something like that. But these days now, you know, with Dragonflight coming and we're gonna be able to edit the base UI, They've obviously found a way to do it, and there was nothing holding them back anymore. No reason not to give us the quality of life change, whereas there is a reason for reputation stuff. Uh, I'm not in favor of account-wide rep. I'm in favor of your main being able to give items to your alts because you can give people things. That is that is my belief as well. That I would 100% be all for that. I would love to see that as a change. They did do it in a minor way, I remember. I think it was in BFA. There were a couple of things where, like, if you had one tune with Exalted Rep, then some of the items at the vendor could be bought by any of your characters or something. It was some weird thing like that. But I would love to be able to have anything that's rep locked be BOE. Uh, not BOE, sorry, BOA. BOA, bind to account. Um, yeah, that would be that would be my ideal solution for that, personally. In the end, this is an RPG. If you want quality of life over RPG, there are other games you can play. Yeah, it is, it is a little bit that way sometimes. Uh, I think a good midway would be all rep uh, items Blizzard account bound. Correct. Uh, if you're going to make rep items BOA, then just make rep account wide. It's extra steps to the same end result. No, it's not though, Tick. It retains the RPG element for those who actually play the game for fucking RP, whilst still having the quality of life change for those players who don't like those elements. It is completely separate. They are different. Not true, it still takes work to earn, whether you earn it on your main or on your alt. Uh, never, there I said it. As much as some limitations can be frustrating at points, I also feel that transmog hunting or any collecting really would be less rewarding if easier. Just my personal enjoyment from doing a tough thing though. Yeah, for sure. Usually earning it on your main, sending it to your alt is less efficient. Uh, I'm not saying make rep free, you should still earn it on your main, but expecting a player to grind out necessary rep on multiple alts is just silly. Why is it necessary? No reps are actually truly necessary. Like, legit. The only one I would argue would be that stupid, um, uh, the Suramar one, where the quest, the quest chapters were rep locked. But they've moved away from that model and now it's time gated instead. So you could be sitting on neutral rep and be still be able to do the, the chapters each week, which I think is a good change, personally. 
Um, but yeah, reps are actually entirely unnecessary. If you want to optimize certain parts of your game gameplay, then sure, you might need to go do that, but that's a personal choice. It, it's not necessary to be able to play the game. Um, 450s. Look. I, I definitely need to be a full-time streamer to even consider maybe possibly doing that. Good lord. Your choice to play multiple olds, your choice to grind those olds to as much content as you desire. So like the initial covenant switch, we have a quest line to prove your worth. Uh, most rep grinds are designed as an end game content system for something to do when you have nothing else to do anyway. Why not spend your time on alts then? Rep toys like they did with flat maps. Uh, especially if those grinds are time gated, run multiple alts per week. Here's why rep will never ever be account wide. Person with 50 tunes will get exalted 50 times faster than me with only one character. That's also a really bloody good point. I can jump on Fia, do the world quests, get 10% rep. I'm pulling numbers out my ass. Jump on Phelan, 10% rep. Jump on Alexia, 10% rep. Jump on, uh, what's the next one? Melissa, 10% rep. Jump on Lilianne, 10% rep. Jump on Jasmine, 10% rep. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. That's a really good point that I did not even think of. Thank you, Kira. Much appreciated. There is a solution to that. Make everything, uh, fucking... What's it? Like account lockout for world quests and, and questy things, but then you've got to sit there e with every single individual quest and decide which character do I need to do this on to get, like if it's a if it's a, a world quest that gives a piece of gear, you need to jump onto every single fucking character to see what pieces of gear each of them would get and figure out, oh, which one's gonna be the, the biggest upgrade or what, nah, man, that's terrible. That's a reverse quality of life change. That would be horrible. Uh, rep grind view is simple. I'm not my brother, so I shouldn't be able to walk into my brother's workplace and get the same respect he does. That doesn't stop him from walking in, getting something, and giving it to me. Correct. That's exactly it. From a logical standpoint, from a from a real world perspective, from actually stepping in and playing a role, that is how friendships and reputation work. That's that's what reputation is. It's not just some random word that they stuck in, like to to make a bar have a label. It's you know, you have a reputation. They know of you because you did things to help them. They like you because you did things to help them, etc. Uh, Catwide rep couldn't work anyway. Minotaur and walking through Stormwind on PvP server, for example, happened to have a human character too. One thing I did love was when they decided to make mounts across tunes, not quite a Catwide, as you still have faction mounts, but still much better uh, in this game, rather. Uh... This game, right, yeah, that has more to do with the items being soul bound versus account bound, not rep. Uh, it'd be like Blinktron, though. I also love the idea of the brutality of only being able to have tunes on one faction, though. One in, all in. I wasn't playing for that change, but it was awesome. My mage was able to use my priest's chicken mount. My count wide rep, I mean, once you hit exalted, all other tunes are also exalted, not rep gains or accumulative count wide. Yeah, but how would you make that distinction? Like, what if you've got one sitting on revered? But that tune's still neutral, but they want the rep, the reward that can be purchased at Revered. Like, do you know what I mean? That's, it, it's trickier than, than just like, bam, you know? Like, not everything is about Exalted. The easiest coding solution here is literally just make those items BOA. Like, legit. Zam, Kludgy, Trig, Lexa, Fade, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Uh, although you better believe my alliance tunes would be canned instantly. To honest, I'm not even sure mounts should be account wide. I get where they are, but I'm not able to drive my brother's car uh, when I want either. I'd be very cross if he drove mine. I like it. I like it. Also, what about reps that are mutually exclusive? Uh, you make a good point. Uh, okay, Warbeast is on cooldown. I need to place archers, warriors, and archers. Good, we're going to place the archers first, knock out a couple of quests in one go. Place your units. Do the thing. Still pet battling. It's a world quest, though, so it's fine. Ah, oh, so sniffly. Ah, oh. 
海风。Ah, even more accurately, someone kills your brother and then gets to drive your car. Ally vs Horde. Oh no. That doesn't sound like much fun. You fear stream? Hey, Abate, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, to be honest, when you think about it, there's valid examples that have given to remove almost all account-wide features. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's a reason why those account-wide features weren't there to begin with. I think the reason they ended up making mounts account-wide and battle pets and stuff like that is because there's no player power to be gained. Reputations absolutely have linked player power. And they don't want, you know, just because you hit X level on your main doesn't mean that the alts should automatically be all of a sudden that powerful. Reputations have gear involved. Most of the time. I mean, I mean, obviously. Couple of weeks after you unlock the rep gain, the, the gear is practically useless, but it's still player power. Uh, doing good. Question, what are some good battle pet add-ons? Uh, rematch is one that I really, really like. As in, you're going up against somebody for a rematch, spelt exactly as you'd expect it to be. Um, and I also use uh, Zufu's pet battle strategies website. Honestly, a lot of, like, the add-ons make things a little easier, but the websites are where people go to post their strategies and stuff like that. So I definitely recommend bookmarking that. I think it's wow-petguides or something. Give me a second. Let me double check. wow-petguide.com. Uh, and they've also got a list of add-ons that they recommend on that website too, which... Um, Definitely recommend having a read of. I'm gonna say I don't remember mounts being account wide in vanilla. They didn't also remember that mounts used to consume bag space. Correct, they did. And um, the skill to ride the mounts was expensive as hell, and the mounts themselves were dirt cheap. No, wait, other way around. The mounts were really, 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 really expensive, and the riding was dirt cheap. Um, so you'd, you'd buy riding, but then you'd have to save up for the mount that you wanted to ride. Uh, and so they switched it around, so you had to save up for the skill, but once you'd bought the skill, you could buy whatever mounts you wanted and collect all of them if you really wanted to. Um, so yeah, they, they switched it pretty early on. Because they realised having collections was a worthwhile thing. <clears throat> Um, mounts used to, yeah, yep, I for one was super sick of carrying around mounts. Pets in my bags to use, yep. I kept my pets in the bank because I didn't want to carry them around everywhere, so I didn't even use them. I had them, I collected them, but I kept them in the bank. Um, was it the same time both changes were made? Mounts used to be items. Yeah, imagine having 600 plus mounts in bags these days. Nope. I wouldn't be a collector if we didn't have a thing that we could just stick them in like we do. Because, like, the, it's just, it's... It practically impossible. Uh, writing has never been cheap. No, it wasn't cheap, but it was a hell of a lot cheaper than the mounts were. Hell of a lot cheaper. The mounts were ridiculously expensive. Your first one, I'm pretty sure you were given when you learned writing. But if you wanted extra, if you wanted other colours and stuff, you had to save up for fucking months and months and months. Mount Peckley's when you had to carry them. You know, I'm happy doing completionist mode for sure. While we have these excellent, passionate discussions, it makes me think, are you following Fia on Instagram? She is so close to the 1k followers, which unlocks so many more sponsorship options. Following is a free way to support streamers and makes a huge difference to them. For people wondering what that means exactly, um, 1000 is kind of a bit of a threshold for the Instagram algorithm, which means that, like, my account will, like, Instagram will like my account more, and so when I use certain hashtags and when people search for those hashtags, they're more likely to find me. My posts are more likely to appear in people's feeds 
if I hit those kind of thresholds, that's kind of, that's what, and of course having high engagement and stuff like that also helps. Um, but having lots of followers is a big factor in, in those. It's silly. I know it's silly, but unfortunately it is the way it is. So if you have any content creators that you are a fan of, that you want to help be successful and help for free, following them on all of their social media is a really freaking good way to do it. Um, but yes, is the thing. Fast riding was expensive, as was flying. It was. It was. And fast flying. Uh, you had to pay for each expansion to fly in, and mop, you had to obtain a BOA book. Uh, not just Instagram follow, all the socials. I mean, if you're feeling generous, yeah. What do you need that achievement for flying, which took me quite a while to get. I mean, ever since what, we've had achievements for it. Um, and, and, like, it's usually stuff that you get just by playing the game naturally, though. Not, like, you know as easy as it was with just achieve level renown. That was so easy and, and just like, you know, just had to be patient. Um, but yeah, with, with what and that kind of stuff, you had to like go and just explore the zones and open treasure chests and kill rares and yeah. Just playing the game as it was intended to be played was enough to unlock flying, but it did take a little while. Mm, cold weather flying, fast flying, everything, yeah. Mounts for coppers. A really slow free mount uh, because back then mount speeds varied. They did. I remember my guild gave us loans for our flying mounts. Remember a good friend gave me the extra one K to get my epic riding. Thought it was a very cool kid in 2007. Yeah, I I had a I had an in-game friend by me uh, fly fast flying. Um, I had slow flying and I had the slow flying. I had the griffin, um, and they gave me the gold to get fast flying and an armored griffin. I was playing alliance back then. Um, because they were sick of having to wait around for me to catch up, <laughs> which is hilarious. Generosity born from frustration. You were given Mouse Walks and Paladins. It was after their respective quests. Yeah, but it made them really popular to play because they didn't have to pay for it. Uh, at least Grand Mounts from your faction vendors. Yup. Yup. That's the fellows is the honored rep with Instagram. Uh, friendly. Not quite honored yet. I'd say friendly. And then, and then 3k is honored and 10k is revered. 100k is probably your exalted. It's like, that's when you get to exalted. I'm a very long way away from that, but wouldn't that be freaking cool? Having people offering, like, can you, can you post about my products? I will pay you. Like, that's the dream. Of course, it has to be good products. I'm not going to show shit to you guys. Like, that's not a thing. You know that. I've worked my bloody ass off to build a reputation with you lot of being honest and genuine and not a sellout. And I will do everything I can, everything in my power to protect that reputation because good Lord, it's worth something. And in, that, in fact, that's why people want to pay me to tell you about their products because you trust me. That trust that you have in me is what I have to monetize. That's it. That's what I can monetize. And so if I lose that, I'm fucked. <laughs> so I'm, yeah, no way in hell would I do anything to lose that. Um, most of the early mounts were rep lock back to original discussion, collect them, big rep, big time rep grinding. Yup. Absolutely. Uh, basic 1000 on a rep with Instagram. Let's help for your achievement revered in that case. <laughs> Oh god, gamifying everything, hey. Gamifying everything. Oh, there it is. A raven called Nevermore. I freaking love it. Um, we're gonna go down the RPG route. I shouldn't have to learn to fly every x back skills transfer. They should. They should. Cold weather flying made sense. Like, learning how to handle... Like, you've been flying in relatively temperate areas. Going and flying something in the cold. Like, the icy, icy winds requires a different kind of training. You're not necessarily learning how to fly, you're learning how to keep your living, breathing mount from dying from frostbite. That's, that, I get that. I get that. You could make the argument that in Mists of Pandaria, the, the, the air was like super hella foggy because the fog had only just recently cleared from the island. And so like learning to fly through that fog at a decent speed was something you needed to learn like there are there are arguments to be made 
We finally needed to do this. This is another storm. 39%. My gosh. Cold fly made sense. Yes, different set of skills. Yep, absolutely. I agree with that one. Look, I'm behind, alright. I'm two only two minutes behind. I'm doing well. Doing well. Still never forget when my mage first made it through the dark portal. A whole bunch of my guildies are waiting for me. They're flying out because we couldn't fly on the other side yet. Ah! Oh, Landa! Thank you so much for the donation. Parag ah! <laughs> Greetings, champion unit for Yama. I offer this Paragon donation for your honorable efforts in excellent entertainment and being a highly upstanding, inspiring person. Thank you so much, Lenda. That is so generous of you. Much appreciated. Oh, that's hilarious. I love that. Uh, admittedly, as it is, a it is a three streams before the month changes week, the threshold is a little lower. Correct. It is. I did that on purpose, though. I think that's fair, right? If I'm, I'm hoping to get the same... Not the same percentage, obviously, but the same amount, like the same number of embers each stream. Three streams is going to earn fewer than than four streams. So I figured that would be nice to you guys. But clearly, considering you reached every single goal this month, I need to bump them up. I need to make them more challenging. It's official. We share a brain, right? We absolutely do, Meaty. We absolutely do. BC gang, yes. What mounts are you farming? At the moment, I'm trying to get my reputation with the Order of Embers up to Exalted because they have two mounts that I can purchase. And because I am a Horde main, I never really played Alliance much at the end game in BFA, so I had no rep with them. So, grinding. Yes, but welcome on ENJ. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Dev's fair, yep. Look, I try to be fair. It's not always going to be possible, but I do my best to be fair. do my best. Uh, but we have a whole list of, I've got my whole to-do list in my other screen. So many tunes, so many activities to cross off the list and maybe one day they will generate mounts. But I did get one mount today because I bought it earlier in the week and just learned it today because I'm just said that was cheating. What do you guys think? I think it's totally fine and that it's better than if I had learned it halfway through the week because you all would have yelled at me. In my honest opinion. Frightened woodsman. Oh, I need to click the glowy people. Okay. Click. Excuse me. The witch's forces have been routed. Oh, I'm out. Okay, what are we at? 92% reputation. So I've only got, I think, two weeks. Two more Mount Farm Mondays should put that at Exalted. Should. Should. Alright, um... Mount Farm Mondays. So we're gonna tick off Order of Embers. Uh, oozing Necro Ray Eggs. So we're gonna head back to... Actually, I can check from here, can't I? We got... Hey, Ambitious! Wild Hunt and court. So we do have one. So I can go and do that. So let's go do that and hopefully we get a necro egg out of it. Mm -hmm. Buying is not considered farming, so not necessary to save till Monday. Says you, goal. <laughs> Talk to everyone else and see how they yell at me. No, I have been, I have been yelled at for accidentally having a mount drop off, like not on a Monday. Like my lord. I wasn't even trying to get a mount and it just appears in my bags and I get yelled at. Like, how dare? How dare? Boop. All right, let's go get us that. It's up here. A call to Maldraxxus. So what do we got over in Maldraxxus to collect? Wait, no, I'm going this way. I reckon I do those anima quests. So we've got one, two, three. What is your quarry? Okay, I think I'm gonna fly to here. Hmm, it is illegal for fear to get mounts outside of Monday. There you go. <laughs> I mean, it is a criminal act, Kappa. 
You could have bought it from vendor on stream Monday. Yeah, but I would have forgotten. You didn't sign the contract to acquire mounts outside of Monday. Oh, wow, that booted me out of mod. Something is going on with Kappa. Huh? Interesting. Pay me not do content with the possibility of mount dropping off of stream. Is rules. Look, you guys. Look, what if he gets him out during raid progress? Exactly. What if I'm not raiding on stream? It's a thing, occasionally. Maybe sometimes. I'm having fun. I need to go pull out my bag of influencer shit. I have a bag. I bought a ring light from eBay and it came with like so many like stands and attachments and clippy bits to hold a phone and etc. like just so much stuff and it also came with like a camera like a, a duffel bag type deal so it's all in the duffel bag so i call it my bag of influencer shit because it's it's got like three two or three ring lights and, and all this kind of bits and bobs in it i need to pull it out and make some content um yes style have announced another competition um, you know, post this with this with a hashtag and, and be in the draw to win, blah, 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 blah. And I still need to film that mini skirt challenge and stick that up. Keep it in bag until Monday. That's what I did. That's what I did, Gita. I bought it with Anima and I had it in my bags until today and then I learned it at the start of stream. Um, illegals. Who is not allowed to play WoW outside of stream? What is this? Beg your pardon? <laughs> Excuse me! I mean, as I mentioned when I typed the Kappa emote to get rid of text, try time booted me. Reported that? Yeah, that's super odd. Ah, itchy. Ah, oh, Seeker, what do you reckon? What do you think of the mod dashboard? Is it overwhelming yet? How many of the buttons do you want to click to see what they do? <laughs> she feels much smarts tonight. Ugh. Ugh, clicking emotes sometimes does weird things. Oof. Rough. I check. But my back hurts. I'm trying to stretch it out. Like I'm actually sitting like this for a reason. I'm trying to elongate my spine and stretch it a bit. I promise I'll straighten up properly in a little bit. I'm loving it. Looking through everything. Good. Foster your check, young lady. Excuse me, young person. You also. God, this list of- So after last stream, remember how you were all like, yes, you need to update your list. I did. Oh my god, it's long. It's horrid. Um, I mean, it's not, but it is, you know, one of those, yeah, yeah. So I gotta do oozing necrary egg, then I gotta go do Valfia on Alliance side, then actually, what's the Covenant Assault? Where's Wowhead? <laughs> Wowhead will tell me. Probably haven't done enough in the mortar to unlock the Covenant Assault, knowing my luck. Mm. Night Fae. Okay, so there is a mount from that too. Good lord. See, some of them are like every second week or so, there's not going to be, I can't get that mount, so I can just tick it off and skip it. But um, this week, I think everything is up. Literally everything I can do is up. So this is going to take, I don't, we're not going to get to the end of this list for like a year and a half, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But I need to get to 683 mounts before Dragonflight. So here we go. I know when I first became a mod, I was very interested in what it all did and terrified of messing it up. Yeah. Yeah. There are, look, there are so many buttons and they and they do all sorts of fun things. Um, there are some that could potentially cause a little bit of damage. Like if you accidentally clicked a, um, an ad button, for example, and all of a sudden there's a bunch of people locked out of an ad unintentionally, uh, locked out in an ad unintentionally. Um, not super great for, for the flow of stream, but things like polls and stuff like that, um, you can click the poll and then you actually have to do stuff. You've got to set the poll before you click okay, so you can click in there and have a look at what it looks like. Uh, same thing with predictions, you actually have, you have to click again, another thing to accept the prediction. Um, stream markers, uh, the stream markers are actually really useful. Um, for if you want to go back and highlight something later, or if you want to go back and perfect the clip later. Like, as if you hit the clip button, right? You've got to sit there right then and there and 
get the get it right. So like pull it in on both sides to make sure it's framed properly and then do your title and everything. But if you set a stream marker, you can go back and do that later. I don't know if you have access to those now that I think about it. Uh, there's also stream marker with note. So you can like add a title to it. So you'd, you'd say what you were intending. Because if you go back there and like, why did I mark this? What the hell did I want to do with this? You can leave yourself a note. That's super convenient. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of really useful buttons there. Really, really useful. And turning things to follower or sub only chat, you can immediately undo. Same thing with emote only. Um, like, yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of good stuff. Whole bunch of good stuff. Good evening. Just saying hi, hello, Dunno. Hope you have a good night. You too. Enjoy your lurk. Hope you have a fantastic evening. It's a lot of mounts. It is. I've got 656 now, I want to say. What do I have? I don't even remember anymore. I think I was on six I was on 655 last week, I think. Oh no, no, 657. And I've learned one the starter stream, so I'm on 658. So they introduced 41 mounts in 9.2. So I need to get 42 mounts during the patch to stay ahead of how many they're adding, if that makes sense. So like actually, if I'm ever gonna collect every mount, I need to stay ahead of what they're adding. So if they add 41 mounts, I need to get 42 minimum, which would, and given how many I was at, I was at 641 when the patch launched. So I have to get to 683 to stay ahead. Yeah. Math is fun. <laughs> 683, what are you at now? 658. I don't think mods have access to all the things you mentioned. Um, yeah, some of it might be, the, the markers and stuff like that might be editors. Because um, I know Jas is an editor, so he might have, because I've seen his dashboard, so I know roughly what it looks like. I just... I know that you can also customize the hell out of it. So I don't know what he's changed versus what Seek is going to be seeing today prior to customization. Um, so, yeah. So I don't know what, what he's got that's editor only or mod only. Ever been in an Asmongold mount off? No. No. So I think I have the, I've got the stringy growths plucked. I'm still needing the bristles from these guys. And then I've got a, there's one, there it is. It's up now. God damn it. The, the named mob that I have to kill. This one. Hopefully this will get me my last bristle as well. Sniff. Well done. Like that. For at least bout. We're gonna go up here and do the burn fuse construct slay, and this is getting even. my brunch was too early to count as lunch and so now my body's hungry again. <clears throat> hate when that happens. Hey Jas, wanna have an early bubble tea tonight? 
Stop my tummy from grumbling. Is fear hungry? Probably yes. Yeah, look. <laughs> I've been doing better with that lately, actually. I don't think I've actually felt like really hungry for, for a while. So I should get a soup here. Mm. I've been eating really well. Like I've been having my lunch at a proper time and I've been having a proper lunch and all that kind of stuff. So it's been working really well. But yeah, the last few days have just been a little bit, um, a little bit scattered. Target. Okay. I'm supposed to get stolen equipment, but the glowy things. I can't interact with them. Oh, I'm supposed to. I see. I see. I have learned. God, it's been a while since I've done this world quest. Oh, and then I need to pick up explosives from that. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Can make an earlier TJ. That would be amazing. It would also prevent you from having to... Because I know that you're, you're raiding tonight, aren't you? Or are they taking the day off because it's Anzac Day? Look at 50. Hey, congratulations, Kay. Well done. Go you. Go you, good thing. Well done. Look at me influencing people to do shit. I'm kidding. I'm sure you probably did it of your own accord, but I'm gonna claim it as an influence. <laughs> Won't know until we try to form up. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I mean, like some guilds, if it's a public holiday, they just kind of make the pre-call to be like, yeah, we're not even gonna bother trying tonight. So just, you know, go have a good night. Influencer. Yeah, that's it, eh? That's it. So, I have a question. I know we're having a makeup and nails stream next month because we did the thing. And I know that you like seeing past looks on the Insta. How would you feel about short form videos showing the process on other times when it's not going to be completely streamed. So like almost like step by step from before to after kind of thing. I've had this go for a while, absolutely take it because I have a bunch more to work on. Yes, Build your army. Do the thing. Yay for hydrates. Hi, X. Hello. How are you today? Apart from taking joy and drowning me. Time lapse. So you give it a whirl. Do okay, good big question. Do you prefer a time lapse where it's just like super sped up and like or do you like the whole like one second of this and then one second of this and then one second of this and then one second of this and like what which like, but in normal time, like normal speed, but only like a snip of each, kind of. Which do you prefer? Like, which ones do you have more fun watching? If you watch that kind of content, anyway. <laughs> so give it a whirl. Slowly getting there. Yes. Hi, hi. I'm okay. Couldn't sleep. If you got to check in. My like to spam. Stream cam looks like a rave. I can dig it. Yay. Wait. Why? Is it flickering too much? Oh, good lord. Worm. Your choice. Which of the two worms? Worm. There are three worms. Do I get to choose from three or which two am I choosing? You can eliminate one and I'll eliminate, eliminate the other. How does that sound? Which which of the three do you eliminate? You've got your abyss worm, you've got your male muncher, and you've got your riddler's mind worm. 
We have Untrue's technically a worm. Take it. It's fine. Okay, there's a flickering. Chair lights are- Oh! Right! Yes! Good. I'm glad. The full thing, but speedy. Okay. Okay, so that's one vote for- one vote for speedy. Speedy two, I suppose that form, we're going two votes for speedy. One of the two with worms specifically in the name. Okay. Do we want green and purple or blue and green? We're gonna go abyss worm. Thank you, Shiva. And 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 let me just find a flat surface for a second. There we go. <laughs> Correct, as she would say. Good. I do say that a lot, don't I? I there are definitely like fear isms. It's something I've like definitely been recognizing far more lately and i'm like wow i said a lot don't know <laughs> battle reminder thank you oh. i mean and do you know what i mean and like i am i am a valley girl confirmed like oh my god although that was more friend russia than valley girl but it's fine we'll take it <laughs> well looky here you yeah well, look. Just, 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 just look. <laughs> we need to get all of these printed on a shirt. <clears throat> ah, Mark Corpses. Fuck, go back. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. Na 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 na. Bum. Uh, Lander, Fort, and Trig. Congratulations, all of you on your bonus shits. Now to choose a covenant. Ooh, covenant choosy fancy times. I'm also speaking, a fear is at work was interesting and people did wonder why I paused, had a short chuckle then continued. I am influencing you, Kaz. Be influenced. <laughs> oh my God, that's terrifying. Um... So the marketing manager I spoke to today, we were going through a couple of my really well-performing posts to kind of have a look at what they had in common and stuff. And we pulled up the, the step one one. And she was like, yeah, that was in, that, that post had so much engagement. It was sitting at 12% when we looked at it. She said, that post had so much engagement. And I said, you know why? It's because I told them to. And she said, what? I said, yeah, the stream, like the day before it went live, I was saying to all of them, like, you know, this is a sponsorship deal I've got. And, and like, I, I really need to have like engagement and like nice comments and stuff. And I feel like I'm going to get some negative ones. So I need to like do that, blah, blah, blah. And, and she's like, and they all actually like did what you asked them to. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of scary. <laughs> like it kind of, that sort of, that sort of thing is what makes it really click for me that I am, I absolutely have influence and I need to let it not go to my goddamn head. I need to make sure that I stay grounded and that I use it only for good and not for evil. So, <laughs> but it's, um, I gotta say, it's a, it's a pretty what the hell moment when you realize that you have a group of people that if you ask them to do something, they will, they will actually do it for the most part. And it's kind of like, whoa. it's, it's one hell of a thing. And you have no idea how much I appreciate the fact that you guys like pull through when I need it and stuff like it's just unbelievable and so awesome but also at the same time a little bit scary you know whoo there's anything you do and it's like whoa it's like whoa enjoy rest well Lex we'll see you next time I hope you get some good sleep well hail the hypno fear oh no oh no uh, that's how this cult rolls. He's a power for good, not evil. It, I'm trying. I'm trying real hard. I'm trying real hard. Beat me to it. Yeah. Okay with a little bit of evil. Look, me too. 
Like for example, if I if I was like, you know, you gotta you gotta do donations and do donations for Pankwan on, on Wednesday. And if you do, I will eat beans. Like go on, do do donations. And then people donate and then I eat beans and they're gross and that is evil. But it's also kind of for good, so it's like balanced. <laughs> Look, I'm trying, okay. Um I think I want a lot more consent than that. <laughs> At least need the illusion of choice. We can have a little cult activity as a treat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Maldrax's defense. Oh, I need to do like a chest or something. Okay. I didn't realize it wasn't just like three world quests. I actually had a percentage bar. Was well, not looking at that. We can have a little cult activity as a treat. I wish, I wish Teespring did robes. Even if they were bloody bathrobes. Oh, you bet your butts I would have the Lurk emote on that robe and it would be amazing and oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, fear snacks aka cult treats. Uh, are the donations on Wednesday tax deductible? Like we'll get a receipt. I believe you do. Um, I've I've donated a couple of, so it's going to go through Tiltify. It's not coming, like, it's not, you're not going to be going, donating to my PayPal and then I pay it on or any of that kind of bullshit. It's going to be going straight through Tiltify. And I am 98% certain that when you donate to any cause through Tiltify, Tiltify sends you an email receipt. Um, depending on where you are, I'm pretty sure in Australia, donations over $2 are tax deductible. But if you donate like $8, it's not tax deductible. So just double check in your country, um, wherever you guys are, that like what the requirement is for you, you know, if you want to get it deducted from your tax. But I'm pretty sure that they do send you a receipt. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think you have to put your email address in or something like that. I don't get that information. All I get is like your username and if you've put in a message and of course the figure that you've donated. But um, yeah, just, just be sure that if you are wanting to do it like that, then just, yeah, do all the things. I think Tiltify probably has a fact about uh, FAQ, it's a fact, um, about receipts and stuff. I'm sure that they'll have that in there. So just have a look and make sure that you tick all the boxes to ensure that you get a receipt. Um, but yeah, because it's not going through me, like I don't issue a receipt, that's entirely separate from me and I'll never, I won't see your receipt or anything like that. Um, Uzi Necro Ray Egg, or sorry, just a Necro Ray Egg. That's not an egg. That's a conduit. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. I mean, I'll take it, but it's not what I wanted. Oh, I should do those callings. Awesome source. Yeah, they they should be. They should be because it is a donation to a charity directly, essentially through through a third party, but but to a charity. Um, but they are an American charity website, so just yeah, do all the checky things. Um, but I'm pretty sure I got a receipt last time. God, I'm not giving you a very good answer, am I? Uh, all right, Uzi Nekoreg is done. Um, I'm going to head out to Valfia. I don't know if we have anyone who's going to be on my shard who has the what's it? But there is one way to find out. We're going to go over there and hope these spawns, basically. Because this is a night, night fate tune, as you could probably tell. Um, I'm also going to open this up and do Covenant Assaults. Unlock Covenant Assaults, accept or complete the A United Effort quest. Use Chains of Domination questline guide to accomplish this. Chains of... Good, it's the very next one. So I can just accept it and I'll be fine. Don't have ally, but I can trigger when you horde switch. Okay, perfect. I mean, if we're on the same shard, you might be able to trigger it anyway, but I don't want you to come out here for like when you're not gonna get an attempt yourself, because it's a bit mean. Um no. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, I can try it anyway. Else. Oh, thank you, Kay. That's really generous of you. Thank you. Uh, keep an ear out. If someone else gets here, I'll let you know um, 
audibly. That helps to park him there until then. Yeah, you know what? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That definitely would be helpful. Where's my redemptions list? <laughs> One, two, three hydrates. I have posture checks. Stretch. Crunch. Off for a bit back soon. No worries. Enjoy. We'll see you shortly. Putting little male icon character select. Agreed. Agreed. And so, ah, you should totally follow Fia on socials or add to our embers pot or both. Go ass! Yeah. For sure. Can't believe we're at 82k. That's ridiculous. We're at 43% on day one. You lot really want to see me level, hey? I mean, I'm not complaining, but like, that's hilarious. Oopsie. There's a little time on your shard. Bugger. That sucks. Oh well. It is what it is. Um, I might give it another five minutes and if I don't have anyone turn up, uh, we might skedaddle. If there's anyone who has an alliance character who's able to summon and break the shell off Valfir, the unrelenting, in... Um, it is unrelenting, isn't it? Yeah. In... Uh, what's it? Ardenwield. That would be super awesome. Anima channel to, so it's the condu it's the anima conductor. <clears throat> How much anima do I have? One thousand one hundred, and I've got a bit in my bags. Maybe I should start working on those conductors as well. So I do it myself. Ah. Oh, well, he's there for later. Perfect. Thank you. At least, yeah. At least if we're on the same faction, we can like invite, and we're good. Hey, we are 11,312 embers away from reaching 50% on today's ember goal. That's just six people donating 2k embers. To donate, all you need to do is click the little fire under and to the left of the chat box and hit that big old bar that says 50, 60 is leveling. You can donate up to 2k embers or you can donate multiple times up to that point. Embers are a completely free currency to spend and you get your embers back if we do not reach the goal. Your druid can, Tony. Ah, oh, are you alliance? Is that an alliance druid? Because this tune's Alliance, unfortunately. Um, and there doesn't seem to be anybody about on this shard who wants to get got wants to do the thing. Oh, why the hell is Night Fae best for so many of the classes? Uh, because balance. <laughs> yes? Oh my god, Tony. Is, would, are you okay to come out here and do the summon thing? Obviously, I help you kill it. And I'm happy to jump into tank spec so I can prevent it from smacking your face in and stuff. If you wouldn't mind, I would be endlessly appreciative, but no pressure though. Like no, pr if you're busy, do not worry about it. Uh, Horde or Alliance can summon it. Oh, I, I know, but I actually need someone who's on the shard. And we just tried getting a Horde, uh, like Kay's Horde character came out here, but it was on a different shard. And because I'm Alliance and Kay's Horde, we can't invite to group to pull each other onto the same shard. That's why I'm looking for, like, hopefully someone who's actually aligned so that if we're on different shards, we can at least group up. Um, that would be amazing, Tony. That is so generous of you. Thank you. Uh, who is the hero we need to donate at least 1,312 embers to get us halfway? Do you need DPS? Um, maybe. I'm not too sure. But if you want to come out here for a chance, because uh, if you're Night Fae, if you are of the Night Fae Covenant, Valfia drops a mount. That's why we're doing it. Um, so if you have a tune that is Night Fae... Come on out here and, and smack it and hopefully get a chance for the mount. 
Um, another problem too, wanting the other covenants for mounts, but they're bad for my class. Just remember, you can change covenant later. Yeah. Um, I have the trick of not actually caring beyond fear. Uh, not even that, but I don't actually care on fear either. She's meant to. You get them out as non night fae. Just can't summon. Really? Oh. Well, there you go. I didn't realize. I thought it was night fae only. Because it specifically has the night fae covenant symbol there. Wild glimmer for prowler. Mount missing. Amazing! Hello! Yay! There we go. Oh, why is it G bus? Oh, right, I keep forgetting, and I don't think I'm in tank spec, am I? Nope, of course not. Why would I have switched? That would make sense. That's fine. Collect orb. I collect orb, is fine. Who knows, maybe people stumble upon us out here. Um, the event that is, uh, for sure, I just want to do well in the DPS, my class also well in the nice stuff. Yeah, of course, of course. This is why I have 50 tunes. Add the Lamau. Don't kill it, please. It's going to take us a while to kill it. Uh, plus, I do have another Night Fae that I'm going to be doing the same thing on later. So, if you've just got the one tune, you have nothing to fear. Uh, you might not even be on the same shard either. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed for you, though. Indicate only Night Fae are able to access the rare. There are no. Nah, usually, it's anyone can kill it. But so, like the um, if you have a look at the like the adventure of Ardenweald is for everybody. The soul is only for Night Fae. Um, see how the like because the icons next to Night Fae. Um, anyone can use the mount once it's been learned. But I'm pretty sure it only drops for Night Fae. There are a lot of those mounts around the place. Okay, I've got over twenty tunes and working on it. Okay, yeah, right. Uh, I've got my 16 selected to get every covenant for every armor type. It's the next step. Sick of this week? Oh, bugger. Next week! I wish I haven't even put that much thought into them yet. It's, that was a pretty easy one. I just, like, I, in my 50-50 spreadsheet, like, if you have a look at the bottom, there's a tab called Cov. Um, if you click that, um, I just put in each of them, and then I put the armor types down the side, and I just grabbed my highest level tunes and stuck them in cells. I didn't care what class they were, I did it, as long as it was the, arm, the right armor type. Um... Because that doesn't bother me. I don't need them to be optimized or anything. I don't care. Uh, it's just for the unlocks. There you go. And then those names that are in that thing, those are the ones that are bolded in the 5060 spreadsheet. So I know they're the ones I need to level first. So I have the... Ah! That's right. I'll be fine. Ta-da! Ten attempts. Thank you so much for that. I really, oh God, I'm dead. <laughs> oh no. Would you? I died. Bad joke. Yeah, I got feared into a pack of stuff and it ate my face. Bad joke. What the fuck are you what, then? What, kind of, what class are you playing? Demon Hunter. Yeah, that sucks. I'm a squishy, I'm 147 Demon Hunter. <laughs> like I'm very small and squishy. But I come back and help kill because I'm a nice person. Do not abandon. Never abandon. <clears throat> Upper butt. Yeah, correct. Demon hunters can die then. They can! I know, right? Trust me to show you. <laughs> Trust me to be the one to show you. Alrighty. So that's our Valfia kill. Uh, Covenant Assault. Um, we're going to use this one. Uh, thank you so much, Tony. I really appreciate that summon of Valfia. Thank you so much for taking time out of whatever it is you're up to to come help me out. It's really awesome of you. Uh, worst experience is when you fell rush near an edge and latency causes it to double range for some reason and you just yeet yourself off the edge. Yeah, I have... 
I don't even have latency and I do that accidentally. <laughs> I'm not a good demon hunter. I'm not a good WoW player, to be fair, but I have fun. And that's what video games are for, right? Some people have fun being the best there is and that's totally okay. Um, but I have fun doing other stuff as well. I'm a fucking casual <laughs> and I'm fucking loving it. What she said. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Okay, in we go. Um, so I have to actually unlock Covenant Assaults on this tune, but uh, it says I have to accept or complete a quest and it's the next quest I'm up to in this quest chain anyway. So I'll just grab it and I should be able to go do the assault. It is a Night Fae one. It is a Night Fae one. And so I'm aiming for the Night Fae mount. I love that one. I'm glad you love it. I'm really glad you love it. That's the point, right? You gotta love all of it. Gotta be like, have so much fun that you come back stream after stream after stream after stream after stream after stream after stream. After stream. I never don't love hearing that one. Oh, in store. Oh, good. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like the twinkle lights. I'm going to miss them when Noble Garden's over. Noble Garden's a short one. It's only a week long. And I don't have any other sets of lights until, until Love is in the Air. They're on, they're on the wish list, but um, it's, yeah, it is what it is. I don't have any more until Love is in the Air again. <clears throat> I think your sound commands are too low, hard to hear, I am Ah. Oh. Let me... They all come through the same audio channel, so if I had the game sounds turned down, they all turn down as well. So I've bumped that up a little bit. Hopefully that's... Hopefully that's better. Sorry. Finished at 10 a.m. today. Did it? No, really? Oh my god. Oh, that's 10 a.m. US time. That's 10 a.m. WoW time. Um, and it's currently 1 a.m. WoW time. So you got nine more hours. Nine more hours. What news? <clears throat> I have I have triggered an oopsie with, with Seeker. Seeker needs to go and do something. Um <laughs> So yeah, all of the times on the calendar are uh, wow time. Yeah, it's not confusing at all. Let's go to Ongoro, try to find someone to egg. What? What do you need to do in Ongoro? Uh, no Halloween. No, no Halloween lights yet. No Halloween lights yet. One of the first things I did for Throne, I went through and found some, uh, found some lights that suit each of the different special events and I put them on my throne wishlist. They're all from Amazon, um, so they don't have too many fees applied to them uh, by throne. And they ship really quickly too, which is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, the only ones that have come through so far have been the Lovers in the Air ones and the Noble Garden ones. But there is, I think they're pumpkins. I think I picked a, a set of string lights that were pumpkins. So if that ends up being purchased from the wish list prior to Hallow's End, I will absolutely deck chair out. Get it, deck chair. <laughs> for for Hallow's End. I uh, really should go jump on my druid and farm up the rest of the eggs I need. You should. You've only, it's, you don't want to wait another year. You don't want to wait another year. Trust me. You feel like a numpty when you had the opportunity and you don't take it. Trust me. I'm so glad. I've crossed off. My god, you guys, we've finished Noble Garden. Until they add new stuff, I have finished Noble Garden. That's such a good feeling. I still going to do the last achievement. No go. Ah. Oh. No, it should be fine. You should have it for another ten hour another nine hours-ish. Oh, it seems that all sound commands are pretty quiet today. Well, I've just bumped up the desktop sound channel in my audio mixer, so fingers crossed that helps. Uh, next time we have a sound command pop off, let me know what you think. Uh, or skulls. Ooh, yeah. I think I've got pumpkins there. I think I've got pumpkins. 10 a.m. US. Yeah. I'm not a paladin. Uh, like 5.50 more chocolate. That's not many. I mean, and listen. that really doesn't take too long. It only took me like an hour, an hour and a half, I think it was. And that's with all that blabbing and with stream raiders to get 250. You'd be surprised how quick it moves. Especially go to, um, what's it? Go out to Thunder Totem rather than one of the more populated areas. Definitely worth. 
UK it finished at 10. Yeah, EU operates a bit differently. Um, EU gets events starting early and they also finish early compared to us. We get them starting late and finishing late compared to you guys. FML. Why? Why FML? You get help with you to play an egg, need to lay an egg in the water as a bunny. Oh, you need to be bunnified. So you can, if anyone's got the spring... No, wait, does that just put ears on you or does it actually bunnify you? I don't remember. Need someone to turn you into a bunny. Yeah. Fill my bag with eggs. I don't need any. Then open them and turn the bunny lay an egg, I think. Um, someone might be able to bonk your noggin and turn you into a bunny. Already got the cheese, just need the rest of the vendor stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds pretty good now. Awesome. Just want them to increase permanently and unlock the event transmog items. Ah, Lunar Festival flower crowns. That would be good. That would be good. Found up a bunch yesterday out there. It does ears. Ah, bugger. The branch, yeah. Did you last night in Kraz? It's confusing Noble Garden didn't start until after Easter Pass. Me too. It was a bit strange this time around, wasn't it? We stalk the moonless night. Your prayer waits, my walker. Good hunting. Oh my god. So many achievements. Holy cow. Oh no, I think it's because of the quests that rotate through. Just don't ask me to spell it. Where are the other quests? There's one. So nice to see you. Right for And there's the last one, okay. You strike at the heart of this encroaching darkness. You there's Right, okay. Complete following quest during the night assault, that's fine, so and then Curian Assault, Necro Assault, Night Fae Assault. And then that's Venthyr Assault. Emissary, Quests, Rare, Secrets, Special, Rift. Cool. Alright, so... Jump on the person. Good. See the colors of the forest. Find their power. Just don't ask me to spell it. Okay, so aid each of the following characters during the Night Face Alt quest. Just don't ask me to spell it. Okay, so I need to alt right click to get me some markers. Elder Gwenna. That's Elder Gwenna. So let's go help Elder Gwenna. We've got Sleepy Tantrum, Radalizing Chant, just soothing as he heals himself, Flaming Acorns, Swoops to the target area, Healing all allies, granting them protective shield. Target area creates a splash of water. So what do we actually have to do for the achievement? Aid each of the following characters. How do you aid Stone Prison? Slankin, slankin they can free them. Okay, so I do Slankin. Perfect. I am moving so slowly. Now I'm gonna go to Guardian Kota. <clears throat> collecting eggs turn you only collecting, not the opening. Collecting eggs turns you into bun sometimes. Should be reading a wellhead. Never gets old to see. Thanks for your time. Aw, thank you, Landa. I appreciate it. It's still this old and portal from Stormwind or Orb to get to Ongoro fast. In that case, can anyone hoard branch made on Goro? Please I'll ensure I have war mode off first. I'm hoard just so we can death see each other, or maybe that's just going going into a raid with people. Hey Seeker, you can catch your Discord DMs now. Zygo says set hearthstone at Marshall's stand, collect eggs till you get debuff, then hearth. There you go. Thank you, Meaty. Good tips. Good tips. Guardian Kotta. A wool can heal them. Okay, now we have Warden Kassad. <clears throat> you tell I like achievements. Kassad, a wool can heal them. Oh, 
Oh no, wait, that didn't... Why did that not trigger? Was I not close enough? There we go, that triggered. I wasn't close enough. Um, Kiva. You sadly think you're NA. Yeah, I believe Seek is NA. Thought the portals debunified you. Uh, that's a good question. Hearthstone might not, though. Maybe that's why um, Wowhead's saying Hearthstone is better. This Kiva must be in the in the cave. No. no? Oh, yeah, they're in the cave. I see the skull. Look at the little tiny baby skull. Look at it. <laughs> God. Uh, but this is an awul. It says flight paths and teleport D-Bunny, but Hearthstone doesn't. I did this years ago, so I can't confirm. Yeah, I also did it years ago, unfortunately. But, um, I mean, I have a fairly high trust in uh, where I had comments, to be honest. Um, captured protector, that's all right. Um... Heading to Foreman Thoridia. Can confirm the Hearthstone is usable. Wild Bunny. Yay, Zam. Yay, Zam. Look at this community coming together. I, you guys are awesome. You guys rock, honestly. I am so grateful to have you, bloody lot, as my community. Could not have asked for a better community, a better group of people. Okay, so that's where Thoradir is. We need Slank and Bunny to get there without, like, getting mushed. The item, though, Hearthstone toys can't be used. Uh, we'll go Hearth, we can go get Egg, then go Bun. Yeah, make sure you don't delete the Hearthstone in your bags. Use the Hearthstone rather than the toys. Um, Slank. Brilliant. And then Tezan. Got 250 bloody yards. Mm -mm, we learned from the best. Aw. Aw, stop it. Oh, battle. Uh, as I'm collecting these eggs in Druid Travel for minutes, instantly opening them. That's going to save space. That's interesting. Huh. I wonder if that's a bug. That could be a bug. It's nice when bugs happen in your favor. Made that mistake the other day. Toon did not have hearths. All three, as they were in bank, can figure out why they don't show as usable to be way too long to check. See, I've got almost all of the Hearthstone toys, like in your toys tab, in your collections, because they work as Hearthstones, and so you don't have to use a bag slot for them. They're just in the collection. Um, so I don't usually use the items, but the toys will debunny you. Excuse me. You want percent? Amazing! Amazing! No stopping, always nice. God, where the hell is Tassan? Is he down? He must be. Oh, there we go. What's this? Oh, ooh. okay. So we need to heal them. Uh, Lander, Trig, Kludgy, Zam, Meaty, Aelin, and Zombie. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. I hope, I hope people got skins. Tell me. Who got a skin? Into multiple stones for other tunes. No bloody idea. When or where? Question presumably. I got them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to play one more archer to clear that quest out. Turn in both of these babies. No, I'm good. There we go. Bunny. 
I learn a new word every day. Look, we make up lots of words. It's great fun. Highly recommend. But yeah, if you've been if you've been bunnied, if you've been turned into a bunny, then you could be debunnied. They remove the bunny buff. Makes sense, right? Kinda, sort of, maybe. A wool can heal them. Achievement get. Bam. Achievement get. Oh, it's a portal one. Okay, off we go. Gotta get out of combat so that AT2 will refresh. All words are made up. Fuck you. Now we had to do the actual quest properly. Pfft. Something's coming out of the oven? No, it's coming out of the freezer. It's ice blocks, ice cubes, bubble tea. So not getting bunny dwell in travel form. Good. There we go. No further um, weird stuff is just, yep, yeah, cool. Everything else is just do the quests, so that's good. Knows. <clears throat> <gasps> Strawberry bubble tea. Thank you. I take this back. You didn't put topping in. <laughs> He's like, I take this back. I'm like, why? And then I noticed there wasn't any pearls. Thank you for the bubble tea, Jess. However brief. Deep bunny, similar to de louse, but with cuter ears. Yep. That's exactly it. Okay, we have to prank tall gas portals. Oh, here's one. This one down there. Uh, is bubble tea without pearls just tea? I reckon maybe. I mean, maybe. I mean, that stuff was shape shifted away less itchy, probably. New and improved. Yay! Thank you. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Learn more at bubbleteastore.com. Bubbleteaclub.com.au or exclamation bubble tea in chat to get your own. Because, like, who doesn't want that? Except people, obviously, who can't because of dietary requirements and stuff. Like, my, my condolences. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I need to find another Torghast portal, but I'm, uh... Okay. I will do that pearls is a disappointment. Thank you, Zam. This is strawberry with tapioca pearls and it's delicious. Rid 
these portals. Oh, there's one. Are boots? Yeah, are boots. Uh, so cool shenanigans, didn't you have strawberry yesterday? Yeah, but different type of strawberry. That was fruit strawberry green tea. This is strawberry milk tea. Thinking about trying out this MMO since I low-key find Final Fantasy XIV boring. How's this game for casual players? Oh, I'm sorry you're not enjoying it, JG. That's not fun. Um, WoW is good for casual players, honestly. They've done a lot of fantastic improvements over the last few years to make the whole experience just a little more accessible like casual friendly and that kind of thing um of course it's really going to depend on your own sort of definition of how much work is work compared to play and uh how much time you have to play each week or each day or each month or whatever your measurement is do you know what i mean like it's definitely worth giving a go they do have there's a free trial available gets you up to level 20 um, if you buy a sub, but not the expansion, you can get up to level 50. Uh, that's a, a monthly sub, obviously. Uh, but yeah, look, it's worth giving a go. Worst case, you don't enjoy it either. And it's a free, like a, a free trial and you don't play. Like, do you know what I mean? It's don't have a whole lot to lose, which is good. Um, but yeah, no, I find it like I've got 50 characters uh, and I do play quite, I mean, I play a lot, but I mostly do casual type of content. I don't really do like your hardcore end game, push raids and high keys and do really, really difficult stuff. I do old content and I farm collectibles and things, you know, it's, it's definitely more chill in my opinion. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely worth giving a go. The leveling experience has been very like streamlined and all that for, for new players. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, the worst tea experience today, I've had different brand fruit tea brewed in the fridge for apparently too long, took a giant mouthful and swallowed on the second mouthful when I saw a clump of moldy goop floating in the glass. Wonder if mold or if scurvy. Did you make kombucha? Accidental? <laughs> You're in thin ice. Followed it with a Coca-Cola chaser because that shit kills everything. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Hey, a lich. Uh, I won't have that much time if I pass the psych interview to get into the Navy. Hey, this will be extremely on and off. Honestly, you should be okay. Um, like, on and off, as long as you're enjoying yourself, that's the thing. Um, it's worth giving a try, and if you don't enjoy it with, like, the on and off kind of stuff, then, uh, I mean, hey, you gave it a chance, right? No harm done. Uh, okay, so let's... Heal this one. Uh, 50 characters, yep. Indeed. Uh, how long did you have it brewing before it went moldy? I wasn't there for weeks, Steph, my bad. Didn't even think that might have been booch. Might have been. It was globular. Wah. Wah. Although kombucha is supposed to ferment, not in the fridge. It has to be in like a room temperature area and all that kind of stuff. So. I think I'm being kicked out, maybe? Yep, I am. I can't say I haven't had experiments like that in the fridge before. I don't think I've drunk one, though. Yeah, look, I think we've all- I think we've all been there, hey? One thing I can confirm was rank. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Definitely sounds kinda icky. I need to think emoji one of these days. I mean, the what emote can kind of double as it in a pinch. It's a very specific kind of thing. But we can certainly add it to the list. 
<clears throat> like my funk emoji on Discord. It's another nice one, Zam. We certainly have slots left. We're running out of tier one slots though. We're getting close to running out. We can, we do have plenty more we can unlock, but uh, it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be expensive. <clears throat> we have to do a subathon. All right, phase one done. My Namogo, yes! Panic, I know, right? Ultimate panic. wasn't working there. I kind of got locked up or something. <clears throat> so once this assault is done, I'm going to be jumping onto Phelan. Um, we might start with Valfir just to Get that over and done with. But yeah, no, we've got we've got plenty of slots left for tier two and tier three, um, and we also have bit bit emotes available, like a ton of bit tier emotes uh, available. So that's nice. <clears throat> We're not going to run out of slots for a while. But we will probably run out of tier 1 slots fairly soon. If I keep buying emotes. <laughs> if we keep having good ideas. How's that work? If you donate a certain number of bits, you unlock the emotes, correct? Yep, we have got one at the moment. Uh, give me a moment and I'll show you. Actually, I think Sheba might have it unlocked. I don't remember. Uh, it's a 1k. You want us to stop having good ideas? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, that one. There, Kay's got it. And Sheba's got it. There we are. So that's... If you have cheered a total of 1,000 bits of the lifetime in my channel, so it's not in one go, you can do one and then another one and then another one over like a thousand days and you'll earn it. It's a cumulative lifetime thing. But once you hit 1K, you get Fiamma guns. Yeah, there you go, that one. It's a bit reward. This is the only one we have. The next one, uh, the next slot I have is at 5K for bits, but I have a, there's a lot of slots I have for those. No coins accumulating again. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I've given them more information and they're, se they're, they're sending, they've sent it off to the engineers, which we've heard before. Um, so maybe they found a fix, but, uh, and they've like, you know, hot fixed it or something, but I don't, I don't know. I haven't been told. I haven't been told. You want a huge raid yesterday, Seeker. So there you go. <clears throat> ah, along the River of Souls. Okay. Dark Marrows. Is 
just collect. I'll kill enemies around this area. Okay. So that'll, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Holly. Look at this red girl. Oh my god. That's that's a few. Yeah, generally bet in flat increments of a non-rounded number. We shall see. Um, so free for alls are, are 50. They take 50 coins from you. So that might be what's doing it. Ah, yeah. It is there you go. Hmm. Well done, indeed. Let me confer with my sources. No. That's not my loser. Oh, no, Holy. Next time, you throw Zam's coin into the Dalaran well and I'll fish it out. Mammoth trains, I do. This one's people fishing the Dalaran well, the Wrath Dalaran well. Yep. That, those achievements were so much fun. As multi-mod, we can do this. No mammoth trains there is a noble cause to throw my raid around. Yep. One in 2,000 chance to fish Zemnist's lucky coin. I love that. That's beautiful and amazing. We are all perfectly fine. The apartment is not on fire, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> Baby. Dinner may be ever so slightly singed, though. Just a touch. 
Hill Lady Nails. Who is Lady Nails? Where is Lady Nails? Lady Nails. No, na not Lady Nails. Na Lady Nalis. Good. <laughs> I can read, I swear. Ah, oh, dear. Ripro jazz. Headphones working good. Sorry, guys. I turn it as soon as my reflex is allowed. I, I turn it off. The problem is I need to move my mute button. My mute button is right next to my go live button. The problem is if I press the go live button when I'm already live, I go not live. And we don't want that. So, <laughs> so I have to be accurate when I push the mute button. So it does take me half a second extra than my than my reflexes usually would allow. Um, so I am sorry for those of you who got deafened. Um, the sun went. But we are, ah, Neon! Thank you so much for your prime sub. So generous of you, thank you. Hope you are having a lovely evening. Uh, but yes, the beepers are off now. Um, and dinner, I'm sure, will be delicious. Uh, Jess did it again, indeed. He hasn't done it for a while, though. It's the first time in quite a while. Sorry? Why are you beating up the Thank you. I was trying to drag the coaster with it, it didn't work. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Don't die too Oh, much. God, that smells good. Did you put basil in the greens? There's already basil in the green. That's what I'm saying. Like, did you toss some of the fresh basil in there with it? That is the fresh greens. Yeah, yeah. There was basil in that bag. Why wouldn't I throw it in? Basil's green. Basil's not a salad. And I mean, you can... <laughs> look. Okay, that's a big one. I need help with that, I think. Um, Thank you so much. It smells really good. Should we check how done the pork is? Probably a good idea. Ooh, it's a bit squishy, hey? That's perfect. Oh, it's steamy. Um, kitchen five dollars says it was honey. Who gets the five bucks if you're wrong, Zika? Um. Wonder what got burned this time. 100% was honey. Every time Jas has set the alarms off, it's because he's using a honey-based marinade. Is the reference for those of you who uh, may be new here. Um, I'll do you one better. Why is Lady Nails? Yeah! <laughs> little Lady Nails. Little Lady Nails, where are you? <laughs> she lies to herself. I just burn anything. Everything he touches is wet! Look, it's magic, but it's a thing. Oh dear. You do. I do. But wouldn't that be against Twitch Toss, like gambling or something? Possibly. Regardless, it was Pork. He turned his back for one minute to dig in the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the fridge for something. And it was not, no honey, anywhere near any of this. Not even, the pork's not even marinated. It was just oil in the pan, got real smoky. It was like the pan was too hot or something. No burning. Just smoky. The The bottom of the pork is a little bit toasty. But it's not, like... Like, it'd be fine coming off the pass in a restaurant. Like, it's not, it's not even, like, actually technically overdone. It's perfectly cooked, actually. It's delicious. So when DM me on Discord randomly from mutual server I have, never once talked in, has thousands of members. Let's see where this goes. Spam. Scam. <clears throat> or they want art for free. It's a spam or they want art for free. Take your pick. Do you want a prediction? <laughs> Actually, nah. Mm. Hang on, where's my this one? A Shadow Mail, bitches. Let's go take a spec. I might make this easier. Just don't click links. Yeah, don't ever click any links like that. Yeah, but um, Shiba's pretty intelligent, so I would say that he probably knows what he's doing. 
Ah, oh, just a little small talk. They went into I have a new game, wanna try it out. Oh Lord. So I was wrong. Both of those both of those predictions were wrong. <clears throat> yeah, that's um Oh no no, that was the, that's the scam because then they send you a link to where the game is and then they steal your deeds. So it was I'm a scam. Grateful. I'm right. Ah! Sika! <laughs> not the honey. Oh, that is so sweet of you. You did not have to do that at all in any way. Oh my god. Thank you. So generous. Saw vibes. Would you like to play a game? 100% thought I was going to be asking for feet pics. I'm a little disappointed. You know, you know those foot masks, the peeling foot masks. You put little baggies on your feet and then like five days later, your feet are like a horror story. A horror movie because sheets of skin are just peeling off. You have no idea how bloody tempted I am to post that shit on my Insta feed. So tempted. Just for the memes. And then like a week later, compile all the DMs I get and make that another Insta post. Ah, oh, Lord. Apparently I chose Coas this morning. Ah, <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna pay you with exposure. You totally missed that chance, Shiva. Bombs a lot in my mouth. Excuse me, what? Please don't, I hate speak. Fear you can't just post your grippers for free. <laughs> no, you post them at their ugliest. And then, and then, and then, and then make money from the prettiest. Like, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Because you get all the DMs, like, can you send me, can you sell me feet pics when the peeling is finished? Totally not consenting on your behalf. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't think I want to. Oh, okay. So, um, there are, it's a, so it's a deep exfoliation thing, right? So you get, it's like, it's like a, it's a, it's, you know how you have face masks? And you have hair masks, and you actually also have there are there are like butt masks and boob masks and hand masks and uh, look it's just it's a thing people like putting slimy paper on their skin it's fine, um, crystalline guys oh I'm killing the big ones okay uh, so basically these ones are like they're like little plastic booties, um, they they come like a cutout shape of like a boot and the bit the mid the inside bit folds outwards to make it 3D. And it's got a soaked sheet in the bottom of it with like an exfoliation solution, a really intense one. And you open it up, you put your foot in it. You've got, it comes in a pack of two, one for each foot. You put your feet in it and you tape, the, the top of it kind of opens up and you fold it over each other and it's sticky. So it tapes shut, so it holds tighter. And then you have to sit for X amount of time. It varies depending on the brand. And you have to have your feet, like the soles of your feet in contact with something like the ground at all times. Um, so that the foot like is against the the soaked pad in the bottom. Yeah, not like a sanitary pad, but like a, a you know what I mean? Yeah uh, And then you take them off they usually smell kind of mentholy you take them off you rinse off the solution You wash it all really really clean and then a couple of days later um, The dead skin on the bottom of your feet that you'd usually like scrub off with like a pumice stone or something like that starts to peel it just starts to kind of lift off and then and then peel off. Uh, and eventually, after a week or two, depending on your own personal body chemistry and stuff, um, all of the dead skin on your feet has peeled off entirely and what you are left with are beautiful, soft, smooth feet. Like no, no hard skin on the heel or on the bottom of your big toe or anything like that. It's like, it's like pumice stone on crack. Um, and it just makes a bit of a mess for a while. So what I usually do, I've used them a few times and they're really, really good. Um, especially if you've been walking around barefoot a whole lot and your feet are starting to get a little bit stiff, if that, if you know what I mean, like the, the skin on the bottom of your feet gets sort of thick and it kind of feels tight a little. It helps with that feeling. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm a weirdo. I mean, I know I'm a weirdo, but it's fine. Uh, so... What I usually do once I've used them, I wear socks constantly. 
uh, I take the socks off right before I get in the shower and then I put the socks on immediately after the shower so that um, because you know when skin peels you get skin flakes and bits and stuff like that uh, and so instead of having that all over the house it gets trapped in the sock and then I can get rid of it when I you know clean myself and, and my feet and whatnot. Um, it sounds super, I know it sounds super super gross, but it actually does help, especially if you're someone who's prone to getting like um, corns and stuff on your feet. Like if you get patches of really rough, tough, hard skin on your feet, um, these can really help. Of course, consult your medical professional first, always, uh, but it's an option, which is nice. Um, but yeah, it's really kind of gross. And there have been points where, um, like, the skin, because the skin comes off in relatively thick sheets of, of dead skin, because so much of the skin on your soles, your feet, is tough and gross and dead. Um, so it won't come off in little flakes. It kind of comes off in sheets. Uh, so I have occasionally had... Oh, fuck. Um... Sometimes if there's like a, a larger piece of it that's stuck in one place and not enough, and you don't you can't tug at it because the skin underneath isn't ready to let go yet and so you'll damage your skin and that's bad. Um, so you kind of get nail cut nail cutters and nail scissors and just sort of trim. Yeah, look, it's it's not a super pleasant experience, but the results are really awesome. Like it they do what it it does what it says on the box. Let me tell you, holy cow, it does what it says on the box. I really like them. A lot of people tend to use them like just prior to summer, so they have like sandal ready feet, you know, the, that, yeah, so they have like cracked heels and all that kind of stuff, because it helps get rid of all that. But yeah, it's, uh, there you go, you've now known, then now you know a new thing. <clears throat> um, if it exists, someone's going to joke to it. I know, I know. I know. But I mean, like, I, I've been streaming for six years, Sheep, so what do you reckon? Like, you know what I mean? It's kind of... <laughs> if I've come to terms with that, I've come to terms with that. I just, like, you know, you do you, boo, I just don't want to fucking know about it, eh? Like, that's not, that's not okay. Um. Um. What he said. You don't like them, but you're ugliest and deserve them. Pretty something. Exactly. 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 Or, like, tease them. Like, here's what they are ugly. <laughs> Would you like to see pretty? Yeah, anyway. Uh, all right. I'm not selling f foot pictures. No. Uh, where am I? I? Hate it. Oh, I really hate it. I don't like the idea of that at all. Okay, then I can wait for a bit. Ah! <laughs> now, what the heck? Thumb if I walk back into. Uh, feet, foot masks that help you like get rid of the dead skin on your feet. They're super effective. Like honestly, they're really cheap for what they actually can accomplish, and they're bloody awesome. <laughs> It's kind of like going and getting a foot massage, except on crack, and your feet actually end up feeling kind of nice afterwards. Ah, uh, points to get rigged. I've considered it because the back of my ankle gets like that. Yeah, right? They do work mostly on the sole of your feet, but they, it, it does absolutely come up like the sides a little bit and stuff as well. So it's just, it's all about making sure you get, oh, good lord. I got leading nails again. Um, I know it's Nalus. It's a meme now. Just deal with it. Um, are you sure? I feel like everything will fall off of scent decades predominantly barefoot. Yeah, but your skin does shed over time. It's just that it's toughened, like it's a callus, right? So it's the exfoliating agents are designed to like break down and loosen that callus so that the fresh skin underneath can come through. Feet, you will back the feet. Feet armor. No, Shima. Wrong. <laughs> With a hard G. Wrong. <laughs> Is the NS8 heel bar? My heels get so horribly cracked. Think about linked to my autoimmune stuff. Only feet? No. Good lord. I've been using dermal therapy heel balm. And that has been like it it says results within one day. And I kid you not, it's legit. Hashtag not sponsored. 
Mm. So her only face. I am not. I want to see my pet. My toenails. Blah. Good lord, no. Good lord. I've actually been looking at getting maybe a pedicure at some point soon because uh, my nails are a bit. Uh, they need some help. <clears throat> they need some help. I have one big, like one of my big toes, the nail has like split vertically, like up the nail, but not like all the way to the nail bed or anything like that. But it's been like that for literally years, like, like since a couple of years pre-pandemic, that's how long this has been. Um, and it just, it keeps, like, every time it grows, I do my best to, like, cut the nail carefully and stuff, but it always seems to just split. Like, it's almost like it's growing like that, so it's always going to have that split in that place. I tried doing nail polish, and the nail polish eventually split. I went and had gel nail put on it, and the gel nail eventually split. The idea was that I wanted to, and then I would, I got an acrylic nail. I got a bloody acrylic nail on one of my toenails to hold it together so that the split would go beyond the nail bed and then I could cut it off and there wouldn't be a split anymore. And the fucking acrylic split. Like, my... Mm. I do not understand. It just does not want to be... nice. So what is the... What? Do I have a wand? I do have a wand. Oh, that's what that symbol's for. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. Everything is fine. Oh, I gotta get him to 50% health, didn't I? Oh, I'm still in tank spec. Is he laughing at me? <clears throat> yeah, maybe the foot is the final trick. To get you to 1k! Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Don't mean to yuck someone else's yuck. No, of course, of course, of course. It's just, I, yeah, no, I'm, look, I'm not, I don't like feet, but I'm also not like, grossed out by them because I know that there's some people out there who are really like honestly squeamish around bare feet and stuff and that's totally fine you know to, to each their own that's that's whatever like, like, it is what it is uh, I don't I'm not in either of those camps it, they're just they're another appendage um if they're smelly get them away from me like you know nobody likes icky smells really but uh yeah uh, it isn't kink shaming people do what they want. I just say fit. Yeah, totally fine. You activated my trap card. Solely fins. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Genuinely, though, all people can do their own thing as long as they have consenting other adult bodies. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, you know, things do get a little bit tricky when what, you know, people's kinks and stuff are against the law, but that's, um, I think that's entirely out of our jurisdiction. Uh, not sponsored yet. Oh god. Uh, citation needed. Need to find a sock. Sponsor is all. That'd be kind of cool. Like those those bamboo socks that have really funky designs and stuff. That'd be cool. But that's that's still like every time I post a photo that has the potential to have my feet in it, I either wear socks or stockings. There is a photo of my feet in in the Twitch socks that I got from the partner package. Um, or I'm sitting on my feet. Like, it's very purposefully chosen how I've done- because I know what the internet is like. Which is fucking sad that we have to do that. Like, every so often you see a photo from a, like, a really big name female streamer. And it's just a casual photo, and then there's this big chunk of blur over their feet because they know what it's- you know? And that's just... Yeah, that's pretty sucky. Battle- ah, oh, shit, there's a battle. And Bunny, well done! Well done. Enjoy your half. I mean, step one should really go into socks too. Just saying, I would like them to go into like crop tops first, personally. Like workout gear. Um, like a, a good no wire bra or something like that would be awesome. But I know it's very like they've only just stepped into women's the women's range, so I feel like I should give them a give them a bit of time, like give them a chance. <clears throat> 
It's been me when I was drawing stuff, leave feet off because hard to draw. They are hard to draw. They're not like, in terms of like aesthetically pleasing shapes, they are not really. Like, <laughs> it's interesting, at least to me. I'm just playing on the name, of course. Of course. All oh, right, because step one. Yep, that's hilarious. Good job. Well done. Go you. Love that. We've got attached by a dementia dawn back to Mulgore. Oh no. Oh no. Congratulations to Kludgy, Zam, Zem, Draz, Mizuma, Bod, Lexa, and Trig on all your bonus. Shit, give me just a second because I'm in combat and I'll probably die. Step two should be sucks. Yep. Love that. Alrighty. No lowering in combat. Let's go back to the map. Poor Seeky can come up with some kind of butt in it. <laughs> That's funny. Onwards we go. Warriors and war beasts. Wait, what? Out of my team's placement. I'm not outside my team's placement area. That's super weird. Oh! Well. <clears throat> the snail one takes a bit. Hello. Hello. What's up? I have early for a moment. Hey, give me a second. Let's kill this and then get somewhere relatively safe. I'm in the mall. Look, it's, there's not much. I'll be back. All is well. Um, let's do a thing while we wait. What are we waiting for? Oh, free for all. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay. Puppy. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I'm not supposed to be able to get that. I thought you needed other stuff to be able to get that. Oh. Well. Plus, have you followed Fia on the socials yet? Her Instagram is almost at 1k. Following is a free way to support streamers and makes a huge difference to them. Not just me, any content creator that you follow. Uh, oh, fuck, wrong button. Um, 
Where was I up to? Ah uh, yes, follow if you're on Instagram at the below. 1,000 followers is a trigger for the algorithm which allows her to get more visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. Cheers, big ears. Indeed. Absolutely. If you haven't already, I would greatly, greatly appreciate a follow if you're feeling generous. Or even if you're not. Uh, it could be a spite follow. I'm, I will take them either way. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, like, it is honestly surprising just how much that helps. Like, you know, you might think you're only one person, but every single one person is a step closer to 1k, 3k, 10k. So, yeah. Pretty please. And thank you. Uh, well done, Dano! Nicely job! Already follow! Yay! Thank you! Thank you so much, Panda. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. 984! Oh my god, so close! It's like, what, 16 to go? Jesus Christ. That's unbelievable. Go over to the red side! Yep. That's it, hey. Oh, I need to squish this now. Back to stream just the right time. Amazing. Well done, Dano. Timing. Alright, here we go. Now I go turn stuff in. It's like halfway through stream and I'm still on like character number one of like five. So that's fun. <laughs> Mount Farm Mondays are getting hectic. Really chill night? We are. We are and that is not a bad thing. <laughs> Trick, Lady Moonberry. You have my thanks. <clears throat> this home here. Oh, in this area. Oh, God, okay. We're fine, everything's fine. Fairnax is up. How do we up? Oh, okay, I see. Quick, 
Have you found the others? I will leave no one behind. Perpetrate on the free discussions, lots of laughs. Hey Sean! Who are most looking forward to or hoping for when Dragonflight comes out? I'm looking for I'm looking forward to launch day stream. It's one of my most favorite experiences of every expansion. Like going through and read like learning the story and all that kind of it just I really do love it. And that that fir those first couple weeks where there's just so much to do and you can ah oh, it's great. Love it. New healer class. Um, stream peeps around my music. Ah, oh, amazing! That is so good, dupe. That's so awesome. I can't wait to meet all of you guys. It's just gonna be ah. Oh. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna read any of the stuff and then watch the cinematic. Like the surprise that comes with it and hearing from others' perspective. Of course, of course. <clears throat> I have been reading some of the um, the interviews and stuff that Blizzard have done with all the different outlets and stuff like that, and there have been some really interesting comments here and there. It's been very cool. What does your pre-order mount will look like? Uh, I'm, I guess, a dragon. I'm, I guess, a dragon. Maybe to be a duck. Oh my god, could you imagine? <clears throat> mm, I love a shiny shiny. I want it to be- do it to not be a dragon for lols. Listen, but new dragon model would kill for a duck mount? Yep. Well, that's the thing. So, obvious answer is dragon. But after they saw the reception of the ducks, they may go down that path instead. Or, I mean, we did get that screenshot with the otter. And I mean, what, like, do we actually want a dragon mount when we're gonna have dragon riding? The darkness recedes and our quarry is slain. Should we just get a ground mount instead? Let me give you a potato mount. Okay, here we go. Wild hunt leg splitter. None of those were mount. But I did get new transmog. And two current conduits. That's not bad. That was an upgrade. <laughs> mm, it can't fly. Rolls along the ground. One duck over dragon. A million percent. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. So that's the covenant's all done. Um, we're gonna jump onto Phelan. Actually, before I do that. Now we go to Phelan. Um, am I swapping over? Yes, if you wouldn't mind, if you would like to, yes. Otter Druid, Water Shift. Nice to see more Aussie streaming around. Hello, StarCraft, how are you going? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Mm. 
50 more, e 54 more eggs. Well done, Kay. You're so close. So close, fellow Queensland, nonetheless. Indeed. Indeed. I am originally from Melbourne, but I'm currently living in Queenslandia. Mm hmm. First thing we're going to do is pick up that call to Maldraxxus. Which was up here, wasn't it? Yep. And then we'll go do Valfia. Oh, my collecting is so much faster than the Druid. Yep. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Always so much to do. <clears throat> Ugh. For a second there, I was like, hang on. Why is Malbog not on my list? Surely I needed to do Malbog and then I remembered I got that mount last week. Yas! Excitement. Saturday tickets purchased! Yay! So excited. Much wow. Oh, it's going to be great. Like, hello. You're not the thing making the funny crunkling noises. What? You're not the thing making the funny crunching noises. Me? Why would I be making funny crunching noises? Door or something. What? Opening the door. I'm so confused. Are you hearing a noise and you're wondering if I'm okay? Yes. I'm fine. Cool. Have you had the greens? No. Would you like to try? Why? Would you like to try? No. Interesting. It was just a bit of kale, wasn't it? Maybe it, like. Try that. There's lettuce in there. <laughs> cool. Oh, look! It's Valfi. It's, um, it's not just lettuce. There's, uh, like, I think you put maybe, like, a whole last handful of herbs in there. It's very strong. Very strong. It feels like I'm eating sautéed basil with something else. There's some, and I can't put my finger on what the other herb is, but it's something. We got a big bag of fresh from the garden greens, um, which is awesome and amazing, but I have a feeling Jazz has treated it all like lettuce. Um, like, like spinach, I should say. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. I'm slamming my around. Bob is to walk to hunger. Oh, no, Seeker. Oh, no. Oh, are we on different? Ah, oh, we're on different shards. Hello. Tasty hot lettuce. That's a bit of a shard. Yep, spinaches. Basil does go in hot dishes. Yeah, but not this much. Hey, Assass. Yeah, I am having a great day. Thank you so much for hoping. I hope you are as well. Welcome on in. Spinach tried to sometimes try to disguise themselves as basil. There's another herb in here, though. It's like a pointy one. Like pointy leaves. I'm trying to find it. Find another one. It looks like it should be mint, but it's not mint. What are you? It's not rocket. Rocket's not pointy. I'm rocket might have the same effect. I'm not a fan of rocket, but I know what rocket tastes like, and this isn't it. This is a herb, not a lettuce. It's very. It tastes exceptionally fragrant. Time. 
Is there a spiky bezel, maybe? No, it's, it's not basil, it's... Might be Basil, but just not like young Basil, if that makes sense. This is absolute trash. Rose is not rosemary. Uh, rosemary is like a stick with little leaves. This is like a, a broad leaf, but it has spiky bits on it. Um, I didn't know it tasted dreadful. Cinnamon basil, which is awesome. Little sucky girl. My button bit. Oh no, no, no mount for me either. Uh, it's not dill. Dill is tiny little fronds. Um, sage is bigger, thicker leaves, uh, and rosemary is a stick. Um, this one's entire life. I dropped in a couple of mint seeds. Oof. Oof. Not oregano. I'm used to the big soft round <clears throat> big soft round leaves of basil, but it's this is not this is not that. It's all covered in oil, so I can't really hold it up. I mean not a ton of oil, but like enough that I can't really hold it up. I'm just trying to see if I can find another one. Bigger. That's a pretty whole leaf. Not a lampo. No, I'd know if it was cilantro slash coriander. It's not sage. Sage leaves are thicker. And the burst through the pot we had it in. Oh my god. We should only put in a small contained pot. Tough one to crack. So, this is what it looks like. Don't look at me. Look at leaf. Look at leaf! Leaf. Focus on the leaf. No, okay. Let me try to, because it's still a bit sticky, so maybe I can get it to lay flat in my, nope. It's folded and it got folded while it was cooking. So it's refusing to like do the thing. But it's got, I'm trying to show you the little, oh, hang on for a second there, we almost had it. Can you stay put? You see the little, hey, there we go. Can you see the little spikies around the edges? It doesn't taste like basil. And it's a bit bashed, but it's also cooked, so. I can't figure out what it is. It's not mint. <laughs> it is not mint. Does it taste like aniseed? No. No, I don't think so. I'm not I don't like licorice. It doesn't taste like licorice, but I'm I'm not I know aniseed has a slightly different taste, but I don't I'm not averse to the taste that it's just very strong. Very strong. It's green. Thai basil. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking, it might have been Thai Basil, but it didn't really look like the pictures. Thai Basil kind of... Actually, it probably is Thai Basil. Yeah, okay, so further down some of these pictures are definitely... Yeah, it, I think it's Thai Basil. And Thai Basil's great! You put a few leaves, but I have about this much fried, like not fried, but like sauteed greens, and maybe half of it is Basil. It's really strong. Really strong. Poison? <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow. Um, yeah. 
Uh, what are you eager of eating a vegan dish? No, I have pork on my plate. I just, I have pork and I have steamed veggies and I have sauteed greens. And I'm trying to find, figure out why the greens taste so different to usual because usually the greens are just spinach and kale. And we have herbs in this one and that's a whole last leaf of, I think, I think it's Thai basil. But it's very strong. Very strong. Doesn't taste like aniseed though. Definitely not mint. I love mint. Uh, caraway. <clears throat> it looks like you use seeds, not leaves of caraway. Uh, caraway leaves kind of look like dill. Very different. Um, bay leaf. No, nah, bay leaves are thicker. Uh, dark opal basil. What is that? Nope, dark opal basil is purple. <laughs> Very purple. Poison? This is, this is Vietnamese mint. It doesn't taste at all like mint mint, but maybe Vietnamese mint. Nah, Vietnamese mint's a lot more pointy. Like it's longer, thinner leaves. This is quite broad. Like it's quite a like a broad leaf. It just keeps folding in on itself, so it looks longer, but it's a it's a broad leaf. Um Oh yeah, that's a basil. Welcome back, Jess. Italian large leaf basil. Italian large leaf basil. No, they don't they don't have the pointies around the edge. Also, they're enormous. <laughs> Delicious vegan pork. Oregano. No, oregano was one of the ones I looked up and they look like they're much rounder leaves and they don't have the little pointy spiky bits around the edges. The pigs were vegans. Could also be perilla. I don't know how to spell that. Perilla leaf. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, they look to be huge though. They look to be like... The size of a hand kind of thing. <clears throat> mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. Is there any that isn't cooked? I'm not sure that'd be a question for Jess. Carol leaves and this become looking for a different could have the wrong thing on the page. Uh Caraway Leaf. What I tend to do is just type it into Google and then look at the images. Um because if you've got one or two compared to like a ton, they're all kind of the same. It looks like there are a few varieties of caraway leaves, but none of them quite look right. Um so you to guess the food category. Vietnamese perilla. Oh, I think that's what came off when I, I typed in just perilla leaf. It all had, there was a lot of mention of Vietnamese around the place. But um, I think they're too big. I also don't think that they grow where these were got from, which is in a place that's very, 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 very cold. Uh, <laughs> I just called fish mint. The hell is fish mint? Chameleon plant. Nah, the edges of the leaves are too straight. These ones have got little, like, spikies. Counting with advanced dealing with the little push ups now. It's spade shaped. It is, but it has spikies around the edges. Um, and it doesn't have a dip in at the base of the leaf. It's flat along the bottom, and then it's like, Jagged, spiky hook, kind of like around the edges. Uh, here we go, yes. She's so yeah. This one was talking about Vietnamese specifically. A lot of them. Oh, this looks to be a huge plant dog. Amazing, amazing. <clears throat> Holy basil. Amazing. Grapevine. Oh, is it? Yeah, they tend to be a lot bigger though, don't they? You come back to our. Is it worth it? Uh, it really depends on what you define worth it as, unfortunately. I'd love to give you a straight yes or no answer, but.
but it really does depend on what you enjoy about WoW. Um, like there's a ton of stuff to do, like an absolute ton of stuff to do. But if you left because PvP existed, for example, well, it still exists. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it, those kind of things. So depending on why you left and what you enjoyed about it when you were playing will kind of determine whether or not it's worth you coming back. Uh, but I'm really enjoying myself. I, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this patch. There's lots and lots of collectibles. And uh, yeah, I'm having fun. Lots of... Um, uh, alt catch up mechanics and things like that, which is great. But yeah, up to you really. Been 12 years? Holy cow. It's a totally different game now. The game has changed dramatically in the last 12 years. I mean, you can always do the free trial. And if you don't like it, nothing lost. Super easy. But yeah, totally different game to what it was 12 years ago. Totally different. <clears throat> um, okay, I'm gonna stick myself on a flight path and then we'll do that battle. Uh, we're gonna go over to Maldraxxus. Ah, uh, yeah, the variety says, ah, interesting. Ah, uh, there are any of these leaves that aren't cooked yet. So different, lots of fun, many things frustrating back then are now fixed, or you can use add-ons to fix. Yeah, a lot of add-ons have been brought into the game itself. Yeah, a lot of stuff that used to be an add-on is now part of the base UI and things like that. Uh, right. Battle. Enough of my face. Oh, Sika. Oh my god. I was a healer and absolutely loved it. I stopped because all my friends stopped playing and now we have stopped talking over time. Mm. Friends do grow apart over time and that's okay. That's a that's a normal occurrence. Um, look, there are so many ways to find a new community um, these days. Like there's, there's a guild finder in WoW. There are communities that go cross server, cross faction. There are of course all these Twitch communities and stuff like that where you can find a home and find other people to play with. Um, and you can, you can definitely make new friends and healers are always held in quite high regard and, and they're always sought after. So you won't find any shortage of groups to, to join, I'm sure. Um, uh, but Perky Pugs is one that I always recommend for like end game play where you're trying to find a group to slot into. You're trying to do end game content, but without the toxicity there are, you know, like any game, there are going to be assholes playing it. It is what it is. Uh, so Perky Pugs is a Discord community where, uh, it's like, they're quite strict around the rules of, like, what you can ask for and what you can advertise and when you can advertise, all that kind of stuff, to try to foster a genuine community where people help each other with runs and stuff like that rather than just elitist crap. Uh, so, yeah. It's pretty funny, but dang. You can also play alone a lot easier these days. Yeah, absolutely. Or find people. Back to Rebunny. It's fine, Seeker. By the time you get back there, your Hearthstone will be up. So it'll be fine. Uh, Demon, Fort, Lexa, Trig, Silver, Zam, and Meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. Oh, excuse me. Uh, my Warbase stuff cooldown? No. Warrior. Warrior. <clears throat> oh my god, 990 bonus shits. Are we gonna hit 1,000 bonus shits or uh, or 1,000 Instagram followers first? We are really close to both. Really, really close to both. By the way, if you haven't followed my Instagram yet, I know, you hate me, it's fine. Um, I am trying to get to 1K. 1k is like the first big milestone for creators to start being noticed by the Instagram algorithm uh, to get more engagement and more people can see you, therefore more people might follow you, etc, etc, etc. So if you wouldn't mind dropping me a follow over there, it takes you like 20 second stops unless you've got a really bad internet connection. You can scroll down under the video player and on the right hand side there, there is just like Instagram, you click that and then you click follow. That's all it takes. It's totally free. And it may actually be one tiny little step on my way to becoming a full-time content creator. 
Like that's how much of a difference it makes. I'm not even kidding. I wish I were. Bloody social media. But it is what it is. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's get us an, uh, an oozing, you know, necrory egg. 15 slots left. Playing Destiny, not having fun. I've been missing the RPG MMO style of game. Like, wow. Fair enough. Well, look, there are, um, like, there is a, a free trial that you can kind of jump into and level a bit and, so, and just see what you think of the game. Um, so by all means, give that a go. And the worst case is that you've spent some time discovering something new that you no longer enjoy well. Um, or... Uh, you, you and you, you don't lose any money or you find that you absolutely love it and then you can grab your sub or your expansion pack all that kind of stuff but yeah definitely recommend giving the free trial a go um just need eighty-seven thousand three hundred and twelve 312 embers to make fear level up tunes oh no that was an oopsie Make fear level up tunes to 60 to donate all you need to do is click the little fire under and to the left of the chat box hit that big old bar that says 50 60 is leveling uh, you can donate up to 2,000 embers, or you can donate multiple times up to that point. Embers are a completely free currency to spend, and you get your embers back if we don't reach the goal. Shiba is correct. Uh, thank you, Sam, for dropping the socials link. That is another way to find all my socials, if you'd like to follow me on all the places and, and help me realize my dreams. Did miss something on my character's level 40 now. Oh, did I miss something? Yeah. Uh, level squish. At the end of uh, Battle for Azeroth, um, all the 120s got squished down to 50. So if you haven't played for 12 years, your character should be a whole lot less than 40. <clears throat> Unless she logged in at some point and leveled them up or boosted them or something like that. 54% in just over half a stream. Good lord. Jesus Christ. You guys like the leveling, huh? Mm -mm. Oh, it's a hug emote. They're so cute. I love those ones. Level 40 was Warlord's Adrenal. So if you had tunes that were max level in WAD, they would have got squished down to 40 when the level squish happened. Um, but what was not 12 years ago, so either someone else has access to your account, or um, yeah. 987, oh my god, we're so 13. <gasps> Holy cow, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Snow Mister that last I played was Mist. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a lot more recent. But Mist is still before WAD. Um, so they should have been squished to, I think, 35? 37? Somewhere around there. <clears throat> 50 was uh, BFA. Max level in BFA got squished to 50. Legion was 45. WAD was 40. Um, and then you had... Mists and Kata. And I'm pretty sure Mists was... Oh, Mists maybe was 35. And then Kata was like 32, 33. And then Wrath was 30 and BC was... No, wait. Yeah, and then BC was 25. And Vanilla was 20. That makes sense. Oh, I was just playing a miss just after drop started playing a couple of years ago. I had a big gap in play. The jump was amazing. Oh, that's so good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. to go. My god. <sighs> Whew, that's kind of awesome. I know the beta for something after miss. 
It's been so long. That's all right. That's all right. I mean, look, even even if you pay like a month sub, or two month sub, and just like give it a go from there, it's not, I mean, unless, obviously unless like 30 US or whatever it is, is a lot of money for you, in which case, you know, think about it very, very carefully. But if it's not too much, like if, if you can spend that much on like a takeout meal or something, there's the potential that you spend that much on two months worth of trying WoW out again, and then you know, maybe you fall back in love. Who knows? But yeah, I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Like I I really really enjoy WoW. Uh, but no one's gonna know. I'm, I, no one's gonna know except you. We got an ATG done! Yay! Well done, Kate. Congratulations. It's the final countdown. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, goodness. Then we gotta keep it above a thousand. God, that's gonna be the hard bit. Stemming the unfollows. Oh, excuse me. is going to become an addiction again. Look, if it is something that you actually were addicted to, like keep in mind, like enjoying playing it a lot is not an addiction. Um, an addiction is when it starts to interfere with your day-to-day -day life. It starts affecting your relationships, your ability to go to work, go to school, whatever it is that else that you do. Like if it's, if it was that bad, like I would never ever advise anyone to give a try to something that they were actually like clinically addicted to. It's not a good idea. Don't do it. Um, but if it was just like you enjoyed playing it a lot, then yeah, that's, that's something that's pretty easily solved by having uh, some some self control and stuff. But addiction is a disease. Like addiction is is not something to be thrown around too lightly. It's absolutely debilitating. Uh, and is something that should not be. It should be should be treated with respect. <clears throat> okay. The constructs continue to pick at the corpse of our fallen out. Grab one of these. Throw it up there. Oh. Throw it up there. Oh, do I not have it? I don't have it targeted. I'm very good at this. <clears throat> so control, that's a thing. Look, it is. It is. It's just kind of difficult to get a handle on. How the server population is Aussies. Um, so we've got Oceanic servers as of the beginning of Warlords Dreadnought. They're physically located in Sydney. And uh, before Shadowlands launched, there were a bunch of server connections done, not server merges, where like a server is completely wiped out and they're they're absorbed by another one. But there are a whole lot of connections. Uh, so the servers are pretty healthy at the moment. Pretty healthy. They're all marked as either high or full, uh, the Oceanic servers specifically. <clears throat> Is kind. You get another mount? Thank you, Dunno. Much appreciated. I hope so too. I'm getting the feeling maybe not, but look. Who knows? Maybe.
more of those. Any other randomness have visited in Bunny Gate 2022 recently? Dodging wolves in Mulgo, brilliant. Your house is still not off cooldown? Goodness gracious. Don't into trouble, I can join you run interference if you want. Oh, that's so kind of you, Kay. Frostborn and Kill Jaden. Brilliant. There you go. I think Kill Jaden's a US server, but um, Frostborn's an Oceanic. What's the other permit? So we keep doing it alone. It's really valid, and I believe in you, as do I, Seeker. You've got this. You've got this. Not allow devourers to gain a foothold in Maldractus. They will consume everything we have fought for. Destroy them. Excellent. So dinner, yes. Dinner is wonderful. Delicious. After work, might give the free trial a go. Perfect. I do believe the free trial does not give you access to your old characters. I think it's just anything like you can't log into old tunes uh, unless they're under level 20. I'm pretty sure it goes up to level 20. But yeah, I always start something new. Witness the fury of Maldrax. That was a leap and a half. Ta-da! Ooh, and I've done that too, I can pass. Okay. Pathing back to the heart of the forest now to turn that in and hopefully get ourselves a necro ray egg. Wouldn't that be lovely? Ugh. Crunch. Crunch. After work, full time care of mum. What are you doing? Xbox is doing something fun to play. Don't have a life from four to seven. Totally fair. Totally fair. 
Uh, right, this way. I am quite in we go. Necro ray egg, go! Oh, poop. Alright, that's fine. Uh, right, Covenant Salt. <laughs> that's the next bit. Um, Covenant Salt. Let's go. <clears throat> I can totally spill that board if you let it. Indeed. But like, also in a really good productive way. Like you're accomplishing something, you're achieving something. You know, you set yourself a goal and then you meet it sort of stuff. It can be really healthy. It just, like, it's going to be up to the individual. Have they changed much on the healers? Yes. Like, everything has changed. The The game is very quite, like, it's really quite different. Some have similar sort of playstyles, but not really. Not really. <clears throat> like, the game changes a fair bit from expansion to expansion, but if you've missed, like, seven... <laughs> Not seven. Uh, fucking, what, three, four, five of them? Like, things have changed a lot. Things have changed a lot. Everything has changed. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn that in while I'm here. Just because I can. You, I offer only the finest. And then off we go. Covenant assaults. Mm. Mm. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Indeed. <clears throat> so, oh, a druid. Druid and shaman healer. Brilliant! Ah, uh, you know what hasn't changed? War. War never changes. Ah, oh, dear. Crunch. to the day Lich King Classic is coming later this year and Burning Crusade Classic is already available as is Classic Classic. But if you stop playing in Mists, none of that's going to help you. Because <laughs> those games are different again. Look on healers on YouTube. Yeah, it might work. Um, also, looking at things like Wowhead is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Started in BC. Yeah, but then you'd know that Mists was very different to BC as well, you know what I mean? Once you get a couple of expansions away, the, the playstyle is quite different and lots of things have changed up and all that kind of stuff. I found Wowhead very useful. Mm. Wowhead is quite useful.
change the country, even able to play a level to learn writing. Um, even having read a different beginning leveling guide would give you some idea of feel and play style. Yeah, potentially, absolutely. Indeed, Welsh. Indeed. come to Xbox I don't see that happening no no there's just there's too many like keybinds and things like that it's there's not enough buttons on an Xbox controller too many abilities that have to do a massive prune again and the last time that people got angry and they brought the abilities some of the abilities that they pruned they brought them back because it, you know lost class identity and all this kind of stuff so yeah like I said lots has changed so <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. The do like keyboard and mouse on Xbox. I don't know about keybinding. Yeah. Uh the, yeah, it'd need to be a whole lot more in depth than just allowing it to for the game to work on Xbox. Do you believe? But that's fine. It is what it is. Have to hinder a couple more Eminies. Boot it out of the dubstep tree. And move on to the next one. Next quest. Massive prune also coincided with the artifact weapon system. It did! It was in Legion. It was the start of Legion. Next quest. <laughs> oh dear. I have to do the snails earlier. It's gonna make this much quicker. I hope. Here comes 
Comstomp is more fun than healing in LFR. That makes sense. Comstomp is great fun. You burn through, like, you burn through it. Uh, June, I believe it is, is when the next round of Comstomp comes up. And I'm going to try really hard to not have anything else to do that week. So that I can just play Comstomp. Get all those honor levels up. Ugh, make some progress towards 40. Please don't mention Comstomp. Just got done 96 Comstomps on 24 characters to farm marks of honor to buy old BFA recipes. Comstomp's so much fun though! It's mindless and brainless, and you just put Netflix on your second screen and mash buttons and hit release when you notice you've died. Like, it's so easy to do, and you just. Oh, so many rewards for such little effort. It's fantastic. Okay, here goes. Ugh, oh, Seeker, good luck. Trying to try and get me into Final Fantasy, just couldn't do it. Totally fair. Not every game is for everyone. Your mind to pudding? Nah, it's fine. Uh, it, yeah, I can absolutely imagine it getting a bit boring after a bit. Um, grabs a bit of play stuff. Totally fine for it. Personal, you know, preference for play style is an incredibly personal decision. Ali, Kludgy, Zem, Dunno, Zem, Trig, and Meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Ah, well done, Seeker. Congratulations. Oh, excuse me. Nicely done. Oh, well, this feels better to play over. I think Final Fantasy has more compelling content. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alrighty, what am I placing? Can I do a war beast? No. <clears throat> and Noble Gardener, yes! Well done. 
Good job. So let's get back. Alright, back to grab these missive scraps. one can drop a toy. Uh, that would be brilliant. Got a little overgun achievements, only two pieces of transfer, one toy to get! 200 more eggs! Go you! Go you! Because it's been so much time in my life, starting from the beginning. Again. That's fair. That's valid. And you got a hard world. Yes, absolutely. So happy for you. So happy for Zika. <clears throat> battle plan we can just give me a second actually I put my gloves up so I should be okay there you go I just got the pet. Brilliant. <clears throat> Sniffles. I was trying to let him turn it into a what's it, but that's okay. Maybe it was on cooldown still. Hawkeye. We gotta kill, go kill Lady Nails again. Oh dear. This one does seem to be going a little bit faster now that I'm like in the flow of what I need to do for the whole last uh, assault thing. Um. Maybe it's just because I'm 220 on this tune rather than 147. <laughs> that would also help, I imagine.
How many expansions do I need to buy to came back if I choose to? One. The latest one. Shadowlands. Is it with you and nails? I misread it the first time. Look, okay. Although my nails are trash. My, my, all my peelies. The peel off base coat has, uh, yeah, a lot of it's peeled off. So I think I might have to redo them tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> Go bite him, show him who's boss. You can actually bite them since you're a bear, correct? I do probably bite them regularly, to be honest. I cannot get the man out of this cage. Will I get that lucky? Yes. Didn't expect that auto mode. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a one that happens. Let me confer with my sources. <sighs> no. Sam, you're such a meanie pants. Such a meanie pants. Hmm, <laughs> what one man today? Hmm. Last couple of weeks I've been getting two or three though. Gotta keep that up if I want to get to 683 before the next X pack. My oath is to the forest in time. You may speak, Mort. Oh, you'd better stay close. The moss sworn are looking for us. Quick, distract that watcher so we can sneak past. Good. Now 
Thanks. My weapons don't work here. Find me something to hit. Quick, the leader use of the blinding gas lurks nearby. But not for long. Have you found the others? I will leave no one behind. Quick, use the blinding dust! Boom! Ooh. That was much faster. I've never felt such a dark presence before. Your soul <clears> shall <throat> soon be bound to the jails of tomorrow. I'm indeed from Brisbane. No, I'm only a dress as kid. 32, but last year there were 34 gifts. I know. Exactly. Look, I have... At least I'm only a little bit entitled sometimes. Not like lots all the time. Right? Come on. Give me credit. Yeah, <laughs> this is not often that I do not have words. Look, I was right. That's really funny. I did get an upgrade to my trinket though, so that's nice. Uh, let's head back to Heart of the Forest. Sometimes. Brilliant. Ooh, uh. Today's been a good day. I have enjoyed it. Didn't get a whole lot done because of my meeting, but... Like, that is getting stuff done, so that's good. <clears throat> I just have these two conduits to stick in, so I'm going to do that. Six resto conduit. Fantastic. All right, on to the monk then. Have my two days off. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Had the meeting go really good it was um a lot of discussion around like the industry itself and um because so i i gave her a couple of um i gave her a couple of instagram handles of people i kind of look up to in terms of the instagram in instagram space and she did some research into them and then a bit broader as well just to see what kind of content seems to perform well um 
and their their content that performs well is the same type as my content that performs well so i'm doing the right kind of thing um uh it was also like the, we we talked a lot about just like gaming and, and the industry in general i learned a lot about her because i mean I, I worked with her but uh i didn't work really closely with her like different departments and stuff and like I learned so much about her. She's really, like, I always knew she was a lovely person, but we actually have a lot more in common, excuse me, than I thought we did, which is super cool. Um, love find it, you know, that's a great discovery to make. Um, it turns out she's played Warcraft, not World of Warcraft, but she did play Warcraft back in the day. So she had a launching point for the rest of like what I do. So that's really cool. Um, where the hell am I going with this? Right, I'm going home. Elysian Hold. Uh, and so we talked a lot about like the industry in general and what I would like to accomplish and why it's difficult in Australia and, and what kind of opportunities there are for in-person stuff in Australia, all that sort of stuff, like conventions, stuff like that. Um, and then looked at what I'm posting at the moment and what performs well and what doesn't perform so well. Uh, and then, so what she's gonna do, I've given her some more information and she's gonna take a bit of a deeper dive into my insights and my analytics and put together uh, some content pillars is what she called them. And I'm so excited. So content pillars are like, here are like the categories of stuff that you post. So at the moment I post clips, I post makeup, I post like product endorsements and that kind of un comes under like lifestyle stuff as well. And then I post lifestyle stuff, like, you know, the food that I eat and things like that. So there are a few that I'm doing. So she's gonna um like define them a bit and also expand on them like i post makeup photos that's like me and then me and then a photo of the mount but what else can i do in that space because those perform really well how can i expand on that to get more engagement on that you, that kind of thing so yeah um we stand i'm really excited i'm really excited really very excited uh, <laughs> oh, so is that the one up or down? You wish to be of service. Does the one up? Brilliant. So we're gonna fly to Maldraxia. Oh, there's a new one that's popped up. Okay, so we'll do that one because it gives more anima than this one. Does that give a conduit? I don't care. Woo! Uh, we'll fly there and then hit that and come around this way. Fly free. <clears throat> uh, as much as I love my job, I don't like working six days. Totally fair. I wouldn't either. I mean, she says while working six days a week. Good. <laughs> uh, uh, nice old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she did not know that Warcraft 3 Reforged existed. Um... And so I let her know. And when, when I said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, there's, a, there's a collector's edition that comes with a mount. And because I collect mount, I explained what mounts were and everything. Because I collect the mounts, eventually I'm going to end up buying the game. And if I buy the game, I'm going to stream it because then I can claim it on tax. So, <laughs> so I said I'd have to ping her when I, when I go back and, and play. Because I explained what Reforged was, that it was like the same game, but like the graphics were updated and the sounds and like all the, like it's just like prettier and, you know, re remastered basically. And she was like, oh my God, that sounds awesome. Like, yeah, I'll have to ping you when I'm, when I'm going to play it so that you can like come reminisce and uh, reminisce and all that kind of stuff. And she sounded pretty keen for that. Uh, and also the cosplay thing. Um, like... Like really loving the cosplay thing so yeah it's cool it's cool she also she definitely recommended that i actually wear the cosplay to the convention because it just provides so many more like content opportunities and i'm like yeah but it's six months away and i don't think it's going to be done in time <laughs> so maybe next packs maybe next packs I'll, I'll pull it out of the closet and, and take it down to melbourne with me wear it with leggings slash bodysuit so i can stay warm one of us, indeed! Warcraft, yeah, Warcraft 3. Played so much Warcraft 2 in my youth. Good evening, sign. welcome back. Ah, I just saw a mage called Fiamma in Torghast. Interesting, was not me. An imposter! Very sus. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, I've wondered how that makeup photo would look if you half half them onto the single head. Oh, interesting. I'd have to get the photos, like, bang on lined up. What, um, what she actually recommended was videos. 
like not just Twitch clip videos, but like actual posts being videos and carousels um, so that you can kind of swipe through. And so instead of having like the, the photo with the mount on the first panel sort of thing, like you might have the, the image and then you swipe and then it's like a video of me actually doing the makeup and then you swipe and then there's the mount or something like that. Um, so videos and carousels perform really, really well, apparently. So, look, um, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Um, I did, I learned a few things, and she said my hashtags were looking pretty good. I seem to be using really similar ones to everyone, and it's funny because it's, because I went looking for people and copied and pasted their fucking hashtags. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, like, it's, Yeah. Uh, it, she, she basically, she said, um, uh, ads are probably not going to help for my kind of content. Um, like if you're selling a product and stuff, yeah, maybe, but I'm not really, uh, it's Instagram is designed to be, uh, like the way that I would use Instagram. Obviously I'd earn some cash from like sponsorships and, and, uh, paid posts and things like that, but it's also kind of a launching pad to Twitch, but less so that it's more a, if you miss me while you're offline, check out my Instagram. So it's more information, like it's more things about me. She said, you know, you're gaming, you're, your Twitch is where you're doing your gaming and you're, you're creating your content and you're interacting with people and stuff like that. But then your Instagram would be a reflection of who, who you are, like who you are rather than what you're doing. It's you, it's, it's the behind the scenes stuff. It's the, you know, if you, if you get a new, upgrade for your for your setup like make sure you're doing unboxings and, and setting it up and all that kind of stuff on instagram and doing all that kind of behind the scenes uh but also lifestyle stuff so if jess and i go out for a coffee get him to take a photo of me with it um that kind of stuff it, it's yeah all that kind of getting to know you as a person rather than as a streamer sort of thing um of course while maintaining personal boundaries and privacy and all that kind of shit because Hello, welcome to the internet. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of what, the, and honestly, that's where I was heading anyway. Like that's where I was kind of starting to sort of try to guide some of my content towards. But the video stuff, I completely overlooked. Like I honestly thought, oh, video is such a huge thing to, you know, go through and edit it and you got to do this and that and the other. But especially like if you guys are preferring like a time lapse of makeup or something like that, I can kind of just hit go and record the whole thing, stick it into Vegas and just click and drag and squish it down to 30 seconds. And that's, there you go. That's a speed, speed makeup. Speedy makeup. But yeah, it's, uh, we'll see how we go. If there, are, if there are things that are performing really well, but they take a lot of effort, then I can look at it. But if I put a lot of effort into something and my engagement on it is trash, then I can just stop. She did say a lot of it is trial and error. Like a lot of, of social media, especially these days with the algorithms changing every three days, a lot of it's trial and error. If you post something and it explodes, do it again. If you post something and it's crap, don't do it again. <laughs> um, and I explained that I'm really bad at like I'm creativity by numbers. I can work really well with patterns, recipes, all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to coming up with new ideas from like f fresh from scratch, I can't, I like my brain just doesn't function. Um, and so that's what she's going to help me with. She's going to create some kind of like suggest, like content suggestions that I can try out and see how they work. Um, and then touch back in a few months. And if, you know, if some things are performing really well and I'm just kind of, I've found my flow and I'm good, then hey, that's wonderful. But if I'm wanting to kind of take it a bit further, um, then she can help me with that, which is, so, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so grateful. <laughs> you guys have like no idea how like I, I was, honestly, I was not sure what to expect. I Half of me was expecting to just not get an email back when I emailed her asking about this, like on a personal level, because she's, she's busy as hell. You know, she's got her own job. This is her, like, <laughs> do you, like there are, there are very few people who want to do their job outside their job, you know? So it's kind of, it was a bit sort of, my, my email was very like, these are my questions, but if, if you don't want to answer, it's okay. Kind of, you know, like I was not scared, but near that mark. 
but she has just been so lovely. And she's like genuinely excited for me as well and really interested to get into the gaming side of things because it's not an industry she's worked with before. So, and I'm obviously more than happy to, to drag her kicking and screaming into that industry. So, <laughs> mm. it, was, it was just really, really nice, really good. Very happy. Uh, do you do any 3D printing for your cosplay? I do not cosplay very often at all. All the cosplays I've done so far have been based on clothing, like jeans and a particular type of shirt kind of cosplay with maybe an accessory that I've made. I don't have a 3D printer. 3D printers are fucking expensive. I am broke. I have $23,000 worth of dental work to get done. So, no. <laughs> No, um, I did have, um, I did do a cosplay as uh, Cruiser Diva, like the Cruiser skin for Diva, and a friend of mine 3D printed me her gun, which I then went away and painted and did all the fun stuff with, uh, which was awesome and generous of them, like super, super appreciative of that. But beyond that, no. No. Uh, not Instagram Guru, there seems to be a lot of hashtags. Is that the done thing? Yes. Hashtags is how you search for content. So if you're looking for sunflowers and you type in hashtag sunflower, everything you see is going to be sunflowers kind of thing or things that are sunflower yellow or whatever. So it's that's how you search for images is using those hashtags. Um, so for me, if someone types in Twitch streamer, they're probably not going to find my posts because um, <laughs> I'm probably very down far, far down on the list because... Um, it tends to sort like the first, the first nine you see are the best performing posts ever with that hashtag. So they'll have tens of thousands of likes and things like that, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, it's how you, and you can also click if you, if you see a photo and you're like, oh, that's really cool. And then you see the hashtags, you can like tap on or click on one of those hashtags to get other photos that are similar in that particular type of category. So if I posted a photo that said like, if my, my uh, Mount makeup and I had hashtag Warcraft, hashtag red hair, hashtag blue eyes, um, etc. If you tapped on red hair, you get a whole bunch of redheads. If you tapped on blue eyes, you get a whole bunch of people with blue eyes. If you tapped on Warcraft, you wouldn't see me anymore, but you'd see a whole lot of posts, like probably with screenshots from the game and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's it's basically the search function. That's that's how that works. <clears throat> if you don't tag it with that, it can't be it can't be searched with that keyword. Uh, dear is people browsing the hashtag with your content find you. Yes, just now realized how much time lapse I do watch on Insta. Amazing. How fast is there a sweet spot for speed, Ali? Out of curiosity. Time lapse food makeup activities. Brilliant. Like, and you, same question for you, Seeker. Is there a sweet spot with speed? Because if I'm sitting there doing my makeup for an hour and then I squish that into 30 seconds, is that going to be going so fast that you can't figure out what's going on and it's going to be less fun to watch? Or like, yeah, do you get, maybe, maybe what I need to do is try it. Maybe I need to film a couple and then squish them and post them in Discord rather than on the socials and see what people get some opinions. What do we reckon? Would, would you be willing to help me out with that? No pressure, of course, and there wouldn't be like a, a you must respond within 10 minutes or any of that kind of bullshit. You know what I'm like. <clears throat> I mean, because I can always just post them and, and see if it goes well or if it goes bad and then adjust from there, but I would love some like actual feedback on, nut. this is too slow, nut. this is too fast. Um, this is a terrible angle. Fear, what the fuck are you doing? This isn't a video of makeup. You accidentally filmed out the window. Like, you know, <laughs> you know that the general kind of stuff. Really behind the scenes reel or show would be cool. Show us the setup and point at things and tell us what they do. I can do that. Unless that sounds stupid. No, not at all. Not at all. I'd have to clean it. <laughs> not even kidding. Um, Queensland, dusty. Everything is covered in dust. I have all, I see all these photos on my Instagram feed of like beautiful, cause it's from Logitech, right? So beautiful setups and they're oh, so clean and gorgeous. And then you've got me, dust everywhere, paint that's been taken off in a couple of places on the wall just because why not? Um, there's a mess. I used to have my computer up 
on a top of like a drawer unit, so it was up off the ground, and it spat a whole lot of dust out the back of it, which got on, which was sitting on the wall. Um, and instead of grabbing out the duster, I tried to wipe it with wet. So there's now like a big gray smudge on the paintwork. Um, it'll easily go away. I just haven't had the time to clean it and no one fucking sees it. So whatever. But yeah, it's, it's a trash pile. Like the whole place is a mess, so, <laughs> but I can absolutely do that. Yeah, but I didn't really realize it was a thing. I do pause on every time they go. Fear, empowered women, empowered women. She sounds like the best kind of person, right? Like really, truly, really, truly. And she did all the whole meeting totally free. She didn't like she she said, I'm not going to charge you if if we she said, if we do get to a certain point where I'm doing up like reports for you or if she's actually scheduling and posting campaigns on my behalf, then that is something that would be paid. She did specify that it would be at mates rates, um, but she wouldn't let me pay her for like an intro because she's like, this is stuff you could probably find on the Internet for free, but it's really hard to find to dig through everything. So I'm happy to teach you. Um, and so I paid for her brunch because that's the right thing to do because like, come on. And she was like, so grateful. I'm like, but you helped me like so much. This is the least I could do. Like, yeah. Anyway, Fade, Great, Demon, Rel, Zem, Ali, and Vild. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. But yeah, she's, she is kick-ass. She's awesome. Um, one of us indeed. 100% happy to be guinea pig. Fantastic. Very happy to do that. Fear being the voice of my anxiety. Huh? Oh no. Um, did I do something? What, what did I, I'm sorry. What are we? Okay. We're good. Oh no. Three minutes to go. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's just keep placing then. Um, let's actually, no, that's a completed quest. Let's see what that is. No, never dust with wet. I know I dusted with wet. What am I doing? It's okay though. Since then I have been able to take some some marks off some of the other walls, so I know how to do it now. Washing walls is something that terrifies me because I'm like, won't you wash the paint off? Like that's what my brain says will happen. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's fun. Ooh, that's a noise. Uh okay. Hello, Gliss. How are you going? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a wonderful night, day, night, time, whatever. Happy time zone. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Did I push the button? I don't think I did. There we go. Button pushed. Woo. Uh, no, when you're talking like, if you could do this, there's no pressure. I know you're really busy. I was like, relatable. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. Okay. That makes, thank you for clarifying. I very much appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh... Oh. <laughs> Explore Maldraxxus. Oops. Whoopsies. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh... But no, she was really, really lovely about it. And, uh... Oh, magical... Oh, it's the rune one. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> so there are three runes nearby. It's there. Uh, noon in Wild West Germany. Hope you have a fine time too. Thank you. Germany, far out. God, it's it just trips me out how many different places you all come from. You know, it's so cool. So super cool. Ah, oh dear. Ah, oh dearie me. 
I'm at 70% Maldrax is defended, so that's not too bad. This one always gets me with those bloody tempests. Always gets me. No matter what tune I'm on. Ugh, it's fine. Ah oh dear. But yeah, so super, super productive sit down. It was really lovely. But we will we will see if it bears fruit, if I can take on the um advice well enough to Make something happen. There we go. Now I can unlock the coffer. <clears throat> I don't think I can claim that. Maybe we can. Is that one of your much lower position? To miss who the person is. Um, the social media guru. Uh, that I sat down and had a meeting with today. I've been talking about how I emailed her and I was going to meet her for a bit. And then, yeah, today we finally be were able to sit down and do the thing. Indeed, indeed, absolutely. It really was. It was great. And actually being able to talk to somebody who's like, this is what they do, is yeah, really nice. What is going on? It's like it's broken. working. It's because of Shmidi. Indeed, we are so close to 1k, you guys. So close. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Very sniffly. Let's be getting that time of night. I still need more battle plans. Oh, okay, yep, sure. Give me just a second. We can do that. Done. Enjoy.
Ta-da! Alright, and now we gotta go back and turn that in. Get us a necro ray egg. Come on. Give me a necro ray egg, please. If I change my covenant, would my legendary unity change with it? I believe so. I think it's the same memory and it just kind of changes. Sort of like tier sets and how they change with your, your spec. I believe so. But you should be able to check Wowhead at this point. I'm sure someone will have tried. You will <clears throat> seek me. Unity swaps with Cove. There we go. Thank you very much, Jas. Much appreciated. No egg. No egg for fear. Uh, Covenant Assault. Oh, I have to unlock it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I have to go into Korthia and actually do stuff. Ah, uh, it does. Wonderful. Thank you. Battle plans. Uh, I did the battle plans. They're there. The battle plans exist. Mm hmm. Totally fine. Not a worry. So fast I did not see! That's right, Zam asked me already, so I popped him down. That's really funny. <clears throat> I might need to take a brief bathroom break shortly. In fact, I might do that now while the battle's still waiting and... Oh, there's an ad in progress. Fantastic. I'll be back in a second. Pretend. Lots of hydrates, I forgot about them.
Okay. <clears throat> and a stretch. I knew that. Oh, crunchy. Oh, God, that felt good. I really, really need a massage. <clears throat> Maybe. Okay, what I reckon. Once I get my socials done for May, I can go get a massage. That's going to be my reward this month. Troll through my clips and post all the things and it's going to be great. I don't think I'll get all of Instagram done only because I don't think I have enough. I don't, I don't think I've taken enough photos, enough selfies during April. <clears throat> but we'll see. I guess Jas and I just need to like go out and do more things so we can get photos of me doing more things. <laughs> Maybe just selfies of me in cute clothes. That works too, right? All right, you have my attention. Massage pose. Maybe, but I have to get a photo of me getting the massage or something. How may I assist you? <clears throat> Maybe a post-massage super chill selfie. <laughs> Going out doing things in this economy. Hey, you can do stuff for free or for cheap. Like you can grab the lunch that you would have eaten at home anyway and take it out into a park and have a picnic. Super easy. <clears throat> Or we'll go window shopping and take photos of window shopping. The key here is to take photos of whatever it is you're doing. That's the thing, like I've always been, you know how there are people who like live and they experience through their phones? Like as soon as fireworks start, out come the phones and they're recording it and watching it on the screen. Like, and they have a problem disconnecting from their phone and just experiencing stuff as it happens. I have the opposite problem. I keep forgetting to take out my phone or my camera or whatever. And this is a problem because I'm a content creator. And when I literally forget to create content, not conducive to a successful career. <laughs> not super great. Ah, oh, it's been too wet lately to go outside. Oh, only a little bit. Only a little bit. Did you end up doing that miniskirt thing for me? Oh, not yet, not yet. It's on my to-do list for tomorrow. They've posted another one as well. Um, so the, the skirt one has to go up before the 3rd of May. And they've got another one, another competition that they've posted. Uh, and they've also had a couple of things for influencers that you could apply to. And they send you a kit of stuff for you to post about. I don't think I've been accepted for any of those though. But I've been, I've been applying to them. I've definitely been applying. Um, because hey, if they send me stuff, that's more content. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, it's on the list for tomorrow. <laughs> the whispers <clears throat> Kill enemies around this area, but where? 
Nash person ask me anything story for all your new followers. Ooh, that's a really good idea, Ali. Oh my god. That's a really yes. And then I can spend the next month answering them one at a time. Like one a day or something. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal idea. Doing things to get pictures to post on social media feels shallow to me. People doing things which they want to do or enjoy, which happens to have a picture taken, feels much better, but then I'm old and don't really understand social media. Um, correct. You are absolutely correct. For individuals. I'm a business. It's, it's very different. It's very different. So, like, I wouldn't ever go out and do something I don't want to do in order to get content. What I'm, what I'm kind of, so, like, Jas and I go out for dinner maybe once a week to one of the one of the you know relatively local places then like the number of times i actually get a photograph at the table or with the food or anything is about once a month so it's a matter of taking that like we're doing it already but i need to remember to take the opportunity to capture it for the socials um there are other things that, like, for example, I've never been to a Comic-Con or a Supernova because I felt like they weren't really my scene. Like, Comic-Con is all about the comics and then, you know, derivatives of the comics, so, like, TV shows and movies that are based on the comic books and things like that. And I've never really been super interested in comics. Uh, there are some great ones out there, don't get me wrong, but it's never really been, like, a passion of mine, and so I thought Comic-Con wasn't my scene. Same thing with Supernova. Supernova is everything pop culture. But pop culture a lot of the time goes whoop over my head. But maybe I'll discover something really funky and cool and new that I didn't, you know. So these are opportunities that I can, that not necessarily something I would have thought would be right for me to go to. But now it's an opportunity for me to show my face in person somewhere. And of course grab content as like I can generate content while I'm there, but also having a good time. It's very, very different running a socials profile as an individual compared to a business. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. I hope, and I hope that makes me sound a little less shallow. <laughs> I know, I know you weren't like telling me I was shallow or anything, but like I absolutely understand what you're saying, and I, I agree. Like your your general, uh, like your your random individual who purposely goes out to the beach in freezing cold weather sits on the beach for two minutes to take a bikini photo and then runs back inside and, and wraps themselves in a in a thingamajig and then posts it, you know, wishing I was at the beach again and that it was sunny or whatever. Absolutely. Like, very shallow. As hell. But when it's from a, like, when it's a business, it, it's a bit different. A little bit different. I'm lucky on the side of the floods. I wasn't really affected. Yeah, we had no power for a week, so that's fun. Um, nachos got yes. Enjoy your nachos apathy. That sounds delicious. Nachos are a a real hit and miss food for me. I'm a fan, um, like for like corn chips. I'm a real fan of the super super flavorful ones. So not just like lightly salted. I like your your like cheese supreme kind of nacho like corn chips and so when you put that stuff in the oven that flavoring burns like instantaneously it looks at an oven and it's done it's black um and then of course you have the issue where you've got like your chips on top have like a ton of cheese and sour cream and salsa or whatever you put on there and then the chips underneath are just burnt and dry it's just like warm corn chips you know it i just maybe i've only ever had shit nachos but uh <laughs> <laughs> if if there were other options on the menu, I would probably go for them. Nachos are not like my favorite thing. And then and then if you put like enough topping on them, like good stuff, the ones at the bottom get hella soggy by the time you get there as well. <clears throat> not a nacho fan. Golly, 110k. Yeah, I know, right? My god, those embers tend to layer them, only have homemade. Fair. Totally fair. Yeah, I mean, we used to do nachos when I was younger, and mum would get, like, a bag of corn chips and sort of spread them out on the baking tray and then put stuff on them and stuff it in the oven. Like, it was a quick dinner option sort of thing. Um, but yeah, maybe it was just not 
maybe it was just not right. I am, I can be quite picky with my food. Like I, I'll, I'll eat pretty much anything and I will always be able to find something that I enjoy about a meal. Like I'm, unless it's terrible, I'm pretty good at finding something, but I'm, that's the same with pretty much anything. I'm, I'm pretty good at like hunting for a silver lining if I have to, but like, uh, I, um, mm, I don't know. They're just like, I feel like to get them to be good, you need to put in more effort than they're worth. But I mean, again, I probably just have shit nachos. Have had shit nachos. I will aid you as best. <laughs> ah, Tentalea, I wanted corn chips to be soggy. I pour water over them. <laughs> Eight percent. Grows no power. Correct. But you know that's what happens when there's a natural disaster. The last thing you're worrying about is the fact that, like, you know, whether or not you have power, you're just worrying about if the water's going to keep rising and if you're going to have to evacuate. So, we didn't really give a shit. We just, you know, did what we had to do. Um, when do I get... I am not there yet. I still have to keep... Um... I want nachos, I'll just get Doritos. Uh, can't get ones from restaurant, usually have too much chili, and that then caused me issues. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Hello, lovely lurkers. If you're looking for a way to get involved in the stream and feeling a bit shy, why not donate to our weekly community goal for a 50-60 stream? Free channel points, embers, can be contributed by clicking on the little fireplace below the chat box, and if we don't make it, you get the embers back. Thank you to the rock stars who have helped us build the community spirit so far. And while we're talking all about socials, follow Fia on the socials here. Indeed, there is a link in chat. has all my social media links. Do the thing. Do the thing. Follow Fia and then follow her again from all your other Instagram accounts. Your Insta and your Finsta. <laughs> That's a term that I know. Yes. Hello, Sink. How are you going? Welcome back. Oh, God. I'm taking so much damage. I wonder if this is just a really crap macro or something. I don't... Hmm. I don't know. Something's just, something's just not right. It, it keeps locking up at certain points and it's making me very unhappy. I'm disappointed in you, Seeker, so giving you new powers where I haven't got that community goal been completed yet. Need to work harder, please. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh, Finster. Not heard of that one. Fake Insta. Like, think think about if you're a 16-year-old. You have the Instagram that your parents insist on following, and then you have your real one. The one you give the parents is the Finster. Fiesta. <laughs> Time them out so you can decoy account. Yep, yeah, it's it's the decoy. But it's, you know, fake insta, finsta. It just, it, you know what kids these days are like, mashing words together willy-nilly. Really good, thanks. Hey, got Mim's head this week. It's only been like 13 years. I mean, that's not long at all. Congratulations, Sink. Well done. Well done. I've got a family one, so Finster can't imagine having the time to have more than one Instagram. Yeah, the welcome to the life of a 16-year-old, Sika. <laughs> mm-hmm. Remember using a fake Twitter called Uber Tweets. Oh wow. Grats indeed, Don Kids these days. Exactly. Like good lord. But yeah, you post like all the family friendly stuff, and then when you go to the secret party, you put it on your like private account that the, the parents aren't looking at. And that's where you post all like the hypersexualized selfies and all that kind of shit. Yeah. So they can't yell at you for stuff because they don't see it because they think, oh, look at your Instagram. Isn't it all smiles and happy faces? Internet peeps are one for fam. Exactly. Exactly. Which is, you know, only slightly terrifying. Okay, so. Except <clears throat> no hypersexualized selfies from me, no one wants that. Oh, you'd be surprised, dude. You'll get sugar daddy whispers too. Not even Mrs. 
See you later for the rest of your night. Bedtime for me. Enjoy. Rest well. We'll see you next time. She gets the real thing. Oh, that's super cute. Oh, I've gone outside of the forest area. Whoopsie. Uh, thanks for being up. You're very welcome. Good to you, my yeah. Prob stop that sentence there. I reckon. What happens in private time is, uh, is private. a whole feet market here. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. My conversations always come back to haunt me and I'm very displeased by this. <clears throat> yeah see like this purple character there's like this purple bears here and stuff but they just don't show up on fear. I don't understand. I must have something turned off somewhere. I must have broken something. I know there's a setting that you can actually turn off so you don't see the outline glows. I figure I must have accidentally turned it off on fear somehow, which is very, very like me. My feet and only teeth, so what next? Uh, how about like only fully clothed women? Is that a thing? For the teeth. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this lash keeps poking. I must have put it like too low down. It keeps poking me in the corner of my eye. Um, Trig, Demon, Zam, Zam, Fade, Draz, Eor, and Mizuma. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Ah, boss defeated. Next map. Woo. Like the idea of only Victorian women. Oh, I don't have the wardrobe for that though. One clothes, neck high. Oh, 992. Is the Instagram or the bonus shit winning? Cool. <clears throat> okay. Still any battle points? Okay, I can do that. There you go. Little plans placed. 987 Instagram, so there's five different. Is there anyone lurking who who would be like interested in some behind the scenes FIA content in their Instagram feed and would like to drop me a follow over on the gram? We're so close. So freaking close. My god. Holy cow. We're aiming for 1k in case you're like, what the fuck is she talking about? We're aiming for 1k. <clears throat> Seeker, what the hell are we going to do when we don't have, like, when I've hit 1k and we've got no, like, weekly goal because it's been hit massively early? Like, what are we going to do? Lips peeling. Mm. 
<clears throat> so this Instagram thing, are there good pictures and stuff on there for you? Like, uh, I think they're good. But, <laughs> but that's a little subjective. So you might have to go and have a look to decide whether or not you think they're good. Wiggles eyebrows terribly because I can't wiggle my eyebrows properly. <laughs> I don't know how people do the bouncy eyebrows thing. I am so terrible at it. It's it's comical, honestly. Would you like to chat about what sorts of posts you do? Well, at the moment I've got like, there's Twitch clips because everyone likes a good Twitch clip. Um, we've got like past Mount makeup looks. We've got like food because I love food. Um, we've got the occasional affiliate post, so I can tell you about the products that I'm affiliated, products and brands that I'm affiliated with, in case you missed it. Um, and also so, you know, that maybe people will remember that I have codes for things and potentially I can make a little bit of money to help pay for my dentistry. Um, and yeah, but like, I mean, given that I met with this social media guru today, like there might be some new stuff coming up too. Like who knows? I can't, I can't say. I can't say just yet. She's, uh, she's going to do me up a list of suggestions of potential content types and you bet your butt I will be trying all of them because hey if one of them is a gold mine then bloody oh like I will I will post if you, if it works if people like it I will post more <laughs> that is what I will do so yeah like it's there's more to come guys more to come and if there is stuff that you would be interested in seeing from my life and things then tell me because I can't I'm unfortunate well Depending on your school of thought, either fortunately or unfortunately, I am not a mind reader. But, um, I am very interested in learning what you guys like to see when you're, you're browsing your feeds and stuff. Wh whatever feed that happens to be, if it's, if it's Twitter or Instagram or Reddit or TikTok or wherever it is, I'd love to know the kind of content that makes you stop and watch or read or look or whatever. Uh, because that's what I want people to do with my content. <clears throat> um. Denke, I'll find a thing. You know I will. I know you will. And I'm so keen to see what you find next. I'm excited. I'm excited. 3k first? Yeah. 3k then 10k. I'm kind of thinking that up to 10k I'm probably going to need to go like one at a time. So like 2k and then 3k and then 4k. But we'll see. We'll see. It's tortured attendance for. Are they for something different? They must be. my first pick on my non-family account. Hey, well done. Well done. You're not of the wiggly eyebrows persuasion. Oh, I am. I love wiggly eyebrows. I just can't do it. I just, it's like I don't have the particular muscle control needed in my forehead or something. I'm not, I don't, I don't know, but I can't, I can do it, but it takes like a lot of, I have to pull them up and then push them down and then pull them up and then push. I can't do like the, the, like effortless bounce that some people seem to be able to do. Why are we having this in-depth conversation about the like logistics of wiggly eyebrows? I don't, what is this place? Who am I? Why? <laughs> this is great. I love this. Step one is done. Yeah, the the post on the last post on Instagram, the really amazing one that I really enjoyed, um, was the last one I had to do, and I've sent them off my analytics and everything. Uh, so my contractual obligations are finito. They're done. Um, as a mod, I should probably have known that you have been a mod less than twenty four hours. Come on now, cut yourself some slack. And I still haven't done a while layer on because I'm a numpty, so it's fine. Uh, yep, I should probably put that on my to-do list. <laughs> With everything goddamn else. It's fine. Uh, is Fear Mind Reader apparently not yet? I'm not sure that I'd want to be, honestly. God, they could, they, mm, I'm not sure. No, I get people, like, the shit people say in my DMs is more than I need to know about the state of humanity. Let's just put it that way. It's like seeing what you're comfortable sharing. Honestly, I feel like I'm demanding things to bring things up. 
You don't currently do. Here's the thing. If I'm not comfortable posting something, I won't. So don't ever feel like you're saying, you should do this. Like, especially if I'm asking for input, you're more than welcome. Like, if if I don't want to, I simply won't. It's it's just that easy. Like, I'm... I Like, absolutely, I want to grow and I want to... But, like, if I really wanted to explode on social media, then I'd go do a lingerie shoot, maybe, and see how that... Do you know what I mean? Like, but there's... I have boundaries, and I'm not going to cross them no matter what people want to see. It's, it's not, you know? Um, but... The, the thing with my brain is that I can't come up with new ideas very well. It's uh, creativity by numbers. I can, do, like, I can take a suggestion and blow it out the water, but I'm not super great coming up with complete ideas from, like, scratch. So, yeah, that's kind of... Yeah. All right, I think I might have unlocked Covenant things now. We all. N no? A unified effort. I st- There is much to be done. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh... Use code Fiamma for $20 off your Wailera hair dream wave. Indeed! Super good. Super, super, super good curler. If you're looking for a hair curler for, for yourself or for a loved one as a gift, they're actually awesome. It's the only curler that's managed to hold a curl in my hair for more than an hour. What did mine? I'm so excited for you to get it, Seeker. I hope that it works amazingly for you. So the stream has become, yes, apparently so. No slack, only moderating good. What are we talking about? <laughs> um, Seeker not knowing that the step one partnership thing was finished. Uh, is Fear gonna sing everything? Possibly. Maybe. Who fucking knows? <laughs> Fear is not peer pressured by us. No. You get what you mean? Awesome. I'm glad. I used entirely too many words to, but it's fine. Hurry along now. No! <laughs> Curly poodly hair dream goals. I love it. That's amazing. Could also works when it's on sale. Correct. Probably because they're mostly always on sale. <laughs> it's, I think I have a feeling they're one of those companies that everything's always marked down to make you think it's like to to um uh try to get that impulse buy while it's on sale. But. Why not though, eh? It is. I don't need hair curlers on my grow. Hair grow and I get a fro. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, my hair doesn't do that. My hair just kind of limp. I like. My back is it too heavy for you. Come along then. We have That's alright though. Kind of like every kitchenware shop ever. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, 150 was very tempting. Waiting for the end of month to see how budget falls out. Good call, Ali. Very good decision. Like, as much as obviously I would encourage, like, if you are looking for a curler, check out Wailera. If you're looking for straighteners, they also, like, you can use it, I'm pretty sure, on any of the stuff in their store, right? Not just the curler. Like, if you're looking for the straightener, the hairbrushes, the bundles, all that kind of stuff, I'm pretty sure the 20 bucks works off anything. Um, but it's kind of, like, I don't ever want anyone to put themselves out to earn me some commission, you know? Like, that's not okay. That's not what I want. <clears throat> so, good call, waiting to see how your budget works out. Mm, not 1,000 for this knife block, only 200. Yeah, except that's the recommended retail price. To modify the destination coordinates. I kind of feel like it's, um, you know, this knife block would be worth $1,000 if you bought the knives individually and they were global brand instead of this shit no-name brand we have and, you know, had been sharpened by a professional knife smith and etc. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. However, all that being said, um, even if Wilera is one of those companies that is everything's always on sale, 
This projection device the curler is fucking awesome. Like, it is actually good quality stuff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have sought, I wouldn't have gone to them asking for a code if I didn't believe in the product. And you, you know that, you know what I'm like. So it's, yeah, definitely a thing. <clears throat> exactly, yeah. Do you get metrics, i.e. 10 people used your code this month information from your various affiliate programs? Uh, yes and no. So some of them yes, some of them no. Um, a lot of them have like a dashboard where I can log in and see conversions and what kind of commission I made from them and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Bubble Tea Club emails me every time I make a sale telling me what the order amount was for and what my commission is. Um, I don't find out what you've bought. I also don't find out who you are. Very key information. I do not get any of your personal information ever. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Mellow, on the other hand, like it's got a dashboard and I get, I don't get an email from them when I make a sale, but I don't, I don't think at least. Um, however, I do have a dashboard where I can see how much the orders are for, what was ordered, and what my commission is. But again, no other, no, no personal information, just like a list of products that were in the in the cart. Um, Wilera is very different. There's no dashboard. I asked them about a dashboard. They said, no, we'll just email you at the end of every month to let you know how many sales you made. Um, of course, all of this relies on the company doing the right thing and actually recognizing that I made commission and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's good to let, if you, if you've used somebody's code or something, it's a really cool thing to let them know that you have partially because, you know, that way we can actually make sure we're getting the commission we're entitled to. Like with Mellow, uh, I had an issue where the, the link was used, but it didn't come through to my dash and it turns out the cookie had fallen off somewhere. Um, so they, they manually granted me that commission. Not only that, but they actually had to dig through and found a couple of other orders that had also, the cookie had also fallen off. And so they granted those to me retroactively as well, which was super, super awesome of them. Uh, but the other side of it is like, yes, okay, we can verify that like, so Sika has told me that they've, you know, she's used a Wailera code, so I can watch out for that email from Wailera. And if I don't get one, I can email them and say, hey, I've been told a person has used my code. Where's my commission? Um, but it also means we can have a hype moment. Like I can be like, yay, I really hope you enjoy it. And what did you order? And, and all did you know, that kind of stuff, which is, which is nice. So yeah, it's, it is, it's a good thing, especially for people who do interact on the level that I do. It's a good thing to let people know when you've used the code. If you feel comfortable doing so, of course, if you're a, like a permanent lurker and you don't want to talk to us, then that's totally fine. I understand. Uh, but yeah, it's it has a few benefits. Um, does it make something shit? Uh, it's a tried and true sales to Exactly. It, it works. It, it makes sales. Absolutely. For me, I was considering competitive product that cost almost six times the $149.95 I paid. I do not have the disposable income for a $900 hair device. So very happy with it as an option. Seeing if you use it on stream, sold it for me. What the fuck is charging $900 for a curler? What? I don't understand. Have you used your new palette yet? Sinopia? No, not yet. I haven't had a chance yet because I've been doing like mount makeup stuff. Um, and like did had a had a weekend of stuff so I, I haven't had a chance to wear it yet but I don't have to stream tomorrow and I do need to record some content tomorrow so I'm like I'm hoping I can dig in but I have added it to my my makeup spreadsheet so that's good hi moment exactly oh the Dyson right of course yeah not nah. absolutely not I, I also don't have $900 for a, a bloody, what's it? Nah. Hand drying thing, air wrap. Air wave is absolutely the hand dryer, yeah. Oh dear. Actually, I wonder, have any, like, I should show you the, I should do another, like a one, one section curl thing. 
I've got no product in my hair. It's actually like freshly washed last night. So there's no product in it, no nothing. And you can see like how awesome it looks. I serve Odin. <laughs> Turn on. Did you really think you escaped? There's like there we go. Oh look, I've even got pieces of hair that are like there we go. Grab that bit. My poor sisters. I've got a comb here so I can comb through it so there's no tangles. Awesome. Perfect. So I'll make that go springy. It'll be fun. <clears throat> Extra for attachments. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. You need product deals for crew cut clippers to cover both ends of the spectrum. I would love to, Northy. I would never use the product myself, is the problem. However, I do have a jazz here. Um, so I can, any, any sort of products that are more designed for, you know, like shorter hair that I don't have. We can possibly we can probably test out on him. He can he can maybe use it like a like a beard trimmer and a and you know even up the the back of his neck and all that kind of stuff and and uh, you know like the hairline at the back that yeah and uh, go from there. I'm I'm quite solid on like I don't really want to sell you guys stuff that I haven't used myself. Like I haven't verified. That's it's a really quick and easy way to screw the trust you've built over. I've been streaming for six years. Like I've been building this trust and and all that kind of stuff. And to stand up and say, yeah, this product's great, and then people spend money on it and then it's crap. Well, there's there's that trust gone. That's and that'll take years to rebuild. So it's um, yeah. But stuff that Jas is willing to use, I can definitely get his opinions. It's funny, I knew exactly what you were comparing to when I said six times the prize. Oh, no, I was wrong. I was thinking the air blade. Ah, oh, I was fully on board with believing you. I think I did a bit silly. I shaved the jazz from head to toe. Ah, uh, I'm not. Yeah, if he consents. Ah, <laughs> oh, air wave, air blade, air wrap. No wonder people get confused. I mean, hey, look, it's building a brand. It's brand recognition, but good lord. Good lord. Did that beep? Not yet. It's usually pretty loud, but I'm also pretty loud, so. It did beep again, though, like a second time. It beeped when I turned it on, and then it should beep again when it's ready. Beeped a minute ago. Beep tap, beep happen. One or two though. <laughs> Not sure when you turned it on. When I picked it up, I held down the button and then I put it down. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Powdered flux. Two of honey made. That's all right. If it hasn't like, I'm not on the screen then. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Bone dust. I'm certain that by the time he's done, it'll be at least then it'll be, yep. Even if I haven't heard it. <clears throat> Added flux. Bone dust. Okay. So. Put hair through slot. Hold big button down. Wait for beep. Wait for beeps to stop. That double beep means beeps have stopped, and then... <laughs> Here's a cup. It's bouncy. 
Yeah, it's it's literally that easy. <laughs> Is it funny? <laughs> yeah, it's it's literally that easy. How good's that? <clears throat> uh, fear of versus. It spins them, it does. I was wondering what the beeping was. Yep. Oh, I need to turn off. Otherwise it's gonna... Yeah, there you go. That's wireless too. Charges via USB. If it has curl, it's magic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> get it, buddy, get it. I'm so excited for you, Seeker. It's so much fun. Like, it's... It's just, yeah. Lord, you are here. Sound the horn of challenge to begin. Another seeks to claim. Wasn't there like a for cheeky thing to like? Peace and Disco when it arrives. Yes, please do. Because you get you got the other color to me as well. I've got black onyx and you're getting is it Gatsby Rose or something? Seek you're in full poodle. Yes. Well fought. You are chosen to serve Odin Zorath. Go now to his side. Yeah, it's just like ah, so cute. Another seeks to claim their glory. Prepare for battle. <clears throat> nice learn if you use on your ah, then your socials. <laughs> Thank you. That would be awesome. <clears throat> Love to take some photos of Pat at Pax with us both in both in full poodle mode. Who's gonna go follow now? I mean, yeah, look, you can't you can't really disobey secret at this point, can you? Like honestly. Another seeks to claim their glory. Prepare for battle! Watch my kids blue back and now mimic the perfect full bone temper tantrum on the floor. Do not disappoint. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. I see who's in mother mode. children. It's easy to do what she says, probably. Wait, so I get to see a TK TK tantrum if I don't follow. Sorry, fear. <laughs> Maybe once we hit a thousand, you get to see a seeker tantrum. Bonus tantrum. Love it. <laughs> Another seeks to claim their glory. Prepare for. You should come to Pax to see this too. If yeah, if you can. Like Pax is such a oh, it's such a good experience. Not just for video games either. Like board games and tabletop and miniatures and all that kind of stuff as well. Like it's just so much fun. Wait till 999, then unfollow. Zam! My lord. <clears throat> I swear to lord Zam, uh, like, I, I, mm. 
<laughs> that will get you a timeout. Oh dear. Hilarious. Message deleted by a spicy toddler throwing a tantrum. <laughs> my chosen My eye will be compelled to focus upon them. Danica, you shall lead. Become the wrath of Odin and embody my fury. Wield my Same gets for the number 998, 1000, and 1002. You know something's gone fishing. Now I have more accurate words been typed. Give it a voice to pierce the veil and unleash my Oh dear. You guys. So I like that I'm spicy. I really feel like I should do an Instagram giveaway when we hit a K. Like, I, I just, I feel like I have to do something to celebrate a milestone that big, you know? <clears throat> Moon. Mods, oh, that's cute. Uh, I like that a lot. Should I insta give away to get to 1K? Yeah, but they all unfollow then. When you run Instagram giveaways, you get like a big spike and then once it's drawn and they see they've not won, it drops back down again. <clears throat> it's on it is unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's yeah. It is what it is. I like and I understand that as well. Like I've I am also guilty of following accounts to enter a giveaway and then, you know, a few weeks later going, why am I following this account? Oh, right. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. It's... Mm. The lady with the single poodle girl said... <laughs> lazy people don't... Yeah, they don't, but lazy people also don't engage. They don't like or comment or, or anything like that, and so that draws the engagement rate down as well. I would prefer fewer quality followers than more not so quality, you know? It's um yeah. What an admirably specific question. <clears throat> My engagement rate is absolutely going to drop. Um it's very very high at the moment. It is absolutely going to drop and that's okay. But um yeah, I just I don't want it to drop too too far by getting like hundreds of Hi, the Sunwell. Like, only follow giveaway account kind of deals. Giving away the ownership of Instagram feels a big prize. Look, if I had it, I'd just rig the inst I'd rig the uh, algorithm. Only fear. <laughs> Seven months, can't believe it's been that long. Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Thank you for the resub, Chaos. I'm trying to get better. Oh, totally okay, dude. Totally okay. It's more like a handful here or there is totally okay. It's more when it's like hundreds of accounts following to get something for free and none of them engage, like, the occasional one here or there is totally okay. Um, it's just, yeah, when you get up into those bigger numbers. That's all. Major, I'm battling it up. Hello, Mel. Indeed. I hope you're doing really well today. Welcome back. Battle.net, as you mean? Yeah, me too. Me too, that's okay. Totally fair. Um, do you do many stories on IG? I do, like, when I'm going live, I do a story. I don't, haven't been doing many other stories, but it is something that's been recommended to me. So I'm kind of just trying to figure out what the hell to do. Uh, Aureus, Silver, Dark, Zam, Seeker, Kludgy, Dunno, Ali, and Fade. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Um, yeah, my, my big issue is, like, I can... Content is great, but like if I don't, it's like, hey, post stories. Okay, but what? That's my, that's where my brain gets stuck. It's on the, the what part. Um, but that's what I'm working on. Uh, that's what I'm working on. I had a, a meeting with a uh, 
social media guru today who helped out a lot and is going to send me through some like content suggestions and, and things like that and just kind of get some structure going with what I'm posting and, and some like doing some trial or trial and error like post something to see if it performs well and, and go from there but in a structured way so I can actually see what's working and what's not if if that makes sense um so yeah I'm I'm looking forward to testing out a few new bits of content and stuff uh, 61% is correct I know how bonkers is it how bonkers is that? Uh, I just realized I haven't picked a new map yet because I was waiting for it to load. Good. Okay, uh, this one here. Wait for that to kick in. Come on, load faster. Really is taking a while to load, isn't it? Uh, it's been a big day. It really has. It really has. There we go. Test the boundaries of the algorithm, indeed. See what works, see what doesn't. But yeah, I had, um, I think it was Ali asked, suggested before that I do like an AMA for all the new followers. Like, you know, a, a, like a, a thing with an ask me a question. And, um like answer one every day or so like on the stories to, to like generate some content and also get like people can get to know me and stuff which would be and that's a phenomenal idea I'm absolutely stealing that um slash borrowing slash whatever uh <laughs> but yeah very very keen for that one thanks for asking yay glad you're doing well chaos Yes, follow on the socials. Do the thing. Help the fear. And any other content creators you watch as well. This isn't just me. This is like literally any creators that you follow will benefit from follows on their socials. As long as they have the socials, follow them on them. It really helps. Has the flu run away yet? See, Seeker's here for memory things. Seeker can remember stuff and that helps. Because I did not remember that Chaos was unwell, and I'm so sorry, but look. It's my memory, and I'm- it's- it is what it is. It is what it is, unfortunately. But yes, I do hope you're feeling better. Uh, I think even some of the would you rather things you post as tweets would be cool as stories. Ooh! Yeah, like do a poll. Or like one of those sliders where you can put it like either side of the- That could be fun. I wonder if story engagement matters as such. But that's like, that's something I could schedule as well. Like, like I wouldn't have to create that every day. Like I could actually sit there and, and do that all in one batch and then schedule it, which is one thing that she did recommend to me is like, you know, doing it as in, you know, big batches as you can is absolutely the most efficient way. And I'm like, yeah, couldn't live without my scheduling. Holy cow. Putting on that makeup left or right. Uh, it has a Lewis gone. Hey, book a ticket to Queensland next month. Visit my best friend. Haven't seen in person since early 2020. I know those feels. I haven't seen family members in, in that long too. Yeah, they miss those so often. I'm not always on the Twitter. Well, they do post to Discord as well. Like, if in the socials channel, it re like it links to my tweets and stuff there. So if that's an easier way for you to see them, I mean, you can also turn notifications on on Twitter so it actually pings you on your phone when I tweet. But I can understand if you've got, especially if you've got way too many notifications as it is. But it's it is in Discord too, so that's helpful. Find new content and stories. Ah, okay. You find new, like, find totally new accounts and follow through there. That's really interesting. Hmm, cool. Just been a thing for me. It doesn't seem as big in Oz. Um, Twitter is big in certain circles. Twitter is kind of, Twitter is one of those really weird things that transcends geography. Um, you can find pretty much anyone on Twitter. Like, any, like, companies and stuff like that vast majority of them exist on Twitter. It's just that you won't see them unless you are in that sort of community. Like my entire feed is all gaming 
it's all gaming. It's creators, it's games, like development companies, it's tech stuff like Logitech, it's all gaming. Everyone in my feed is a gamer or makes games or something because those are the accounts I've chosen to follow. Twitter is very much a niche category type of platform rather than a geography kind of platform. And big in certain groups, yeah, really big in the gaming sphere. Um, if you're like, if you connect with it enough, sort of thing. Good insert time of day here. Good time zone to you too, Jason. Do you remember the last time I signed on Twitter was there? Happy time zone to you too. You had to turn off Twitter. Discord notifications, they were never not triggered. You can reduce like what notifications you get. Um, like if you get a notification from something, you can go in and turn off that specific type of notification and stuff. It's, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I spent a good few months sort of trimming down my notifications as they were happening. Like I'd see something and be like, I don't like, I don't need that, that's silly. So I went in and disabled notifications for that particular type of thing. And then just kept doing that. And it's down to the point that I only really get important things now, which is really great. So like emails I get obviously because I need to know if someone's, you know, emailing me, offering me money for streaming. Uh, but, <laughs> um, it's like only really important stuff gets hit, get, gets through. So my tweet, it was 2017, can't believe figures on 987, only 13 to go. How cool is that? How cool last time I replied was 2020. Maybe I should twit again. Uh, I know I've turned them a lot, but it was still too many. It might also be you've got too many apps. That's another thing that can be a potential. Um, oh. Or if you're getting a, like a lot of email pings because you're on a lot of mailing lists and stuff, then you can go unsub from them. Uh, I have like 95% of the servers in Discord that I'm a part of are muted. Um, I go in there if I'm looking for specific information or if I need help with a particular add-on or program or something. But beyond that, nope. I don't need to know every single person's issues and troubleshooting steps and like, pfft, nah, it's muted. I go there if I need it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, hello, Blooming. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a phenomenal day. Oh, you followed on Insta. Thank you. Much appreciated. I hope you enjoy the content both here and there. Big love. Thank you. Oh, I have two on either. Oh, because I haven't yet. But wait, this one's been to Corthia. Why am I getting either? Oh, but it's not actually. Because this is where you kill it. Okay, I'm good. Everything's fine. Oops, have to catch up on Moon Knight. Enjoy. Never too many apps or channels, emails, followers. Look, your notifications make a difference. Legend indeed. Be a full-time streamer in no time. I, look, that would be nice. That would be nice. Night, dupe. Have to support my fellow Aussies. Yay. Oh, awesome. So pleased to hear it. <laughs> look, yep. I know, I know. <laughs> Maybe I should offer a like a notification culling and or Baby. inbox emptying Baby. service. Baby. Give me money and I'll clear out your, your emails. <laughs> I'm not a paladin. Uh... I like duplicate notifications for the same thing. Like if you have, uh, like for example, PayPal. Like I have the PayPal app because it's where Twitch pays me, right? So I have that there so I can double check on stuff. But every time I receive or, or make a payment via PayPal, I also get an email. And I have to have my email notifications on because really important things come through there. So I don't need to have the PayPal notifications on. It's a duplicate. I can get rid of it. Like, yeah. So it's those kind of, yeah. 
the one I keep forgetting to turn off. I keep getting pings almost every day from Uber Eats trying to encourage me to make an order. And I'm like, bitch, do you think I am made of money? I cannot afford takeout like that. Good lord. <laughs> so I need to go in and actually like disable Uber Eats from being able to send me notifications of that kind at all. Like, I mean, updates of on where my food's at and stuff. But I mean, at the same time, I also like if I've ordered food, I'm staring at my phone nonstop. So do I really need a notification? Probs not. Because I see it myself. <sighs> yeah. I'm- look, it's still- it's always gonna be a work in progress. Select all, delete, done. Nah, because then you leave it for seven days and it's back to exactly where it is. You need to actually go in and like unsubscribe from mailing lists and stuff like that so it doesn't get to that point again. That's the key. That's the real trick. The budget spreadsheet is a service. I can't. I don't have any sort of finance degree. I don't have a financial planning certificate or anything like that. I, I can't. There's actually, um, I'm pretty sure there's new laws coming in in Australia around what and how individuals can give or not give financial advice. So the stuff I talk about, you know how I always say like, I am not, I find like, you know, consider if this information is right for you. Like, I am not your financial planner and this is what I do, but it may not work for you, that kind of stuff. Like, that's now legally required in Australia, um, which I've always been doing anyway, so nothing changes for me, but I have to make sure I say it every single time I start talking about my budget and, like, at several points through it in case someone tunes in and then tunes out because people need to know that I am not an accountant. I'm an assistant accountant, but that doesn't have any qualifications, um, and it's all kind of, yeah, so it's, it's a really big deal because people put their trust in the wrong places, unfortunately. And it can result in them losing hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that's not okay. Uh, I had a massive email call the other night because of the email service I use so much stuff. They're from years and years ago. Yeah. The sun it is a bit that way, isn't it? Ah, quiz! Thank you so much for the resub. Hope you are doing very well. Ah, uh, someone else can probably do that. I'm on cooldown. Yeah, I would use that service as my emails are full. I need to delete some emails. Yep, doing those unsubs is like... And the thing is, if you unsubscribe from a mailing list, you can always just rejoin it later if you're really missing that information. There's no harm in it. <clears throat> Same here about every commercial... Other commercial on Twitch is about Uber Eats as well, yeah. Well, they're one of the few companies, I'm not sure where you're based, Gold, but they're one of the few companies in Australia that actually understand the worth of Twitch in terms of an advertising market. Um, Australia is not very good at understanding the value of Twitch. Um, what, those random emails sometimes? Well, then that, yeah, that's a, that's a decision you gotta kinda make. Like, is it worth getting two emails every single day for that one email once every couple months that you like, you know? It's, yeah. No, uh, talk about an actual spreadsheet template. Ah, where are the rules also? Brilliant, good. Um, I don't use a spreadsheet for budgeting. I use YNAB. Stands for you need a budget. It's like a spreadsheet on crack. It's really good. It is paid. It is a paid service. There's a 34, 34 day free trial. Um, and I think there's a referral link somewhere where like if you buy a month, I get a month three or something. Like you buy your first month of, of sub and yeah, but I don't know. I don't remember if it actually shares my personal details or not. I can't remember. Cause it's one of those like tell your friends and family things. So it wouldn't necessarily matter to your friends and family knowing your dates. But to me in this kind of context, it does. Yeah, it's weird. Internets are fun. I feel like a lot of those email now equivalent junk mail we got in real mail, but oh, absolutely. It is, for sure. We'd flick through the things on special that week. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, I was on a uh, Colourpop mailing list for, for Yonks because I wanted to, you know, for their mystery boxes. Same thing for Glam Raider, because I'd buy one of their mystery boxes every time they launch them. Every time. Uh, my drawers are to the point that they're almost full now. I really don't... I, sh I shouldn't... I shouldn't get any more makeup. I want it, I want new shinies, but I shouldn't. Shouldn't. I might have to look at YNAB, I'm useless with budgeting. One of the things I really loved about YNAB, I've been using it for over a decade now. Like I've been using it since I was in uni. 
it's a fantastic platform, phenomenal. Um, one of the things I really love about YNAB is that it's like when you start using it, they sign you up for an email course and you get an email every day or every couple of days and they introduce you to their rules, like their five rules or whatever it is to help you understand like how to budget. It's not about, oh, hey, Covenant Assault time, phenomenal. Like it's not just about stick money in categories, don't spend over it. Like that's not, that's not how it works at all. Like there's a whole lot of flexibility in it and stuff like that. And they teach you how to be more flexible with your budget and adjust it over time to match your actual spending habits, not what you think they should be and stuff like that. Um, and help you really understand where your money is going. And then if you kind of see like, oh, there's a lot of money going into that one thing and that feels really icky, that shouldn't be that high, then you can recognize every time you go to make a purchase that would fall into that category, you kind of go, oh, do I actually need this? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a good platform. Really good. Not sponsored. Not affiliated either. There's the whole the referral thing, but it's not like, yeah, it's not a paid thing. Mm hmm. Speaking of makeup, have you watched Glow Up on Netflix? Yes. I've binged it twice through. Makeup competition show, surprisingly wholesome. Yeah. It, it was beautiful, like, absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> there were a few aspects of it that really annoyed me, like the super, super, like, game showy type elements, uh, where, you know, they, they flick over to like, hey, let's see what they're doing, and they're like applying foundation, and then it goes into a whole like seven minute thing about their background and blah blah, blah. but you only just showed me that like two episodes ago, and don't you know I'm binging? I don't, I've, I remember her story. Next, please. Like, go on. <laughs> Only part that irritated me, but that's because I'm impatient. <clears throat> the hunt has begun. Okay, well here we go. Good Finally, actually doing the Covenant Assault uh, with three minutes left on stream. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna go until the um the the that we've got one last battle to do, and then we'll uh. Yeah. Sixty-two percent, one hundred and eighteen k embers added. Communities using embers, free channel points, little fireplace next to chat to donate to a fifty sixty stream. You can pop in up to two thousand embers in as many increments as you like per stream. If we don't hit the goal, you get the points back. Would be lovely if you can help us. Thank you to those who have already contributed. Not sponsored or affiliated yet. Maybe send them the latest clip and they'll change their mind. Amazing. Oh, Sam, you're awesome. Oh dear. I don't know that they actually pair up with, like, influencers and stuff. I mean, it's worth asking, right? Worst they can do is say no. <clears throat> oh, there's rocks there. Oops. God's sake. I missed. He's just talking about There's only 13 minutes left to contribute for today. Don't get FOMO. Use those embers. Absolutely. It's <laughs> funny. I move so slowly. I mean, you kind of probably promote a wine at least twice now. There's no reason not to consider you as an affiliate at this point. Aww. We should give more. I don't know what to do with the other 20k. There are a bunch of redemptions under there, but if nothing interests you, that's totally fair. 
Um, as with the whole, you know, creativity by numbers, I do have a bit of trouble coming up with, like, new redemptions to, to offer and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, there's not, like, there's not a ton, a ton of things there. Let's just check. I think I've already got, like... Did. That's right. Another hydrate. Mm-hmm. Thoughts on cosplay redemption for 100k. I don't think I have enough cosplays. Fun fact, the two cosplays I've done, well three technically, out of out of the three I've done, two of them don't really fit me anymore. Because I did them such a long time ago, like we're talking five, six years ago sort of thing. Um, so it kind of makes it a little bit tricky to to do that uh plus a lot of them in like they involve makeup so it would mean no mount no mount blah, blah, mount makeup for that day which i know would probably upset a couple people um it would be interesting though it would definitely be interesting <clears throat> that cosplay bundle the cosplay book bundle that I bought from Humble had a whole bunch of like horn templates and stuff like that. So maybe I could like make up a few of those with any like scraps of foam I had and, and have them as like a stick th something on Fia's head or something. That could be interesting. I don't have like a collection of stuff that I can attach to my body. Is the only issue. Sounds like a throne problem. Cosplays are expensive. I was looking for an Alex Straza cosplay and it was over a thousand dollars. Over a grand. Like, that's amazing and insane, you know? <clears throat> Maybe that's something I need to put in as a goal, though, a cosplay stream. Like, one where I actually sit here and work on the cosplay. Although, I wouldn't put that up as a goal until I actually had the stuff to work on, which obviously makes a bit more sense. <laughs> sit here cutting out paper templates for a whole last stream. For a thousand bucks, I want it to include an actual living dragon! Nah, look, cosplay, creating cosplay is a very set, like, it's a big set of skills. So if you don't have the time or the skills or the willingness to learn the skills, all that kind of stuff, buying something outright that is hella good quality is, is definitely a really good option. But it's, yeah, it is expensive. But you're not just paying for the materials, you're also paying for the skills and the, all, you know, all that learning that they've got behind them and stuff, it, it does make sense. It does make sense. Uh, I found Etsy last night, I found a guy in Italy who makes amazing 3D printed model Halo guns, my 678 AUD for battle rifle, I want so much. That is so much money, holy cow. Holy cow. 989, oh my god, we are so close to the 1000, holy cow, 11 to go. <gasps> Oh my god, do we have 11, 11 lurkers who haven't followed yet? So, m my Instagram, I'm working on building my Instagram following and um, I had a meeting with a social media guru today who's going to help me like put stuff together and figure out like what type of content I should be posting all that. So be ready because like there's going to be so much new stuff coming up and so much different stuff as well, like different to what I've usually been posting to like experiment with what works and what doesn't. But a lot of it's like behind the scenes stuff and it's it's me and my life outside of stream. Ha. Huh. <laughs> what life? Um, but yeah, that kind of, you know, that kind of stuff. So if that's something that sounds like it could be kind of fun and interesting, then throw me a follow. It's free and it helps it like it helps me on my way to becoming full time. Because I would love to be a full-time content creator. It's just so expensive. I need to be able to pay bills, so. <laughs> you 
creates 11 new email addresses. No, oh my god. Good lord. Good lord. Oh, I'm spilling his off night. That's okay. Look, we all have off nights. You have a life in this economy. Look, I have somewhat of a life sometimes, maybe. Potentially. Dang it. What's wrong, Seeker? Crunchy. I've written out an announcement twice and it balked. Oh no! Copy paste. Like, write it out in, um, what's it? And in, in notepad. And then paste it in. <sighs> we just gotta be careful not to, like, overuse the announcements. Because, I mean, I wish... Instead of being highlighted in chat as they are, I really wish it, like, stuck it to the top of chat for a little while. Like, that would be so much more effective. Uh, but, yeah, if we use them too much, people start ignoring them. So just... Just because it's a pretty new feature. Like it's only been introduced in the last couple weeks. So, um, yeah. Uh, who has a life these days? Look, sometimes, sometimes. 10 more to go. Oh my God, we hit 990. <gasps> Thank you so much, you guys. Holy cow. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. You know what's going to be really embarrassing is I'm going to make like a post that says, Oh my god, thank you for 1k! And then it's going to drop to like 998. Um. <laughs> and people are going to click in and be like, wait, why is she celebrating 1k? She doesn't have 1k. That's going to be hilarious. I might have to wait a little while, just give it a week or two to stabilize. Way to go lurkers, absolutely! Loving it. And I hope you like the content too. I hope you're here because you're enjoying yourself. And I hope you enjoy what I post on Insta. I really do. Because you rock agreed. Agreed. definitely happen if it happens. I'll blame Zam. Look, I think we all might. Genuinely. <laughs> and anyone? Amber Redemption, if you just sing what you're doing for one minute. I Met Your Mother, Marshall style. I, God, it's been years since I watched How I Met Your Mother. I don't remember that at all. Stop saving members to use that. <gasps> That's hilarious. go this way to kill more shit. Yas. Let us collect some dark marrows. Uh, 
Okay, mine's just thinking to say, oh no. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm, I don't think I'm gonna finish this assault. That makes me really sad. God, because of like, there's so many along the list that I've actually had the opportunity to do today, I've gotten like nothing done, really. Which that's, mm, this list is too big. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe I'll come out of Shadowlands actually having a good chunk of the Shadowlands mounts though. That'd be nice. Oh, it's a split boat. And there's the battle. Wing Chun. So I can do the thing! Do the thing! I'm trying really hard not to though. Hey, there we go. I know you're low battery, it's fine, we'll survive. Da -da -da. Is the mic working? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking to you at the moment through. Yeah, it's all totally fine. I unplugged it and replugged it and then had to fiddle with some settings, but yeah, no, nah, it's totally okay. See? You're welcome. It's done its thing. Uh, so, Draz, Bahunt, uh, Demon, Seeker, Ali, Silver, Elytria, Zem, and Mizuma. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. That is the final battle for this evening. It just, it's tripping me out that I have this single curl and I keep seeing it out of the corner of my eye and it's just messing with my brain. No more battles. 
Zero further battles. No more battles. That was the last stream readers battle. We are done, Ski. We are done. Uh, let's click this button and then this button. Uni Poodle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uni Poodle. Really? Oh shit. Um That hurt. Indeed. Next battle is Wednesday. It's also charity stream. Die or did despawn? I am thrilled. I wasn't paying attention. I am uh, confused, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Uh oh. Stop. That's illegal. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. I don't think we've been here in a little while. Yeah, it's been long enough. Alright. Anyone? Oh my god! Oh my god, we're so close. Holy cow. I'm just gonna stand there and die. It'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna start up our Twitch raid. But before we do that, here, have a graphic. Beat the bonus at least. Wouldn't it be nice? Well, I mean, look, we've gotten to, like, next stream when we start racking up the bonus shit again, so it's a thing. Uh, today was Mount Farm Monday. We've got on Wednesday Shah Farm. Shah Farm is good, and it's great, and it's also a charity stream. We're going to be raising funds for Pank One. They're a pancreatic cancer research charity. Uh, if you are, if you were to be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer today, the chances of you surviving to the five-year mark from your diagnosis would be 8%. And that is ridiculously low. That's just terrible. That's so silly. Uh, with all the advancements we have made in medicine and health and all that kind of stuff, it's ridiculous that it's still 8%. And so that's what Pankwon wants to change. Uh, so we're going to raise some funds for them. Uh, and yeah, see how we go. The Bean Boozled will be making another appearance. So make me eat disgusting, tasty, gross stuff. Uh, and, and raise money for charity. But we're also going to be smashing as many tunes as we can against Shah. Um, we have... I have a total of 50 characters, which is why it's two streams, because it takes about 12 hours to get through all 50 because of the respawn timer on Shah. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and that's what we'll do on Friday as well. It's going to be great. Lovely and wonderful and great. Um, can you drop a link to Pank1 in Discord? It's uh, P-A-N-C, as in Pankreatic. Uh, P-A-N-C-1. Uh, and it's letters, like Pankone. Spelt like Pankone. And 8% is fucked. Con correct. Exactly. Exactly. Have a good night for your in chat. You too, Chaos. Take care. See you all for Wednesday stream. Indeed. And I'll see you all in chat. Uh, in chat. In Discord. And on Instagram. 
because you're absolutely following me because of course you are by this point. You've probably followed me just to think because you think it might shut me up, um, which is valid. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'm going to see you then. We are going to do this. And pop in a Twitch raid. Grab your copy paste if you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote. Uh, because either you're not subbed or you haven't unlocked it using your channel points. Both of which are totally okay. You can uh, do the thing with the stuff. You can paste it into chat. Delete where it says Fiamma Hype. Replace it with your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote. And then drop it into Galaxy's chat uh, to give her some love. She's a wonderful, lovely streamer. Galaxy is to Final Fantasy what I am to WoW. Uh, and she's just, well, I mean, she's been trying to branch out and do some variety stuff lately as well, but she is playing Final Fantasy tonight. Um, she's just super, super lovely, and I cannot wait to see her again at PAX this year. Um, that was the last, I met her at the last PAX I went to, and we haven't seen each other since, and she's genuinely an awesome, awesome person. So if you've been having fun here, and it's been chill and enjoyable, chances are you're going to like Galaxy's content as well, because we are, have the very, very similar vibe, just very different games. So, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, follow me on Instagram, and I'm going to see you on Wednesday. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.